couple of days of the show. Um, in the first in the ring, we have the gun dog group, and we can see the curly coat retriever. Now, this one needs to be judged because Arnie Foss did not judge it previously. Next in the ring, we have the flat coat retriever. There was only one of this breed in the show today, which surprised me when we've got when they're so strong in the Scandinavian countries. But a, a good representative. It's worth noting, uh, Annabelle, that um, we should introduce ourselves. We should, really. <laughs> With me is Annabelle Gunn, um, who has a long history in Cairns and Whippets and Chihuahuas. And West Island White. And West there Island is. White, wow. And um, I'm Francis McAvoy, I'm the chair of the dog committee. And we're watching the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. I think we might have seen the... The golden retriever has just come in as well. There are five breeds that need to be judged by Arnie Foss. Thank you so much. She brought that... No, this is for looking up because we need numbers. I might even... Right, this is the English Springer Spaniel. Sorry, we're getting ourselves organised. We'll, we'll be with you properly. It's the Welsh Springer Spaniel. So I'm sorry, yes, it Welsh. <laughs> and the Clumber Spaniel. Lovely Clumber. It's one of those... Um, I know the other judge um, who didn't do the breed... who did the breed, rather, said it was one of her favourite gun dog breeds. Oh, lovely. So we'll see what Anna thinks about it. Here comes the Golden Cocker Spaniel. The two challenge winners were golden cockers. Right. Now, these dogs coming in now are the remainder of the group, but they have already been judged by Arnie okay. Foss. There will be just five to be assessed. The American Cocker Spaniel. And we have the first of the setters, the English setter today. Um, uh, three setter breeds represented and... Um, there will be a, an award for the best setter later in the show. And this, believe it or not, is the English Springer Spaniel. <laughs> I'll try not to make too many mistakes. So the gun dog group is assembling. And here comes our field Spaniel. Lovely to see some of the rarer Spaniels. Um, we most often see liver coloured in the um, uh, field Spaniels, but this is a lovely black a bitch. Indeed. German Shorthair, big winner. We'll see what the future holds for him today. Yes, and it'll be followed by the German Wirehead Pointer. Same standard, um, just the wire coat. It's a tougher dog than the German Shorthair, though. Um, it has a reputation for being stubborn. Here comes the Gordon. The, this is my favourite of the setters. The, Black and tan. They're very S striking. Yeah, solid, strong. Um, not the raciness of the, the Irish. Now we have the Hungarian Vizsla. A really good entry in the Vizsla. So this is the winner. Um, yeah, lovely. I think... Um, and here comes the Irish. Irish setter. Mahogany coat. Lovely tail extension of the, the spine. Labrador, one of the biggest entries in the show today, uh, this week. It's had um, uh, 60, 62, 64. We have our... The Legato. I think this one might be one of the stars of the group. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the Judge Arnie Arno was very emphatic about Legato's having the correct coat. Um, large Munster Lander, not a breed we see that often, but no. a, one of those German breeds, very striking. It's one of our newer breeds that being shown in the Gundog group. When I say newer, it's been around for a long time, but not recognised by the ANKC. But it is now. Now we have the pointer. Very strong lineup of pointers. Um, the judge's comment on this on the quiet was was a better lineup of pointers than he had at the world show. So that well, speaks that's, that's volumes praise? for, for yes. the um, standard here. 
Now we have the Sussex Spaniel. Wymarana. The Wymarana is now in. The Grey Ghost. Got a fan club there by the sound of it. It does. We're beginning to build a gallery. Wymarana, long hair. I love the long hairs. The oh. long haired Wymarana is now going around. They are lovely, aren't they? So it's great when you look around the whole ring with gun dogs in it. So now the first little group he'll go over um, a little more thoroughly than the others because yes. he's judged the others. In front of us we can see the pointer, the English pointer. Just a touch of a turned up nose there. We, One of the things we look for in the breed is the, the dish, the dish face. And the the um, Murray River Retriever very happily waving its tail in front of us as well. It's good to see them here. Um, we have a number of breeds that have been shown here for the first time at, 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 at our Royal. Uh, this, is, this is one for us. So at the moment, the Curly Coat Retriever is being assessed okay. and it is the best of breed. It was the Intermediate Bitch, Champion Curl Retriever, enough said. Now, our Anna's just walked around the group having a look at them before he goes back to the, back to the one he has to judge. He's getting an overall impression as he goes around, just which dogs catch his eye. Look at the eye of the Weimarana. Always um, striking, isn't it? And, and such a like part of said, their type. The grey ghost. So up to the curly coat retriever. There we are, that's a good thing. They were a very strong bodied dog and uh, I think they can be quite stubborn too. Um, we yes, had a couple but a favourite of, of um, gun dog enthusiasts. Shooting in the, enthusiasts. In the yeah. Bush. <laughs> Tough dogs, strong yes. dogs, um, good bone on them, and um, typical the uh, the bare face. Um, you've got curls all over the body, but this bare face. Mm. Nicely moving. And you've got to think when we say nicely moving, it's about having a a working gun dog, isn't it? It certainly is. And, so and around and on to the end. Champion Curl Retriever, enough said, exhibited by Curl S. Kennels. And the size Champion Curl Retriever, son of a gun. And its dam is Curl Retriever, can't stop this. And our next will be the flat coated retriever. Looks like the curly took a little bit more than um, it was his due. The flat coated retriever, Finnish flat coat, there we are. And it is an Australian bred dog, champion Sky Haven Mayhem and Chaos. My goodness, exhibited by Tina Corbell, or I should say owned by. Um, and the sire is grand champion Flatter Have to Steal or Borrow, imported from Sweden, and its dam is champion Sky Haven, handful of tickets. So from Scandinavian lines, as I said, it's such a, a strong breed in the Scandinavian countries. I wonder whether this will catch his eye. Doing and as it around. should, lashing its tail. They are a lovely dog, the flat-coated retriever. So much to recommend them as a family dog as well as a worker. Next one we see lined up is the Golden Retriever number 893. And this is a bitch and she is champion Chaleur, you are the one, owned by Ruth Thompson and its sire is UK show champion Zam Panzar, say it again, Chardonnay. And the dam is Chaleur Hubba Bubba. Going down and back so that he can assess the soundness from coming and going. 
And as you would see in typically in a golden, the tail waving, it's a lovely sight. Now around the ring to assess the profile movement. This one's a mouthful, the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, one of the, the smaller breeds. It, it works by scaring the birds off the water into nets. Um, they're very popular in obedience. This is number 1172. And this is American champion and supreme champion, Red Moons, Do You Think I'm Sexy? in Port mm. USA. We'll see if the judge thinks that. Exactly. And it's Sire's American champion, oh sorry, American grand champion, Red Moon's What the Duck. And it's Dam is American champion and grand champion, Java Hills Charismatic. And the Toller, um, which they sometimes call him, is always that colour, that russet red colour. Next we have, looking at us, the um, Welsh Springer Spaniel. Number 1692, which is um, a male, champion Brindoian G. Joe, G.I. Joe. Ah, OK, imported from New Zealand. We had a really good entry of Welsh Springers this year. We had more Welsh Springers than we had German Shorthair Pointers. I found that amazing, but wow. a real plus That's for unusual. the breed. Mm. This is um, a, a six-year-old dog, so fully mature. And happy, happy in himself. This is the magnificent clumber. clumber. He's not going to go over these dogs, so they'll go very quickly, and we might or might not get to give you the names. But this is the heavy workhorse of the, the draft horse of the Spaniel breeds. Um, but although it's a heavy-bodied dog and a heavy-headed dog, it still needs to move with, um, with purpose and um, a certain amount of athleticism. You can see it doesn't reach out as far as some of the other breeds, the flashier breeds, but a very typical movement for, the, for a clumber. And it is a bitch champion show field snow bunny owned by Karen O'Brien and the sire is New Zealand champion and champion Bay Park Phileas Flintwick imported from New Zealand and the dam is grand champion show field snow angel. And we have now the Cocker Spaniel, Golden Cocker. The, as I said, both the, the um, um, challenge winners in the Cocker Spaniels were um, Goldens, which was lovely to see. The, they made a beautiful pair together. That's number... Five, five four, four six. six. And it's champion Tarrandale. This can't be legal. And it's owned by Tony Dennis, and the sire is American champion and supreme champion, Dawn Glow, It Shouldn't Be Legal, Import USA, and the dam is Raven's Night, Kickstart My Heart. And the American Cocker's on the ground now, out and back. And next up is the American... And it is five so, seven one. So we have the two. And it is Supreme Champion Azel Deal or No Deal, owned by V&A Carter. And its sire is Danish. Ooh, can't read all those, but never mind. It's a lot of different countries and Supreme Champion. Always bet on the black and dam champion Azul La Chien Noir. This is the English setter, um, a lovely bitch, number 701. Ah. Hmm. No? There we are, 
Champs found it. Champion and Hungarian junior champion, expensive stone amethyst at Zensu, an import from Hungary, um, owned by the Clarks, by Ferre, give me five, damn Ferre, keep on dancing. Lovely to see the, the, the set as all three breeds represented. I hope sometime we'll get the red and white Irish here. Yes. Um, yes, they are lovely to see. This is the, 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 the English. Now we come to the English Springer Spaniel. And we've got Kinsharon Swa Angelica, owned by Vincent McPhee. And the sire is Supreme Champion Kinsharon Ferrando. And the dam is Glen Kinchy Royal Whisper. And again, the attitude of these gun dogs, they have to have that confidence and a bit of a spring in their step because they're working, they are, as a breed, working dogs. This is a field spaniel and it's number 738, champion Bird Rise, the Midnight Special. I guess that's what you'd call a black dog. Owned by Joe Rima. Uh, by Champion CIB, Field Span, Pursuit of Happiness and Bird Rise, uh, Meadowbrook. And the Field Spaniel. Setting up, we've got the German Shorthead Pointer and its American Champion and Supreme Champion, Vic Mist, Journey Down Under, Import USA. Owned by Hyder's Kennels. And the sire is. Uh, sorry, there's more owners than that. Hyder's Kennels, S. Rattle, T. Sprawl, and M. Reichmuth. And the sire is American Grand Champion Vic Mist Garbanita's California Journey. And the dam is American Champion, American Grand Champion Vic Mist New Day, New Dawn. One of the things you'll see about the, the gun dogs is their, their fluent movement and all of the winners so far have shown that. Um, so sorting them out on movement alone is not going to work. It's going to have to be a very strong emphasis on type and both the judges through the week have talked about type, 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 type and they're particularly focused on head type. Um, been a lot of comments about um, too much wrinkle or protruding eyes or yeah and, and in a way very sensible the head is the index to the breed and this is the German wire hair pointer tough dog um, number 855 who is um, a puppy dog a uh, rebel racer owned by Ben Wiedenbach out of a Stodger Prime Suspect and Champion Fallow Point Drama Queen. So if you think of the short hair pointer and the wire hair pointer, this one, you, you, you can see when you look at the face, the whiskers and um, everything, but it, it is and essentially the, the same coat. dog. Yes. The wire coat over the body sits very close. And now we've got the Gordon Centre. Let's try that one again. The Gordon Setter. <laughs> magnificent Gordon Setter. It um, is. Champion Carnusti Contrary to Ordinary. And it's owned by SNC Bennett and S. Auld. And its sire is Supreme Champion Drum Dirac Beamers Run. And the dam is Champion Drum Dirac Lagonda. So this is the heavy horse of the set uh, of the setters. It is. Uh, if you wanted to grade them in terms of substance, you'd go Irish, English, and um, finally the Gordon. Yes. Heavy set dog, absolutely striking with the black and tan colouring. The Hungarian Visla is um, number nine five four, who is champion Greybrook Rebel Without a Cause, owned by Greybrook Kennels. Sire. It's your uh, your choice, Megatron, Imp UK, and Dam is Greybrook Single White Female, ET. So, been getting a bit of work oh, into it. Is. ET is an endurance it uh, is. title, which is what we should see in gun dogs because they're. And this dog has field. a bit of a um, a bit of a support base by the sound of that. 
they're striking yes. the, the the Hungarian visitor. They uh, yes. they blush. Um, and our Irish setter is the Australian nine, bred three. dog. Nine, yes, and it is champion Amherst Undercover of Darkness, and the, it is owned by P. S. and M. Squire, M. Thomas Rhodes, and M. Thomas Rhodes, I should say, and its sire is Coppers, a twist in the tail, imported from Sweden, and the dam is Amherst, autumn leaves in winter. Lovely Irish. I've got a very soft spot for the Irish. It's one yes. of the breeds that that's I've our, shown in the past. Ah, uh, right, Francis. Uh, and that's our racy breed. Yes, and now we have the um, best of breed from uh, Labradors. This is Champion Driftway Trademark um, by Guy Spagnolo. Out of Charm, Blue Vale, Mr Darcy. And Champion Driftway Black Silhouette. Um a dog from an entry of over 60. So obviously one that he liked, strong dog, lovely round bone, great otter tail, um, and just the most typical of heads. And now we have our Legato Roma. I've fallen over. Romagnolo. Thank you. <laughs> we have and a try anyway, don't we? We do. We do our best. <laughs> I got it right the first time. <laughs> and it is the open dog, and it is champion Rosa Bottles Duro, and it's imported from the Netherlands, and it is owned by Jade Morse Roberts, and its sire is Netherland champion Sem de Casa Cleo, and the dam is Rosa Bottles Rose Hip. This is this is a breed that's becoming increasingly popular, both it as a is. pet and a and a um, show dog. Very Not much to so. be mistaken for any of the doodles. It's no, a purebred no. dog, and it's a wonderful little family dog um, with a. Yes, a, it's very versatile. Fits yeah. in large munster lots of places. It's number one 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 seven. And that is ch champion Sir Thunder Ut Vossen Beltveld, imported from Holland. Owned by Cathy Seely. So is Adam von den Eichelengen. Um, and the dam is, Nash, is um, international champion, Dutch champion, ladies Jills Ut Vossen Beltveld. I know I made a mess of that. Oh, I think you did a very good job, Francis. As I said, we do our best. <laughs> this is our very special dog, yes, the so. Murray River Retriever. And I think this is the first year they've been shown at the Adelaide Royal Show. Yes, it is. And we've got the Australian bred dog, and it is champion Baroka Murray Cowboy Tequila, and is owned by Kate Williams. And the sire is Lenahan Albi, and the dam is champion Lady Batchy. And we have with the judge now the pointer, number 1250. Just remember the comment I made earlier about the pointer. The, the quality is extremely high. 1250 is Supreme Champion Tie and Bow. Take another look. Owned by Gerald Munro. Out of Supreme Champion Tie and Bow Look My Way and Champion Tie and Bow Dixie Chick. This, this is the dog they call the aristocrat of the gun dog breeds. He certainly does look aristocratic. And they have that fantastic reaching and driving movement sloping top line and the characteristic dish face 1585 is the Sussex Spaniel oh, no. this dog placed one. in the um, um, in the group last year um, a really lovely yes, Sussex and we're struggling in the peak here in Sussex. The number can't be right there. 1585. Seems to be out of 15. I'm sorry, and I do an injustice to the 
Spaniel, the lovely Spaniel, by not actually being able to tell you in time. 15 Sussex. We're sh shuffling through pages here. Well, you're looking up the Sussex there, Francis. This is the open bitch Wymarana. Winning best to breed, and it's grand champion Ghost Wind Angel Eyes, owned by Ghost Wind Kennels and M Hartnett. And its sire is Supreme Champion Arn Hill Standing Room Only, and the dam is Champion Ghost Wind A Class Above. And just to go back to the Sussex and give it its due, grand champion Markel Yachtsman, an import from the United Kingdom, owned by Monica McCaffrey. The sire is Quintic the Countryman at Ivcar and the dam is Markel Urgent Request. And with us now is the Waimarana Longcoat. And it is a puppy dog and it is Wild Wise, definitely no doubt, owned by Wild Wise Kennels. And the sire is Grand Champion, Jewel Champion, Wild Wise, no doubt about it. And the dam is Champion, Wild Wise, let the force be with you. And that's our final dog to be judged and in the gun dog group today. Mr. Foss will stand back and look at them all. The crowd's um, applauding he's, them. And he's applauding them. So now he will cut to eight. The eight that he wants to give closer consideration to. It's a real honour in a group as strong as the gun dogs to come out in one of those eight. It certainly is. As you can see, there's a large number of breeds in there. So who's it going to be? I, I reckon the clumber will be one of them. And the American cocker, perhaps? Well, who knows? This is his choice. Yes. <laughs> but it's a difficult one, though. English Springer. First one to come out is the Golden, Golden Retriever. Retriever. Followed by the Nova Scotian the Duck Tolling Retriever. And now the Cocker, Cocker Spaniel. Spaniel. The Our German Short Hair Pointer. Irish Setter. The Irish Setter. The Labrador and the, the Labrador and the Legato. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and the pointer. There's the eight. Golden Retriever. Nova Scotia. Golden Cocker. So these breeds will now leave the ring. And the dogs that are going out, you know, some really lovely ones. I love the Clumber. I love the English Springer. Um, I love the Gordon. Very much so. So the dogs are now going to be moved back to the fence once everyone is out and we'll be concentrating on them. So the first one will be, I think, the Golden Retriever. Yes. Number 893. It's a lovely line, just looking at them. Golden, Nova Scotia. And from this line of eight, what a... What a thrill to be out there. I be, I, I'm sure that there'll be some nerves going. He's going to send them around. The Just one at a time. Give them a round of applause. Look at the dog looking around. He's not fast. He loves the floor. And this is a, just a wonderful arena. The dogs have reacted so positively to it. The Nova Scotia. Of space for the dogs to yeah. move and get the best out of them. And over the, the, the taller. And the Here comes floor the is cocker. particularly fantastic this year, Francis. It's a rubberized matting. Yeah. Which is non slip. And easy on the feet, the judges have commented. German short air point has got its um, enthusiastic gallery. Look at it moving out in front of the owner. That's a, an athletic test, isn't it? And the. Uh, lovely Irish setter. Oh, had a little hop there, but that's okay. And the Labrador Retriever. 
And I think our GSP was the and the Charlotte. lovely little Legato, Legato Romanolo. And the pointer. And the last one, the pointer. Very lovely, free moving, aristocratic looking dog with the bee sting tail. Yes. Mm. I was just going to say, our GSP is the runner up in show winner at the Sydney Royal this year. So it's been a consistent winner. Checking the heads, he was really interested in the heads. Out of that line, it would be really difficult to pick you for, I think. He will make his choice and head to the stewards. He will record the choice and it'll all be announced by our um, ring announcer, Neville Hallian, who's one of the committee for the um, committee for the society. Right. Harry Glynn is the um, ring steward. It's between Harry and the judge at the moment. Yes, they're the only ones that know the winners just at present. <laughs> and it'll come up on the, um, the screen. Um, so it'll go four, three, Two, one. Fourth will be called out first. The judge will go to the stand for the fourth place and Neville will call out the answers. Okay. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'd like <laughs> to see the Lakoto get You'd a like place the, here. I'd like to see I the Lakoto place. A yeah. Happy little dog. Anna has gone back to the stewards. I hope he's not changing his mind. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, both judges have been so um, clear all the way through. Tension mounts. All the dogs standing still, except the legato. Here we go. In fourth place. That completes the... Judging of the best in the gun dog group, and as you can see, it was a wonderful lineup of dogs today. The number four in the group is exhibit number 1250, the pointer. So the pointer is number 1250, the English fourth pointer. Fourth in the group. Third fourth in the group. Is exhibit number 893, the Gordon Setter. Wow. Ah, if there's no favorite. Gordon set, the Golden Setter. Let's, let's I think try that the, was a little hiccup. Let's try the Golden Retriever. The Golden Retriever. We'll all get it right one day. So the pointer, the Golden Retriever. Apologise for that. It is the Golden Retriever. <laughs> Second in the group. We're getting down to the really sharp end now. number double one oh eight, the Legato. The Legato is our runner-up in group. And now the winner. And the Big silence. The Labrador. The Labrador. Labrador. So we'll try and give you the names of the dogs. Right, let's start with fourth. We've got the pointer. The pointer it's is 1250. Oh. Oh. And it's Supreme Champion Ty and Bo Take Another Look, owned by Gerald Munro. And the third in the group is the Golden Retriever, which is number 893. So the presentations are going on. Golden Retriever is Chaleur Champion. Pardon, you are the one. Owned by Ruth Thompson. Okay, and second in the group is the Legato. Number 1108. Um, that is a dog that's from Sydney. So 
jade. Its owner has travelled all the way over here. So that was a lovely win. And the winner, Living the best right. in group, right. is the Labrador number Labrador 1068. And let's go back to the Legato. That's champion Rosa Bottles Duro. And it's an import from New Zealand owed by Jade Rob Morse Roberts. So um, the, the first big winner is announced. And we'll need to now judge the best setter. Dogs going into the ring to collect their trophies, the ones they didn't run round the ring with. We have back the, uh, for the so now they call the best setter into the ring. And this is a trophy donated in, in memory of Judy Lott. Um, Judy had English, Irish and Gordon setters uh, killed in an accident many years ago. It'll be presented by her daughter, Martha. So the three setters will come in, the English setter, nice blue Belton, and the Gordon setter, the black and tan, and, we've and the seen Irish setter. All these in the Irish in red group. setter sometimes called. One of these will be the recipient of this lovely trophy. Mr. Foss has made his choice. He's headed to the announcer. The, uh, this is a trophy uh, This is called the Judy Lot of Moira Trophy, donated by her daughter Martha. Judy, a lot of people may know, was a very enthusiastic exhibitor and also. We're just getting the description of the trophy and um, a little comment about Judy, such a special person. I remember her so well. I'm sure you do too. I do. Yes. So lovely to see her daughter here in the ring, um, continuing the, the the lots involvement. And I can see Bob over there in the um, VIP area. So dad and daughter are both here. Yeah, so it goes the best to the Irish setter. The Irish setter. And that is number 963, and I think I have it here. It is champion Amherst Undercover of Darkness, owned by uh, Phil Squire and um, M. Thomas Rhodes. So, lovely. I think um, a great memorial for Judy. It is indeed. Lovely to see. Now we have our next special trophy being awarded. This is um, the setters going around the ring. I love the expression on this dog. Yes. Lovely maho rich mahogany coat. Uh, well done. <laughs> Looks very happy. <laughs> yep. Uh, Phil Squire is the one who's been doing a lot of the live streaming during the course of the show so and many of you have probably seen job. that okay we're up to baby puppy or is it neuter yes i believe let's just wait and see it should be baby puppy right yep so baby puppy there will only be um seven of these because um each day the baby puppies from the group were gathered and one was chosen to represent the gun dog group today. So right. Actually, look, we've only got six. It may not have had a puppy on one day. Who That's knows? That's right. Mm. So out of these six, only one. So when we did the group, it was um, uh, four, three, two, one. This is only one. Great thing to be puppy... A baby puppy in show at the Royal. Uh, you look at you yeah, would is. be looking at something that's, you know, holds the hopes of the owners and the hopes of the breed. Exactly. 
Here we go. Looks like we have a Weimarana first in. There we are. Ah, wow. We've, oh, got some we've got a new one. A bit hard to pick up. I can see the Cocker Spaniel. Hungarian Visla. Labrador. That's better. And the long coat Weimarana. Is that the Weimarana? No, this is the one on the end is yes, a the wire head Slovakian, Slovakian pointer. pointer. Wow, how lovely. And that's uh, a real credit because um, the challenge was withheld in the breed. So oh, for him right. to put through one as baby, the baby puppy of, of the, the day, day says this is very promising. We're watching the baby puppy Cocker Spaniel at the moment, who's number 528. And then the um, Hungarian Visa, which is hmm, number 956. Now, five what a sweetie. Two, Look at eight that. Is Fallow Point Dresden Blue, owned by Ben Wiedenack, and it's signed by champion Ben Kluke. These are a Binet, little out of order. Import UK, and the dam is Cobalt Irish Gift. Ah, oh, we've got the Murray. The Murray River Retriever, 1140, and the Weimarana. We're losing track on the screen here, so please be patient oh, with on. us. That is, That's that is the... No. Why have... Yeah, it must pointer. be. Okay. We'll so see. All will be revealed. Now, He's the made his choice. second one was... I. Harry calling up Neville to um, make the announcement. And so we've only got four in here. We've got four. Oh no, we've only got four. The golden retriever isn't there. Right. No. So that baby puppy in group is the Cocker Spaniel. This was the only one that we gave you the name of before, and that was Fallow Point Dresden Blue, owned by Ben Wiedenack. Now, I'll endeavour to give you the names of the other ones here. We had a Hungarian Fissler 956. And it is Greybrook Speed of Light, owned by Greybrook Kennels. And the ch um, sire is champion Greybrook Rebel Without a Cause. And the dam is Greybrook Electric Mayhem. Our... Our Murray River Retriever was 11.40 and it was Baroka Murray the captain owned by Kate Williams and the sire is Gillet Retrievers Ninja and the dam is Lady Batchy. And the wirehead Slovakian pointer was 792. Uh, 1792, I should say. And it was uh, owned by Emily Goose, I think. Champion Hunting Tales Arctic Bear and the dam was Ooh. That one's very hard to explain. Over the dam Grey Sturm Banshee Danny Bull. But I don't think we've actually got the name of the dog. So here we come now, we've got puppies. Oh,
So, Mr Foss is now about to judge puppy in group. I'm sorry we didn't present the dogs as they came in. We just had a, a bit of a diversion happening here. But all is good. And so he is going to start at the top with the Columbus Spaniel. No, he's not. There's no Columbus Spaniel there. So, ah, these are the breeds he needs to judge because he hasn't been over them previously. So he has got a golden retriever yes. to judge and I think that may be all. No, and he's got a, a long-haired Weimarana to judge. But the long-haired Weimarana was also a best of breed winner, so he's judged that one as well. So the golden retriever that we've got here is number 873. And this is the golden retriever, number 873. And it, the dog is Chaleur Game, Set and Match, owned by Ruth Thompson. Its sire is... A lot of champions from different countries. Jew missed Taste of Adventure. And the dam is champion Chaleur. You are the one. And it was an AI litter. Ruth also owned the Golden Retriever Best of Breed winner that was in the final eight. Yeah. So, oh, we've got... We have a Welsh Springer Spaniel in the ring now. There's, we only have one problem. We don't have its number. 11.96, so we'll just look that one up. And 11.96, I don't think so. That's a papillon. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm afraid we can't give you the details of this dog. I suppose it's we can look at the breed and see what was entered. No, that does not help us because there were a lot of puppy dogs. The puppy dogs. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Mm. No, 1196 was a papillon. So that was wrong. Our Welsh Springer Spaniel. That's given me. <laughs> so that. So I'll. Fine, we have the Columbus Spaniel 518. Mm, that's actually a Cocker Spaniel number, so. That doesn't help us either. Uh, if you look up that one, I will tell you the Columbus Spaniel, which was 518. This is the Columbus Spaniel, 556. And the Columbus Spaniel was champion Erafi de Soto. And the Sai was champion Diab. Barman Supreme imported from Sweden and the dam is Erafi, always in my heart. But Bob's got the puppy bitch, puppy bitch and she is the Cocker Spaniel, Granadi Stormbird, owned by Mrs. D. Partridge and Mr. G. Partridge. And the sire is Linwater Media Storm and the dam is Ellswood Kilty Pleasures. Oh, 
hang on, we've, we've got out of order here, Bob. Yeah, I think we missed the American there along the way. If you hold on to that, yeah. I'll, if you want to announce that one. That's the um, English Springer Spaniel, and I'll find the name of the previous the one. English Springer which Spaniel was, the was American. Um, American Cocker Spaniel was Azel I Kissed a Girl, AI, Good. owned by v &A Carter. Sire is Irish, UK, show champion Nazaline in the buff. And the dam is cha uh, champion Azel Kiss Myself So Pretty. Oh my goodness. And our the Irish. Gordon Setter was uh, number 894, Puppy Dog, Carnoustie yeah. Partners in Crime, owned by Ke Deborah Keating. So I was uh, Briardale or Cantona, and Dam um, Carnoustie Contrary Tordinary. I think we missed one somewhere, Bob, but you know what? <laughs> we apologise. Let me just say the German shorthead pointer was 845. Our uh, we've got our Labrador that was... 1080. We've got our Legato, which was 1103. And now we have the pointer, which is 1252. And our Waimarana, that is 1610. And the pointer was a puppy bitch. Late winds uh, and marks the spot. Owned by Julie Manser. So I was Chester Hope, take a number, Imp New Zealand, and the dam was Grand Champion Lake Winds trademark. And our final dog is the Waimarana Long Hair, and that was our best of breed winner. We apologise for the ones that we missed there, but we've just, once you're behind, you're behind. Mr. Foss is just moving along the line to have a look at his puppies. Now he's coming back along. Harry Glidden the steward is coming out to meet him, so we'll know the winner very shortly. Only one winner, of course. Mr. Foss is just applauding his puppies in the ring here. It's the Golden Retriever. 
owned by Ruth Thompson. Donated in, in the memory of Margaret Hope Bennett. Also the Banana Feeds Australia Prize and a product donated by Susan Park. It is at the exhibit 873. And it is Chaleur Game Set Match. Owned by Ruth Thompson. That's all our puppies are now leaving the ring. And our winner, the Golden Retriever, is just doing a lap of the ring. All right, next into the ring are going to be our neuters from the gun dog group. This is the last class to be judged by... Um, it's got the last class to be judged in the gun dog ring, I'm trying to say. In the gun dog group. We'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> Here. There will only be three exhibits. There's a cocker spaniel. There's an American Cocker Spaniel and a Labrador Retriever. Cocker Spaniel 567 was new to champion Romark C. Pippa, Sue, owned by Lynn Millett. And uh, the uh, sire was grand champion Canyon Classic Star, Imp UK, and, champion, and Dan was champion Romark Raindrops on Roses uh, from, it appears, Jamaica. I don't think so. Well, they snuck in an extra one there, Bob because we haven't got that. We haven't got the, where is it? The field spaniel written down on our list. So we'll try and find that for you. Meanwhile, the American Cocker Spaniel is champion Azel Don't Stop Me Now, owned by Alicia Adamopoulos. And the sire is Ebon Tis Black Diamonds Deep, imported from New Zealand. And the dam is Azul La Chien Noir. So, Bob is looking for our Labrador Retriever. I'll see if I will endeavour to find the Field Spaniel. We have got 740 is the Field Spaniel Champion, Neuter Champion and Champion, Shevington Overlocks Happy Dreams and it's owned by Karen Barone and its sire is Champion Manunga Loader Truffle and the dam is American Champion, Grand Champion Overlooks KD The Way We Were. Import USA. Champion Neuter and Champion Gale Storm Black Ice, owned by Teresa Russell. 
Sire is Black Boys Skating, champion Black Boys Skating on ice. Madame is Gale Storm Wagyu. And that's the last of our neuters to be in the ring to be judged. Quite often our neuters are older dogs that have had a, a show career and then they've been desexed and now they're being exhibited in neuter. Our golden cocker spaniel is the neuter of breed, a neutering group, I should say, not only neuter of breed, and it is 567, which is neuter champion Romark B. Pippa, oh, B. Pippa Sue, sorry, owned by Lynn Mellett. And that completes our gun dog group. Mr. Foss is back in the ring now, this time to judge the toy group. And we'll be beginning with best in group. First breed is the Australian Silky Terrier, number 83. Followed by the Bichon Freeze, number 208. The Bolognese, number 211. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is next, and it's number 430. 
And the Chinese crested is number 482. Oops. No, I don't know what happened to the Chinese crested, but we've got the Ch Chihuahua long coat, 459. Followed by the Chihuahua smooth, 469. Now we have our Chinese crested, and it's number 482. So we've got our English Toy Terrier, and it's number 726. And the Griffin Brussels is 924. And our Havanese is 940. Italian Greyhound is number 1004. The Japanese Chin is number 1020. We have our Lauchen, number 11.26, and the Maltese, 11.32. We have our Papillon, 11.93. Oops, I think I've missed the miniature pincher there, and that is 11.36. We have the Pekingese, 1221. <laughs> the Pomeranian is 1262. The pug is 1320. We have the Russian toy with long coat or long head is 1367. And the Russian toy smooth is 1368. And the Tibetan Spaniel is next, 16.03. And followed by the Yorkshire Terrier, Mr. Foss is looking at all his breeds here. Then he will give each each dog a once over, having judged all these breeds before. And our first one on the table is the Australian Silky Terrier. It's Supreme Champion. Carlia May, Gotta Be Rockstar. And it's owned by Carlia May Kennels. And the site is champion Carlia May, Faithful Rogue. And the dam is grand champion Carlia May, Gotta Have a Reason.
So next we have our B Sean Frise. So the Bolognese that's about to come out is the um, uh, Supreme Champion, CIV Champion, Little White Wonder, Vittorio Hero, Imp Netherlands. The owner is Lynn McCarthy, MacArthur, my apologies. Um, and the sire is Lafford Hero, Dam is Vaniglia, Vaniglia. And going back to the Bichon Frise, it is champion Monjoie Miss Sunshine, owned by Anne Dynan. And the sire is Monjoie Biscuit, and the dam is champion Monjoie Walking on Sunshine. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is 4-3-0 and it is champion Chevalove Back to the Future owned by Kevin and Margaret Munro and it's uh, is Supreme Champion Subo Cool Design and the dam is champion Chevalove Secret Affair. The Chihuahua Smooth Coat being walked at the moment is champion Von Cronen Diamond Desire at Skyway. And the owner is Kay Tilly and T. Summon. This is our reigning um, champion, being the best in show winner last year. And the sire is champion Diamond Chai Diamond Dust in Port UK. And the dam is Von Cronen Lady Muck. And I think Bob's got our long coat. Uh, details there. Bob, have you got the Chinese crested? We got tricked here because we had them listed in the wrong order, but now... The Chinese crested dog is the intermediate dog, 492, uh, and uh, it's... Uh, no, it's the open bitch, sorry. Cadiz Millionaires, it's owned by Cadiz Kennels, and the sire is Glanor, Vegas Strip, and the dam is Entourage, Stole Your Thunder. And our English Toy Terrier is a junior bitch. And it is DC Angeletta, owned by C. Wilmot and D. Matthews. And the sire is American Champion and Champion Rosewood Last Rebellion, Import USA. And the dam is Champion Uragar, My Halo Slipped.
And next we have the We've got the Havanese being walked at the moment, and this is a puppy. And number 940, Loma Jaw Walk on the Wild Side, owned by Janine and Bronte Smith. And the sire is champion Aness Champ, and the dam is champion Aness Luna. Back to the Griffin Brussawa dog, was grand champion Alinga the Terminator. Uh, and the do sire was Don Ziata, Royal Star, in UK, and the dam was Alinga Ivy. Yeah, I'll do that. So we've got our Italian Greyhound, 10.04. This is an open bitch. And it is champion Tare Tucker's daughter, owned by Elizabeth Monaghan. And the sire is champion Tare Tucker Box. And the dam is champion Tare Georgie Girl. The Japanese chin is Kaseki Makoto, owned by Lynn Arthur. Sire is grand champion Kaseki Takayuki. And the dam is champion CIB Kisike Katsuko. And moving on then to the Lauchen, and it's an open dog, 1126. It's supreme champion CIB Chris Dars, Puff the Magic Dragon, owned by CNK Harding. The sire is champion Willow Creek Smooth Criminal at Chris Dars in Port. UK. Uh, sorry, let's try that one again. Import USA. Dam is Christa's Walker in my pocket. Yes. We don't have many CIB champions as yet. It's where they have won five challenges at a CASAB show. Next is the Maltese, a junior bitch. And Gem Nova Storm on a carousel, owned by El Walker. Sire Zorro of El, Dorado, El, El Arado in New Zealand. And the dam is Princess Talia of El Arado in New Zealand. Yep. Yep. So the Minich Pincher also known as the Min Pins, is 11.36, an open dog, champion Shirley Top Gun, owned by Lynn and Leon Johnson. The sire is Shirley Silver Spirit, and the dam is Shirley Pace Setter. Just like a miniature Doberman, but it has a characteristic high gait that, of course, a Doberman doesn't have. So the Papillon is next, and it's 1193, and the, the dog is um, Australian bred dog, champion Genesia Brightblade, owned by Lewis, K. Lewis and Case Sharples. So is Japanese champion Grace JP, wonderful bongo, imp Japan, and the dam is champion uh, Janicia Ranganorok, Ranganorok uh, from uh, Japan. Our Pekingese is also a puppy, and it is exhibit number 1221, and it is Wayani Casino Jackpot, owned by Peter Schofler and Melissa Schofler. And the, da the sire, sorry, is Wayne Monte Carlo and the dam is Wayne Hello Sweetheart.
As you can see, it's, you can tell it's a young dog by the immature coat, which I, it's a long and fluffy coat, but as they get older, there's more texture to the, the coat, less fluff. The Pomeranian is Doc Lagi, a dainty dreamer. Uh, that one is also Denise a puppy, Leo. Bob. Hmm? That's also a puppy. Yes, puppy bitch. Uh, the uh, Cyrus champion, American champion, American grand champion, a BLR champion, not sure of that one, uh, and uh, the Russian junior champion, Dan Star Com Black Queen, Imp USA. And the dam is Dokhlagi. Dream Queen, uh, Oki's Cutie, owned by Glennis Lewis. Uh, and uh, the dam is champion Chip Bond, dusted in gold. The sire being Oki's Night Watchman. Hi, right, and moving on to our pug. This is exhibit number 1320. It's an intermediate bitch, and it's champion Tricetter Mopsy Sassy owned by Tricetta Kennels, and the sire is Tricetta Mopsy Martin, and the dam is champion Tricetta Mopsy Pina Colada. And we've got two um, varieties of Russian toy here. Bob's got the long-haired Russian toy. And that is the uh, bitch class from the bitch class. And it's Australian junior champion Sve Svetlana, not, don't miss, uh, champion, best reality of amazing Austria, imp or Austria, known by Bev Champion. And the sire is... Um, uh, EEJR champion, LTU champion, LTU junior champion, and an LVA champion. Uh, Napoleon is Doma Groyoz. And the dam is Hungarian champion, Lux junior champion, SVK champion, VDH champion, Essendia von Grand Toy. My goodness, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> I got the easy one, I was lucky. And the Russian toy smooth is the puppy dog 1368 luxury top paw Kimmy, owned by Bev Chapman, and the sire is Halef Ikar von Grand Toy in Port Austria, and the dam is champion Viva la Diva, also in Port Austria. Um, the Tibetan is the Open Dog 1603, SE Champion, Champion Flanderlix Kans, Azion, Imp Sweden, uh, and owned by V. Borm. The uh, Sire is another one of these that has so many letters I can't work out what the championships are Many but there's champions. a CPIB <laughs> champion, a Nordic champion and the dam is Mick Mac look twice she's nice and she hasn't got a championship uh, so all the beauty of the dog is perhaps coming from the Swedish champion and our final competitor in the toy group today is the Yorkshire Terrier and it's the Australian bred dog 1804, and it is champion Tamaya exclusive, owned by Michelle Goebel, and the sire is grand champion I'm a Yorkie good luck charm, and the dam is champion Affinage Alua. So Mr Foss is now looking at all his exhibits to choose his final eight.
Many different breeds here represented again, just like the gun dog group. It's good to see all the different varieties of toys all in one ring together. And our first one is the Cavalier King Charles. We've got the smooth coat Chihuahua. We've got the Italian Greyhound. We have the Lauchen. Followed by the Papillon. Followed by the Pomeranian. And finally, the Pug. Oh, sorry, not finally the Pug. Finally, the Tibetan Terrier. Our other best of breed winners are now leaving the ring and it will be the final four will be chosen from this final eight. Mr. Foss is moving up the line and having a final look at each of these breeds. Now he's going to send each one around individually. And he's asking for applause. Oops, I changed that. He's having them all move around together. Mr. Glyn Stewart <laughs> is now taking the numbers of the final four winners. So it will be announced starting with the fourth. We're about to hear the winners. Mr. Foss has just congratulated them all again. Fourth is the Pomeranian. 1262, which I believe is a the Lauchen is the number three, and it is 
And the pug is second. And the smooth coat chihuahua is the best in group. And our we'll have the names of these winners for you shortly. The best in group winner, as I said, is the reigning champion of the Royal Show last year, winning best in show in 2022. Number one in the group is and champion Cadiz Millionaire. And number four in the group wins the Banana Peach Australia Prize, the Lalki Mills Prize, and the Refugee Rest Prize. And Sorry. Product so donated by Sushi Number Mark. one in the group is the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, and it is Von Cronin. Von Cronin will get there in a moment. Just bear with us. It is Von Cronin Diamond Desire at Skyway, owned by Tina Sunman and Kylie Tilly. Number two in the group was the Pug, and it was 1320. Champion Tricetter Mopsy Sassy, owned by Tricetter Kennels. Number three in the group was the Louchen, 1126. Uh, Supreme Champion and Cassab Champion, Chris Dars Puff the Magic Dragon, owned by C&K Harding. And Fourth in the group was the Pomeranian, which is also a puppy. And that is 12.62, which is Dog Lucky Dainty Dreamer, owned by Denise Leo. Yes. So now, already we have our babies coming in. And uh, four, five, three, the uh, Chihuahua Long, who is a bitch, and it's Don Cronin, Hot Hustle, uh, owned by Kay Tilly and T. Sunman, the Sire's champion, uh, Adra Hill, Doc, Mr. Firefox, and the dam is Don Cronin, Diamond Heist. And going back, our Cavalier King Charles with 419, and it is Love Never Say Never, owned by Kevin Munro, Kevin and Margaret Munro. And so is Chevalove Back to the Future, which is a champion, and the dam is Chevalove California Girl. Uh, we also and the, had and the Chinese crested. Uh, bitch, baby puppy was Cadiz Veiled Obsession, Cadiz Kennels, Sire is Cadiz Poppin' Bobbin, and the dam is uh, Cadiz Millionaires. And our Griffin Brusselois is a smooth, and it is. Let me find it. It is number 920. And it is Crusade Cool Moon Doggy, owned by Samantha Brown, and the sire is champion Shigriff suitably attired, and the dam is Strong Jean Pelimoto. 
And these are our puppies of the day. So we just have these coming in. The Italian Greyhound is Tanamara of Nova Secrets, owned by Cherie Tolk. Sarah's American champion, super champion, CIB, Allura Willy Wonka to Oz, Imp USA, and the dam is champion, uh, Tuna, Tunamara, my wish for you. That's the Italian Greyhound. Our Papillon was 11.85. And it is Sibelia Peace of My Soul, owned by Amanda Gill. And its sire is Up and Down's Viva Las Vegas, import from the Netherlands. And the dam is Sibelia Keep Your Crowns. And the pug from the baby puppy dog, 12.95, is Pens, Gems, Friends, Herbs and Spice, owned by uh, Penelope Forbes. And the sire is Con, Mr. Herbert Hines, and the dam is champion Pens Gems, a sissy frangipani. Walking at the moment, we've got our Griffin, Griffin Brusselwa, as I said, it's the smooth variety. They're smooth and the rough varieties both compete against each other within the breed. Unlike some of the breeds, such as the Chihuahua, where you have your long coat and smooth coat, are two separate breeds. And our last one is the pug. <laughs> and of course, ba pug babies are also always so cute. Now, Harry Glenn Stewart is taking the number of the winner. And of course, only one winner here. This baby puppy in the toy group is the Cavalier King Charles, exhibit number 419. The Cavalier King the Charles Peach is Australia the Prize. winner of That's the baby puppy. That's a voucher puppy. donated by Banana Feeds Australia and also a product donated by Sushi Hub. And it is number 419. And it is... Shiver Love, Never Say Never, owned by Kevin and Margaret Munro. Now, as the babies go out, Puppy would be um, examined next, but our fourth place in the group, the Pomeranian, is also a puppy. So it will automatically be best puppy. Not sure what they will do here. I'm not sure if they're bringing the puppies in or just 
Cats bringing the puppy and group winner. So number 1262 is the automatic winner and it is the Pomeranian. The rest of the winners are coming in to parade around the ring, which is good to see. And our Pomeranian was Dog Laggy Dainty Dreamer, owned by Denise Leo. The best puppy in the group is the Pomeranian 1262 that wins the Murray Loudon Trophy, donated and will be presented by Mrs Murray Loudon. Also the Banana Feeds Australia Prize and product donated by Sushi Hub. Okay, let's start at the beginning. We've got the Bichon Frise, which is champion and new to champion Monjoie J, J. Colbert, owned by Anne Dynan. Bob, would you like to do the Cavalier? All oh, right, just just give the name. And. We have our Chihuahua Long, which is 462, but I'll let Bob do the Cavalier first. Bob. Uh, Cavalier King Charles. Yes. The Cavalier King Charles was a new to dog, new to champion Cavachon Idol, uh, Idol, owned by Amy Pridham. And the uh, sire was su uh, super champion Cavachon Pick Me. Dan was champion Cavachon Innocent Eyes. And the Chihuahua Long. I know we're not doing these as they're being judged, but we're just trying to get these so that you can hear them all. The Chihuahua Long Coat was new to champion Moki Black Opal, owned by Patricia Welk, and the sire is Kangala Antonio, and the dam is Moki Bridget. Yep. 
the Chihuahua smooth with Nuta is the grand champion Nuta Reynosa a diamond chip owned by Miriam Schiller and the Sire's champion uh, Diamonchi Diamond Dust Imp UK and the dam is champion Bramvers Corifee Imp Japan and the Griffin Brusselwa is 935. Champion is Shigriff Satin and Sass. And Sire is the champion Shigriff Sam I Am. And the dam is Shigriff Seaside Rendezvous. We've got the turn. The um, Italian Greyhound. Is uh, Neuter is Neuter champion? The best new in the group is Can the Cavalier secret? King Charles Spaniel, like number Katrina double four zero. This Sire wins the Christy Lewis Trophy. Tanamara, Hemi Whisper, Christy and Lewis, Dam is also champion. Also banana feet, Australia, La Roma, Pride and the Sushi Hub Prize. And just going and um, through the classes the there, the Papillon is our winner. Oh no, it's not. I take that back. It's the Cavalier King Charles. Um, Spaniel and the Papillon was 12-16, new to champion J. Jess, the Wizard of Oz, owned by Gervais Teekle, and the sire is champion J. Jess Winston of Oz, and the dam was J. Jess Black Roberta, and, and the, uh, the uh, for the um, pug, the... Uh, the uh, neuter is a champion and neuter champion Tanyet May I call you Jiggly owned by Tanya and Amber Bavis or Beavis and the uh, Sire's champion Tanyetta I'm a striker Dam is neuter champion and champion grand champion Alatanalitu put a spell on you and our winner was the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and it was new to champion Cavachon I Doll owned by Amy Pridham and Sire is Supreme Champion Cavachon Pick Me Damn Cavachon Chris and Eyes Now our next group is group 5 and now we present our second judge who's just come into the ring Judge is Ms. Satu Yalam Monanen. I hope I've pronounced that right for in respect to her. Right, this Swedish Valhand is the first dog into the group because it will need to be judged by um, Miss Yalam Monanen. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, I really do. But she didn't judge this breed, so she needs to give it a full assessment first. And the first of the dogs that, um, he, that our judge has judged is uh, 
Open Dogs, um, Superb Champion, Landmaster Show No Mercy, owned by the Redheads in South Australia. Sire is Champion, Landmaster, Edge of Reality. Dam is Champion, Clover Downs, Delta Blues. And we'll just wait for all these breeds to come in. Got our smooth collie. Our Finnish lap hunt. Our German shepherd. And the German shepherd long stop. have all the exhibits in group five in the ring now and our first dog to be judged or assessed I should say is the Swedish fowl hunt which was judged by the breed was judged by Mr Foss so now we have the best of breed winner champion Osled Karchil NT owned by Linda Webb and the sire is Maroki Forest Quist Osled um, an import from New Zealand and the dam is Vowed a Star Diesel Demeter NT yeah. yeah Oh I'll do the Kelpie Yeah Right, we've previously been through the breeding of this one. Yes, number 52. We have our Kelpie Best of Breed winner, and it is a bitch. No, it's not. I tell lies. It was a dog, Supreme Champion and a Cassip Champion, Kalen Spirit in the Sky, PT, owned by Miriam Schiller. And the sire is Champion Kalen Light the Sky, and the dam is Kalen Sky Satellite. The Australian Shepherd. Number 70 is the Open Dog, Elegant Covert Officer, owned by Anna Richardson. The sire is American Grand Champion, Supreme Champion CIB, and its name is Copper Ridges Under Surveillance, Imp USA, and the dam is Champion Elegant Sparks Fly. So our bearded collie is an open bitch 
and it is Supreme Champion Brigadoon Miros Autumn Rain AI owned by Brigadoon Kennels and the sire is Finnish Champion Curiosity Midnight's Game and the dam is Champion Brigadoon Harry's Lady in Black. Next dog that the that the judge is uh, going over and looking at is uh, the Belgian Shepherd dog, the Gronendal, and it's an open bitch, and it's Belgicalizadi Tedesco, owned by Sonara, no, owned by Sonara Tedesco, and the sire is champion Belgicali Groove Like Jackson. And the dam is Belakari Karu Mali. Yeah. Right, next is our Belgian Shepherd, Chuverin. And it is an open dog. No, it's not. I've done the same again. Hang on, I think we've got, no it is, 145, I was right to start with, sorry. Supreme Champion, Belgicali cast in neon at De La Roche and it's owned by C. Finmore and C. Russell and the sire is Supreme Champion, Belgicali, I go where Hugo, AI and the dam is Belgicali, Knight Coco. And uh, for the, uh, the Border Collies, large entry of Border Collies, the um, best of breed is 237 Supreme Champion Narov Icebreaker, owned by Matthew Fisher. The sire is Grand Champion Narov Icelander, and the dam is Champion Narov Play It Cool. Uh, Briard is number 355, an open dog, Supreme Champion, Nabris Miracle Man PT, owned by Elizabeth Bennett. And the sire is Champion Casherelle Omdemir Reeves. And the dam is Grand Champion, Jaint, Jaint She a Dream Moravia Campanella, import Czechoslovakia. Holly Ruff yeah. is uh, Grand Champion Yazexa International Velvet. It's owned by Mari Arman. And the sire is UK Champion Champion uh, Brooke Leeson Bruce Willis. And the dam is Brooke Leeson Gladys Knight. And following the Collie Rough, we've got the Collie Smooth, 591, an open dog, champion Yaksika, the Charmed One, TK. Oh, I'm not sure what all these things coming after its name mean, but it's TKS, HTMS, RN, FSS, SWN. There you go. And it's owned by... D and K Adams and its champion Osiris champion Yaksika It the only way to fly and the dam is Yaksika as nice as pie. Uh, here. Finish seven four two. And the finished lap on Open Dog is Supreme Champion, CIB, Taikora Tatian Valo. Uh, the owner is uh, 
Mill Huey Lim and the Cyrus Finnish champion Legzibson Car Pro imported Finland and uh, the dam is Lapin Lunas Lapin Tahi tea from import from Norway and our German Shepherd is an Australian bred bitch Taron Game On owned by Gail Wellman and its sire is champion Lennon von der Grafenberg. Uh, Germany. Ooh, lots of, lots of things. Import from Germany. And the dam is Taron, Champagne and Gucci. Now, uh, the uh, German Shepherd long stock is 834. Kindom, a touch too much. Owned by Ben Lawrence. Sire is champion Lennon von der Grafenberg, Germany. Um, and, uh, and a whole lot of other recognition. AD German and BH and one Gur BH and two Gur BH and imported uh, from uh, Germany. The dam is Kindom, Chefet de Acro Chur. And our Norwegian Boo Hunt is now moving for the judge, and it's a puppy bitch, 1169. South Spirit, a legendary tale AI, and it's owned by Miriam Schiller, who also owns the Kelpie. And the site is champion Kion's Urban Legend, Import USA, and the dam is Blackcomb SIR. SYR. Let's try that. Yep. In the old English sheepdog. Is 1182. It's a bitch. And uh, it's uh, 1180. My apologies. And it's Grand Champion Hartwin Pageants Royal Encore. Owned by W. Haig and P.A. Hartwell. Sire is Champion Hartwin Royal Pageant CDX. And the dam is dual champion Hartwin Royal Zulu UD RE. And now we have our pulley being assessed, and it is 1327, and it's an intermediate bitch. Actually, it was the only um, exhibit in the breed, and it is champion Rustafarian on fire, owned by Royson Velour. And its sire is champion Rustafarian Rhythm and Blues, and the dam is Rustafarian Fireworks. And the short heel, the Shetland Sheepdog, is 1482, and it's Haradel, Haradai by design, Lentaridi Tennels, owner, and the sire is Paray, tailor made for Haradai, Imp USA. Imp USA. And dam is Haradai Trick or Treat. So now on the table we've got the Cardigan Welsh Corgi in its grand champion Kawera Custom Made. And it is an open bitch. And it's an import from New Zealand, owned by B. Peters and P. Betteridge. And the sire is New Zealand champion Cardicted Journeyman. And the dam is New Zealand champion Kawira Sunkissed River Girl.
And the uh, winner of this uh, award was American champion, American grand champion, Japanese champion, superb champion, CIB Rain Trees, JP Lenozzi di Figaro, import from Japan, owned by Mrs. K. Flynn and Mrs. J. Robinson, and the sire is American champion, American grand champion, BR, Heart Song, Bryn Lear Pavarotti, and the dam is American champion, American grand champion, Japanese champion, Rain Trees JP, Autumn Splendor, and probably an award winner for the number of uh, flight miles that have travelled in recent years. I think so. It's certainly been around the traps, hasn't it? <laughs> The White Swiss Shepherd is an open dog and it is 1781 and it is champion Clarelli, licensed to kill and it's owned by J.W. Kelly and C. Claire Vanderwald and the sire is champion Sovereign Park, Fleetwood Mac and the dam is champion Clarelli, take a chance. And it's our final exhibit to be gone, to be assessed in the working dog group. And our judge is now walking along our line of exhibits to do her final choice. So next will be the final eight that get selected from this group. <laughs> Missing from our line up there was the Dutch Shepherd number six nine seven. Shepherd was the champion Dark Celtic Anouk and owned by Michelle Minardi and its sire was Working Stripes Aramis from Import Finland and the dam was champion Van Recker Kokoda Ranger. But meanwhile we have our final eight being selected and we've got the Cattle Dog, the Kelpie, the Australian Shepherd, the Border Collie the Finnish lap hunt, the old English sheepdog, and the one who's behind, I can't really see, I think it's the Shetland sheepdog and the Pembroke Welsh corgi. So our retiring breeds are leaving the ring and that will leave us with the final eight to be selected from to get our final four. Interesting to see a, a Pembroke Corgi out there without the... Um, start again. Let's try the cardigan corgi without the Pembroke corgi. Yeah. 
That's really true, Bob. And it's good to see so many people out. It's you don't see these numbers ordinarily at our regular shows. Well, a lot of the exhibitors do a lot of work in between getting their dogs ready for the big royals, just to make sure that they can handle the many, many hours on the bench and uh, the number of people around the place that sort of put their hands into the benches and and ruffle their coats. So it's a, it's a big deal, not just the bit of judging that goes on, it's the whole preparation. That's right. And it's good to see a lot of exhibitors will put their dogs out for people to actually meet and greet. So they get to know breeds. I'm sorry, I know that when I judge, I love to find a dog in one of the breeds of lesser numbers that sort of holds it, holds their place and uh, you quite often see the exhibitors around the place saying like what's that dog winning for <laughs> because they're so used to seeing some of the great, the great champions winning week in week out that's exactly right but all these dogs have their own merits and they're all just as worthy of winning best in group whether they are the only exhibit or one of 50 <laughs> Right, we have our stewards conferring there, writing down the numbers, so they're ready to announce our final four. Number four in the working dog group is the Bearded Collie, exhibit number 139. Fourth in the... Oh, I don't think we've got a Bearded Collie, actually. Let's try that one again, Neville. <laughs> right, the Border Collie, exhibit Let's number 139. Let's try the Border Collie. Not a Bearded Collie. <laughs> the Border Collie is fourth number in the group. three in the group is exhibit number 52, the Australian Cattle Dog. And the Australian catalog, no, catalog, let's try a cattle dog. <laughs> number 52 is third in the group. Number two in the group is exhibit <laughs> number 742, the Finnish Lap Hunt. And runner up in our group is the Finnish Lap Hunt. <laughs> and the best exhibit in the group is exhibit number 1482, the Shetland Sheep Dog. And a very popular win there for the Shetland, the Shetland Sheepdog, Sheepdog the Mrs. One four eight two. Mrs. P.K.J. Roach Memorial Trophy that donated by Deborah Hamilton and to be presented on behalf of the donor by John Bryson, who's the chairman of the Sydney Royal. Um, the winner, the Shetland Sheepdog. And our other finalists are now leaving the ring. It was good to see the Kelpie, the Australian the also Shepherd, the Old English Shinprop, the and the Banjo Cardigan Prize, Cookie. Which is a $100 sponsored by Kiralee Hayes. Also a voucher sponsored by Banana Feeds Australia and product donated by Sushi Hub. Number two in the group is the Swedish Lap Hunt. Number... Number 742, this wins the Carmody Kennels Prize and the Charlie Brown Trophy donated by Mike Brown and Doreen Brown, also Tracy Walters and, and Ann Walters and to be presented um, on behalf of the donors by Mike Brown. Shetland Sheepdog was uh, from Class 10A and also wins and, the Banana uh, Feeds 1482 and a champion and Paradise by, by Design, Len Toridi Kennels. And the Cyrus Parade, tailor made for Haradai, Imp USA. Number three in the group is and the Australian Dam Haradai, number trick or treat. That wins the, the Carmody Kennels and Prize, second in group which is a trophy was donated the Finnish by Lap Carm Hunt, Carmody Kennels. Also the Open Dog 742, Supreme Champion and Cassip Champion, 
Ortega, Coira, Tatian Valo, AI, owned by Huey Min Lim, and Cyrus Finnish champion, Labixin Capro, imported from Finland, and the dam is Lappen Luna's Lappen Tati, imported from Norway. We've got third in the group there, the cattle dog, Bob, number 52. And the Australian Cattle Dog, which is number 52, is Supreme Champion Landmaster Show No Mercy, owned by Connie Redhead. And the Sire is Champion Landmaster Edge of Reality, and the Dam is Champion Clover Downs Delta Blues. And fourth in the group was the Border Collie 237, Supreme Champion Narof Icebreaker, owned by Matthew Fisher. And the sire was grand champion Narof Icelander, dam champion Narof Play It Cool. And now we have our baby puppies coming into the ring. Looks like we only have two at the moment. So we have two varieties of Belgian Shepherd. Oh, I tell a lie. I think this is um, the best Belgian Shepherd in the show. That makes more sense, doesn't it? They don't look like babies at all. <laughs> yes. The Belgian Shepherd is exhibit number 145. This wins the Jewel King the Memorial Prize. The Triburin is the best Belgian Shepherd in show. Now, there should be four representatives in the baby and group because they were chosen as baby puppy of the day. Our next class is the best German Shepherd in show with the German Shepherd dog and the Long stop. German Shepherd. Best German Shepherd is exhibit number 812. The best German Shepherd is 812, that's the bitch. That's 872. That was exhibit number 812, and it was Tehran Game On, owned by Gail Wellman. Now we're into the uh, babies in group five. 
and um, the Australian catalogue is Landmaster Beale Street Blues, owned by the Redheads. And the sire is American champion, supreme champion, Landmaster Memphis Blues. And the dam is champion, Landmaster Mustang Sally of Clover Downs. And our old English sheepdog is 1182. Um, it doesn't have a name in this catalogue because it, they are able to be um, entered without having their registered name but as long as they're registered by the time the show begins but its sire is American champion champion Riata's Walk the Talk designer import from Canada and the dam is champion Whitefall Beatrice Baby Blue and it's owned by Alison Finlay I think she's already judging in this the um, Shetland Sheepdog is um, 1473 and it's Shulshian Casino, owned by INC Spangler. Cyrus Champion Aragento Raise the Stakes and the dam is Shulshian Solano. And our final one is the Welsh Corgi Cardigan, 1625. And it is Calora Rising of the Sun, owned by Calora Kennels, and the sire is Grand Champion Calora Quality Control AI. The best baby and puppy the dam in is Calora Starry is Starry the Cardigan Night. Corgi number one six five two. And the one that I just one, six, two, announced, five, sorry. One, Calora six, two, Rising five, of the Sun, the Cardigan Sheldo Corgi Trophy, is the winner of the best baby puppy in the Working Dog Group. Maori, uh, sorry, Mike and Doreen Brown. Also wins a voucher sponsor of Banana Feeds Australia and product donated by Sushi Hub. lovely to see one of those rare breeds that you were talking or we should say rarer breeds it's a very old breed but just one we don't see in the same numbers as the Pembroke Corkies So the first one in is the Swedish Volhand 1588. And the Swedish Volhand was Lakinda Django Fett. Goodness me, owned by Linda Webb, and the sire is Ozled Bast Oscar LS, and the dam is champion Ozled Car Chill NT. And the Australian Shepherd puppy dog is elegant looking sharp at Inda, uh, Indara, owned by Sarah McEnany. And the sire is champion elegant covert officer, and dam is champion Indara Rocking Graceland. And we have 140. We are just going back through the dogs as they came in because it's hard to keep up when they're coming in so fast. So the Belgian Shepherd Gronendale was 140 and it's Belgicali Raised the Alarm AI owned by Chelsea Umney and the sire is Apollo de Bruin de Bruin Buck I should say and the dam is champion Bill Zakali Zardi and the border collie is uh, 218 it's a, a dog 
and it's Steadfast Don't Dream It's Over, owned by Gay McKiernan, and the sire is Galt, Colton Tainted Love, and the dam is Steadfast Dream in Pixels. Okay, and our Briard is 359, and it is a puppy bitch, and it's Casherelle the Bounce at Bree Burger, and it's owned by Susie Losa, and the sire is champion O'Neill's de la Manaliere, JC Import France, and the dam is Casherelle Rocket Fauve. Uh, in the dog class, the Collie Ruff puppy dog is number 576, and it's Car Luke kissed by Harriet of the Car Luke Kennels, and the sire is champion Car Luke falling in love, and the dam is Scotly Me Prelude to a Kiss. Now, I don't think our Dutch Shepherd is with us either. That's missing as was the best of breed Dutch Shepherd but we have German Shepherd Dog 797 and it is Von Peter Genitels AI owned by Peter Damerel the sire is Volcano you know Von Schnitzer team imported from Hungary and the dam is Von Peter Sayonara Harmonization. And in the German Shepherd dog uh, long coat it's um, the number is 819 and it's Bron Borio Russian bomb uh, Ben Lawrence and the sire is Tim Team Burn Tiger of Sweden Imp Sweden and the dam is Bron Borio Red Light. And our Norwegian Boo Hunt is the same as the Best of Breed winner, 1169. And it is South Spirit, a legendary tale owned by Miriam Schiller. And our Old English Sheepdog is uh, 1183, which is Whitefall, a partner in crime, owned by Alison Finlay, Cyrus Champion des Designers. American Patriot, Patriot, and the dam is Champion White for Champagne Waltz. And our Shetland Sheepdog is a puppy bitch, Haradai, our artistic affair, owned by H. Innes, The H best puppy Innes. in the working dog group, and it exhibit Sire number Haradai 1169, the Norwegian Bulldog. affair. And the, the EB trophy best donated by puppy in group Bennett, is the Norwegian Buhan, a cash prize which and was trophy. 1169. Also, the Banana Feeds Australia and the uh, Norwegian and product Valorant donated by Sushi Hub is um, no. And the Norwegian Buhund, which is a puppy bitch with South Spirit, a legendary tale, owned by Miriam Schiller, sire was champion Chiron's urban legend, Imp USA, and the dam was Blackcomb Sire. And the one that we didn't uh, present to you was the Welsh Corgi Pembroke, and it was Tutorix Secret Moonlight Dream, owned by Chloe Frid, and the sire was... Wham Fury, oh so messy, and the dam is Anne Tudor dancing in the moonlight. Cool, made that one. Oh, we've done well. <laughs> and the neuters are about to come in now.
and the Australian Shepherd is uh, neuter, is Grand Champion Thistle Dust Black Velvet, Karen Davis is the owner, and the sire is Grand Champion Sutta Soldier Boy, and the um, uh, HTRNPT Imp New Zealand, and the dam is Grand Champion Neuter Grand Champion Sutta Sober Dazzle JCCA Imp U, uh, New Zealand. And our border collie was 288, and it's Grand Champion and new to Grand Champion Naroff etched in ice, owned by Kay Hansen, and the sire is Supreme Champion Naroff No More Mist and Ice Sky, and the dam is Grand Champion Naroff etched in ink, and it's CC. And the um, Briard. Is um, Grand Champion, Newton Champion, Nabrisi Afira, owned by Kim Kuchera. Uh, the sire is a Kiss Please Morovia Campanella, in Czechoslovakia, I think that is. And the champion winning colour of Morovia, Moravia Campanella is Imp CZE, which I think is Czech. Czech. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Um, our German Shepherd dog, Neuter, is champion. Neuter champion, Seaside Shep, Miss Beautiful, owned by G and E Parsons, and the sire is T champion, Neuter champion, something or other champion, champion. Yep, all them, and uh, Stobar Quentin, and the dam is champion Shep West, image in true magic. And with the um, Shetland Sheepdog, uh, new to class, there's Supreme Champ 1489, the Supreme Champion, new to champion, Lentaridi Gossip Lips from Lentadari Kennels, and the sire is Supreme Champion Sunland Suntory, and the dam is Champion Lentadi Lily Pilly Rose. And our Welsh Corgi Cardigan is 1648. And it is New Zealand champion and champion and new to grand champion FA Wood Tales for Anne, import from New Zealand, owned by Affenwell Kennels and Miss B Mercer. Sire is New Zealand champion Rodwell River Runs Red, and the dam is New Zealand champion Badagree Harlem Hot Pursuit. And the Pembroke uh, Corgi uh, Neuter. Uh, is 1682 is new to champion new pre field of dreams H T R N F S S H T M S T K S the best new in the working dog group Clarony. is exhibit number 288 the, the champion collie. Brookhaven trade secret the border collie and wins the Welsh press charm and grace Memorial in USA Trophy. Donated by Adam and the dam is champion the guy Norma Jean. And well, that was a very Tushy popular Hunt. win with the Border Collie winning Best Baby. Can you just look up what its name was again, Bob? And I'll just announce the last one, the which was the White Swiss Shepherd, which was the neuter dog champion Clarelli Russian Roulette, owned by. Uh, J.W. Kelly and Claire Vanderwald and Sire was Supreme Champion Val Gardens Ghostly Gladiator Import Sweden and the dam was Grand Champion Anderson in for a penny but our best, ba best neuter sorry was the Border Collie 288 288, yeah. No, I think we did that, didn't we? Did we do that one or not? And find that number for you. And it was Grand Champion, new to Champion, Naroff etched in ice, owned by Kay Hansen.
Would you please welcome back to the ring Arnie Frost to judge the Terrier Group being escorted by Honorary Councillor Ray Hedges. Now we welcome back Mr Foss and he is about to do the Terrier Group. And here we are starting on the terrier breeds. And the first one in the ring is an Edale Terrier. Now we have our breeds that weren't judged by Mr. Foss. They come into the ring first. We've got our Edale, then an Australian Terrier, a Border Terrier, a Scottish Terrier, a Celium Terrier. Good to see that breed out and about. And a Tenterfield Terrier. Beautiful. Dogs are already in the ring. The Supreme, uh, the American Staffordshire Terrier is Supreme Champion Manfred's Guess Who's Back, owned by Jeff Watson. And uh, the sire is Supreme Champion Red Platinum Let There Be Rock, uh, AI, JC, WPD, and the dam is Manfred's Miss Dingo. Well, these are still coming in. As we said, our breeds that will be judged first are the Airedale, the Australian Terrier, the Border Terrier, Scottish Celium and Tenderfield Terriers. So all our breeds are in the ring now for the Terrier group. The first one to be assessed will be the Airedale. So our Airedale Terrier is number 15, an open bitch, champion Old Iron Pitch Perfect, owned by Anne Sorrigan. The sire is Supreme Champion Old Iron King of the Road, and the dam is Supreme Champion and Cassip Champion Old Iron Easy Peasy.
Mr. Foss is just assessing each dog as he's walking past. Mr. Foss is just assessing the Airedale, the King of the Terriers. This is a breed that he hasn't judged. Next is the Australian Terrier. I can't tell you what number this one is. It is number 90. And it is champion Regis Vista Nudge Nudge Wink Wink, owned by Wendy Sullivan. And the sire is grand champion Regis Vista Good Behaviour Bond. And the dam is Cassab and grand champion Regis Vista Dare to be Different. So on the table we have the Border Terrier Best of Breed and it is number 296. It's champion Bowhunt Best Served Cold AI owned by Gayla White and its sire is Brumber Hill Back Atcher and the dam is Bowhunt Angel Provo Provocateur. Very alert little terrier, looking around and seeing what's around. No. Now we've got the Scottish Terrier, 1441. It's number in the catalogue. It is Whoops, I seem to be missing. No, I'm not. It's down here. It's a bitch and it's Australian bred bitch champion Ha Hargert. Beatrice McPherson, owned by Dorothy Mitchell, and its sire is Carisco, Take a Chance on Me, Import UK, and Dame is Champion Hargert, We Bridget, and it's followed by the Celium, 1445, it's an Australian bred dog, Supreme Champion Prozelli, Places in the Heart, AI, Owned by R&D Malian Potter, 
and its sire is Dunville Dudley Do Right of Tintern, Import USA. And its dam is champion Penny Flower Whispering Hope. This is one of our rarer terrier breeds, and it's good to see a celium being exhibited because there's very few around in Australia at present. And the last breed to be examined uh, by Dr. Let's try again there, shall we? The last breed to be examined thoroughly by Mr. Foss is the Tenterfield Terrier 1595 and its champion Tenterhill Armagnac, owned by Gumhaven Kennels. And the sire is champion Gumhaven Game of Chance and the dam is Outfox Brandy. And then we come back to the breeds that Mr. Foss has judged and we start with the American um, Staffordshire Terrier which was introduced earlier on by Bob. It was number 44. And it's Supreme Champion Manfred's Guess Who's Back, owned by Jeff Watson. Next we have the Bull Terrier. And we've got an open dog, and it's Champion Brasshead Butch Cassidy AI, owned by Brasshead Kennels. And the sire is Bull Rorus Bodacious Bazza. And the dam is Evil Doer Christmas Cracker. Riding around there like the gladiator they are. And now we've got the miniature bull terrier and it is 389 and it is champion Spear, Spearhead Whizfizz AI owned by DT Roosh. And the sire is Old Spice Marso and the dam is champion Spearhead. Sherbet Bomb Tattoo. And the Cairn Terrier is American Champion, Supreme Champion, Rock Rivers Show Me the Money, Import USA, owned by Kathy Scotton. And the sire is American Champion, Salvia's Three Coins in the Fountain. And the dam is Rock Rivers Diamonds and Pearls. Now we have the Fox Terrier Smooth, and this is 750. And we have Supreme Champion Klanak Foxtrot at Ball Badger, owned by Nguzos and MP Merchant, and E.K. Parker. And the sire is Supreme Champion Fermoy, Knight of the Falcon. And the dam is Champion Grey Book, Mind Games. Yes. 
Our wire fox terrier is 756. And it is Grand Champion, Supreme Champion, Greybrook Adrenaline Junkie, owned by Greybrook Kennels. And it is Supreme Champion Esquire Strikes Back, Import UK. And the dam is Supreme Champion Greybrook, The Colour of Money. Hi, Annabelle, back again. I love Francis. the foxies. They're such a traditional breed. And they used they to are. be a dominant entry in most of these royals and the big shows. So yes. this um, little wire. He's quite a accomplished winner. The presentation and the preparation required for a dog like that is extraordinary. Oh, it is. It and may look easy, a, but it certainly isn't. <laughs> yeah, here we've got a little Jackie, Jack Russell, and um, he's just a sparkly little fellow. It's, it's, the breed has come on so much in the time. Um, and this one, this one's an import. Um, just, ah, um, oh, here we are. My first show was in 1959 with a Kerry Blue Terrier. And the amazing thing is I had a look in the society, I was in the office yesterday, and there's the 1959 catalogue on the wall. Oh, and I really? looked it up and there it is. F.J. Ah. Butler, that was my grandfather, and it was Fermoy something flame. But there you that go. That dog I sat in the box for. I've always loved Kerry's. Um, look at that carrot tail and the wonderful yeah. arch of the neck and the, um, the kick up blue of the hops. Yes. Yeah, he's just turning. I don't know how old yes. he is. Um, yeah. He'd be mm, imported from Italy. Now, that? I, no, no, that's no, the Jack Russell. I need to go quickly no, no. back to the Jack Russell. It was 1011 champion John Hughes Jr. Mickey Moto, imported from Italy, owned by Simon Mills, and the Kerry Blue is is one oh four four and it's champion Balkana Blue Queen's Gambit. Owned, owned by the Camax. Owned by yeah. J Camax and we've got R it. S Ross and S Pike. We've got in the ring now the um where are we? Down here the Manchester are we? No yes. yeah, Manchester Terrier. Lovely little ratter, black and tan, and you look for the markings on it. Um, you can see the, the the tan on the muzzle and the melon pips over the eyes and the tan feet and the tan under the tail. It just has to have the markings in the right place. It certainly does. Uh, and the rat tail. Um, yeah, you know, they are, they're a special breed. They're difficult and we don't have many of them and that no. makes it even harder. But it was Dixie Daly, Tiddlywinks, Owned by Jennifer Toma. And, and we've got, yep, and we've got the um, Sky Terrier in the ring now. Long, low and level. Absolutely. Um, big ears. Um, and coat. they can be dropped or pricked. And this, this one has pricked. Yep. Coat parted down the middle. Um, I, I, you know, it's another one of those Scottish Terrier breeds. The British, as a collective term, the British Terrier breeds are marvellous. Um they are, and there's uh, sadly that there's a lot of just single exhibits in the breeds of these, but they're very classy dogs, so it's lovely to see them out here. And we've got so, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, well, and just, I don't think we should call it a British breed because it's Irish. Well, there you go. And, and um, so the Sky Terrier was Supreme Champion Grawn the Enforcer, owned by Helen Hill, and the soft-coated Wheaton is 1540 and it is grand champion Shanika let them eat cake the, owned um, by Lauren Novak the um, soft coat um, in Ireland they'll often put a, a head of wheat on the table um, when they're judging them and the color of the Wheaton has to be near to the color of the wheat um, really uh, right. and quite a lot of competition quite a lot of disagreement in the breed about how they should be shown, whether they should be ultra groomed or yeah, a or lot natural. rougher. Yes. That's and this is the Staffy. Um, just there was a very good entry of Staffies. Lovely little dog. Um, we um, uh, we think of the bull breeds and I guess this is one of them but 
this is just the most lovely breed for a family. Um, and they're very popular as family pets, aren't and they? And fantastic little characters, yeah. And it's Supreme Champion Kabir, oh my goodness me, Yama Dima Go Full Ninja. And okay. We've, <laughs> we've got the Welsh Terrier in the ring now. There was only one oh. Welsh Terrier, but a good one. It'd be interesting to see yes, where he figures in, um, this, in, the, in, the end, in the scheme of things. And Look at the alertness of the dog. Area is 17.05 and it is Supreme Champion Waratah HMS Victory owned by Wong and May. A lovely rich colour in that um, Welsh Terrier. And, and on the table when you go from the richness of the black and tan of the uh, Welsh Terrier to the pure white of the West Highland White Terrier, another, another British breed. Another single breed. breed. Uh, yes, uh, another British yeah, breed. And Look Scottish at the head, breed. shape just like a chrys well, you know, with the grooming and everything. A chrysanthemum. What mm. a what an attractive analogy, thought. isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Another little carrot tail on top. Yes. So it's seventeen oh six. Grand champion Questador flying high, owned by Shaz Keeley. Yeah, and you look at the lovely sparkling eyes on this as, as it comes towards you. Yes. And I think that makes the lineup. And it does. this is a heck of a challenge, really. I mean, he's going to pull out eight, but I think he could pull out 10 or 11, <laughs> and they'd all be of that sort of quality. I know there's a couple that have really taken his eye during the course of the show. Right. I'm not going to name them, but I'll bet they're in the lineup. And there's a lot of terrier breeds that. You have to spend a lot of time preparing the coats and yeah. things. They're not just a but dog that can come out week after week with a coat that's perfect. I remember the preparation in the um, Kerry Blue. And um, mm. I also remember David Roach. And this is the David Roach arena. Yeah, I remember right. David Roach coming down one day and said, give me the dog. And he spent nearly three hours sorting it out because he wasn't going to have one of his breeding looking like that uh, and we thought we'd done a jolly good job well the, mm. yes <laughs> yeah and the surprising breeds like the little can um how much work goes into that yes it uh, looks they're like meant to look untrimmed yeah. but in making a do dog look reasonable yeah. but untrimmed is quite a lot <laughs> And the, and the work into a wire fox terrier, oh, really, and your Welsh and your Lakeland and your yeah. Airedale. Yeah. So, so we've got, much the smooth -coated, stripping. got smooth coated dogs like the Amstaff and the Bull Terrier. And um, the smooth and the foxy. Smooth, smooth foxy. And what you see is what you get. Yes. Lovely, lovely dogs. Yeah. Yes. Um, love the long head of the smooth foxy and, the, yeah. and also the wire foxy be interesting to see what he pulls out. He's standing back to have a good look. Right, here comes Here's the cup. Our first one. Come on, wake up, lady. It's the Border Terrier. Aha. Uh -huh. British breed, there you go. Scottish. And the Am Amstaff. So. Lovely. And the Cairn. Yep, and the smooth fox and the wire fox. Both of them lovely to see. And the Jack Russell and the Kerry Blue, and he's got room for one more, and it's the Staffy. There you go. And that's his that cup. completes our eight. And I look around, and there's still some deserving dogs that yes, uh, aren't out there, are. but the cut is for eight, and that's it. Um, yes. Look at that. Border, Amstaff. Ken, Smooth Fox, Wire Fox, Jack Russell, Kerry Blue, and Staffy. And when the other Terriers have left the ring, the cut will move back against the fence and he will take some time to have a quick look at them moving again, I'm sure. So we get ourselves lined up. Wake up with the Foxies. There we go. Yep, here we go. So these dogs look at the look at the soft coat of wheat and leaving the ring. Yes. Uh, in 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 England, um, in Ireland, they would want the soft coat ears to be darker. Ah, oh, um, right. Yeah, but you know that's just one of the peculiarities there. Here we go. 
around one at a time by the look of it. Yes. So here we go with the border terrier. You look at the border. Oh, we can't. There he goes with the face like an otter. Um, yes. And a lovely level top line. You want the tail to come straight off the top line. It doesn't get pushed up like so many terrier tails. And the am stuff, the muscling in the cheek and the rosy ears and um, the strength through the front in particular. And the can, the varminty. Yeah. Took the words right out of my yeah. mouth. <laughs> uh, and the foxy, full of fire. Yeah, he wants to go. Look at him. Look at the, look at the eye on him. And the long muzzle. That would do the job, wouldn't it? And here comes the, the wire fox. Lovely crest on the neck. Beautiful jacket. Oh, I got told off by my wife for talking about a jacket. She said, that's a bit snotty, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, she said, call it a coat. The Jack Russell, look at it. So alert. And this little breed... Owes a lot to Australia, I think. It and does the, actually. The I Kerry think they Blue. Were the first Love the action where of they it. were recognised, weren't they? The Jack yep, Russell. Absolutely. And the Staffy, smart, strong, little broader in front than behind. Big muscles in the cheek. Should have a pump handle tail. We don't often see a proper oh, pump handle, they seem do we? To be disappearing, unfortunately. Mm. Okay. This Was is it. A characteristic. Down. We're down to, here we go, for four of them. Gee, I'll have a bet the Cairns one of them. I reckon... Look at them all showing. I'm not sure. The little heads the Jack, off. I reckon the Love Jack the, Russell will be in one. Love the terrier spirit. Mm. So I, I'll take those two as um, Which starters. ones were they? The Cairn and the Jack Russell. What else can we have? I wouldn't I'd be like surprised if that Kerry Blue... Yeah, I wouldn't be there. surprised if that Kerry Blue and then one of the Foxies. I, I'm look, trying to get a feel for them. Do you know, I look at the Foxy um, standard and the, they both have the same, basically, mm, the same they standard, do, but do. they don't look like each other. And it's not just the no. coat. No. Mm. Here we go. He's making his choice now. And don't know whether you're getting the picture or whether you're getting the safety message, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> The judge is making his choice. Well, we're trying not to focus on the judge making the choice or telling the steward because um, he's giving it away. Yes. And he's giving a, a round of applause for the whole oh, group. I mean, this go. is We've a... We've got our feedback again. This is a lovely, lovely terrier line-up, isn't it? It certainly is. What's your pick? My pick's the wire fox terrier. The wire fox is beautiful. I love that dog. Mm. Beautiful. Just an epitome of fox terrier. Tiptoe of expectation. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Beautiful head, beautiful planes. Oh, I took a photo during the week and put on. The we judges made the made decision, decision for the placings beautiful. in the terrier group. Number four in the group is the Border Terrier, exhibit number 296. So our Border Good, Terrier is number terrier. four in the group. Number 296. A lovely Border Terrier. Third in the group is the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The number Staffordshire one, five, Bull eight, Terrier two. is the third in the group, number 1583. So the Border Terrier was fourth in Second the group. Second in the group is the... All right, we'll give you the num terrier, names in a while. Five, six. Uh, the Wire oh, Foxy the wire fox is Terry second is in the, the group. Second in group. And number one in the group is the Cairn Terrier. And oh. the Cairn Terrier is the best in group. <laughs> There's a very happy exhibitor. <laughs> the winner uh, of the group wins. She's she got as much not, spirit as her dog. Not so. She has. Trophy <laughs> donated by Carol Smith and be presented by the be, be presented by. And the that's donor. a lovely male. Also yeah. wins the cane. She also showed prize. a beautiful bitch. Um, Sushi so, Hope Prize, yeah. which is product donated by Sushi Hope. So if we take the Ken and the Terrier number four zero five. Number two in group. That wins will be. The Rockport Trouble Brewing Trophy. Hey, donated we by have Rockport to turn pages to find these. To be presented by and pages the always stick together when you're trying to do it in a hurry. Of course. 
Four zero five. Also, the American Mills champion and supreme champion, Rot Reavers, and the show me the money. Product donated in by USA, and owned by Kathy Scott. And Kathy's a, a regular supporter the of the Adelaide group, Royal Society. Great, she is. great she is. and coming Australian in from Victoria, yeah. so it's great to see it. Champion, and Ford, number two in the group, the runner-up in the group is seven five six, the Wire Fox Terrier, Grand Champion and Supreme Champion, Greybrook Adrenaline Junkie, owned by. And number three in the group is 15.83. And number four in the number four in the group will win the um, turn two at once, of course. One more page. There we are. 15. You know what, by Rockport Prize donated by Rockport Happy. Kennels. 83. Also, uh, uh, money is donated by Supreme Mills. Champion Kabere. Oh, Yama Demogo Fuller Ninja. You had a try at that, Francis, because I had, a go, I had the and last I hope go. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> Look at that. Here they go, the winners. And fourth in the group is the Border Terrier. And it is champion Bohan, best served cold, owned by Gayla White. Just absolutely lovely. So what a what a great collection. It certainly is. Yeah. Got to, <laughs> they've got to go back and collect their bits and pieces. It's great. Yes. I can tell you it's great to run around the ring with that ribbon, but oh. you don't want to be carrying the glasses. No. <laughs> no, that's not so, a good idea. <laughs> that's the terrier group. Uh, now we go to Baby Puppy, and um, there are only three by the look of it. There so are two. Yeah, Jack Chartum Russell, shiny, won't it? a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and a Tenterfield. Fabulous. I'll do that one. Right, they're coming in now. Yes, there's no hesitation here. There's We're pushing time a bit um, after the other. because the judges have split some of the groups. Um, uh, right. It means that they are seeing dogs that they perhaps haven't judged. Now, baby puppy. So we have baby puppy and the first one is... Yeah. Oh, the Tenterfield has come in first because it hasn't been judged by Mr. Ah, Foss good. yet. Okay. So it was 1007. No, that's the Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah, I'll give you the Jack Russell Terrier, which is Bell Jack's prime suspect, owned by Annette Scott. And the Staffy is 1551. And... Ah, oh, come on. Pages, pages, stick together. I'm always reminded of that image when we had the um, health officers saying, um, be careful and don't... Don't lick your fingers. <laughs> and they lick their fingers to turn the page. I've just yes. been doing it. The staffy is Cabere, my mate Mick. So was the best of breed also Cabere? I have a feeling it was. Ah, oh, right. Uh, yeah, well, the same exhibitor. Um, mm -hmm. And the okay. Tenterfield Terrier is Gumhaven Remy Grand. Oh, very South owned Australian. By Gumhaven Gumhaven Look at Kittles. it, isn't it a smart little it terrier? It is a Short smart back little terrier. Nice length of leg. And the little Jackie? Oh, great. Yes. Three fabulous They're little terriers. They are, yeah. aren't they? Yes. I was watching um, the Airedale breed the other day, and the, the dog and the bitch challenge were sparring off each other. Oh, right there. Oh, it looked fabulous. I, I love mean, they were happy. Airedales. They were tails really wagging and everything. They were, they were wanting to get to each other. Yeah. And it, As you know, I said before, the king of the terriers. Yeah, and we used to have that a bit, sparring terriers, we didn't did. we? We did. We yeah. used to have judges that would pull out four dogs and make a square. Yep. <laughs> The best uh, I mean, baby puppy in the group is it's not exhibit as number 1007, the Jack Russell Terrier. The and Jack, Russell, the Jack Terrier Russell Terrier is the baby banana puppy in group. Australia prize it's obviously um, impressed with the breed because we've seen it before in the final line. Yes. 1007. Uh, it is one, oh, that's a good number, isn't it? <laughs> uh -huh. One double. It's uh, owned by Annette still. Scott. One double oh seven is Bell Jack's prime suspect, owned by Janet uh, Annette Scott. Fabulous. 
Oh, Lovely. He trots around the ring like a little pro. A little showman, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so now we have Puppy and Groot. We'll call them as we see them on the screen. We will. I can see an Australian terrier lined up. We won't, we won't give you names. Uh, we'll just call right. them in. And, um, yeah, now we don't know who the Australian terrier is till they tell us the number. 93, so we'll have to remember that. So little Aussie, hard bitten. Um, Lovely prick of the ears, lovely Neville, strong, long, strong, well, mid-length, strong back. I love yeah. the expression when they come towards you and the rough around the head. Yes. Right, here we have the Scotty. Lovely Scotty ears on the back there and long, long head. And if you look inside the mouth, big teeth. Big yeah, teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that carrot tail again. Mm -hmm. And we always think of Scotties as black, but you can have them in um, wheat and, and, and colours. So, yeah. and we don't see it as often. And this is the Amstaff, the American Staffordshire Terrier. Lovely, easy, free moving. And the little bully, Lovely miniature bull terrier. Um, lovely down face on it and ears on the, on the back of the head there. Just, and a can. Yeah, yeah. I, I know when he judged the cans, he, he quietly said to me, such super quality in this breed. Ah, there you go. You've got some and inside got, information. And, <laughs> yeah. And we've got the Kerry to finish the group off there. So this is Puppy in group. We've got more. And a Staffy coming in, still coming. Yes, we've got yep. a Staffy. And then we've got a Tenterfield. And the Tenterfield was also best to breed. Wow, uh, lovely Tenterfield. As we said, what did we say? We said the Jack Russell had a lot to do with Australia. Yes. But the Tenterfield yes. is an Australian breed. It is. No question. Yes. I remember judging early on before yes. they were recognised and I was trying to define type, refine type. Had a lovely show out in the Barossa. Yes, and, um, yes, I judged well, one of those early shows place. before they were actually recognised. Yep. So it was lovely to judge. Yeah. Jane Harvey was the one that pioneered a lot of that. Yeah. And there's the little Aussie on the table. Recognised. That's our little Aussie and that is number 93, Tane Quest Fire and Ice, owned by... Cherry Marie Gower. I had a friend who had a Scotty. Um, you know, Annabelle, I've got a giant breed. You have, and, Francis. Uh, sorry. And, and I have a Chihuahua and you have an Irish Wolfham. <laughs> what a good pair. <laughs> yes. um, sorry, I had a friend who had a, 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 an Aussie Terrier. And she, 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 she said, I just can't control him. He, he just... <laughs> You know, it goes where he wants, and I'm trying to hang on to the lead. And everything. can you come down and train him? So, oh, just what I need training a terrier. So I went down, and I put the lead on him, and said, "Come on, we're going for a walk." And off he went, and he started to zoom off, and, he, and I gave the lead a little jerk, the way I would an Irish Wolfhound, except there's a difference in size. There is. And the little <laughs> Australian terrier did a double backflip and and looked up at me and said, "Yes, boss, anything you want." Hmm. Mm. Ah, see. And here's the Scotty. It's just the hand. Here's our Scotty, and it is number 1434. We don't actually have a very full list of numbers for this group, so it's a little problematic. Um, we don't have a number, for instance, for the Australian Terrier. We're doing no, our best, so bear great. with us. I to yeah. The yeah, we're good. So there goes the Scotty. It is one, four, three, four. And it is Hargett Colin Frizzle. And owned by Dorothy Mitchell. And the this, I think Colin Frizzle was... I don't know, Annabelle. I look at that and think, is it whiskey or clock yet? <laughs> yes. Just needs a little West Highland white next to it. Uh -huh. And then you've got the two, the black and white, haven't and you? And we've now got the Amstaff, the American Staffordshire Terrier, 
Number 45. Oh, I had that here. Which it is, is Manfred's it it Royal is. Descent, owned by yep. Jeff Watson. Yeah. Who also owned the best of breed winner. Great when you've got the best of breed and the baby puppy. It oh, means it something's is. happening in your kennel. And yeah. this, this little one, look at the way it moves in front. Um, yes. Terrific uh, coordination, front and rear. Great balance. That's right. And a little miniature bull terrier. And the miniature bull terrier's slam and jam, Roy Rogers, owned by Robin Clark. The bull terrier is a fabulous family dog. Um, people get scared about bull breeds and things like that, but the loyalty of these dogs they and um, they are in the I mean they can be tough and everything, but they are really gentle dogs um, in the family environment. Um, I just have enjoyed um, being around them. Uh, and the Cairn Terrier? And our Cairn well, Terrier Cairn went is... Best, best in group. Can this one do it as baby? No, we haven't got that listed in here. No. Found before, before 06. So, yeah, it's not Cairn far away terrier. from what I've got. It is Joymont Heavens Above. Okay. Owned by Kathy Scotton. Now and that's, that's uh, such a smart little terrier. Look at it looking around, not overawed by the place at all. Um, and you can see the lovely uh, coarseness and roughness in its coat, and yet it's so beautifully groomed. And now we've got the Kerry, my lovely Kerry. Look at mm. that. That little can was the progeny of the Best In Group winner. What a shame we couldn't see the Cairn Terrier on film just then when she was bouncing up and down. Yes. The owner, I mean, not the dog. <laughs> I look at the um, Kerry Blue and I look at the lovely low hocks and the long head. Um, yeah, I could have a Kerry again, except for the All grooming. All right, <laughs> yes. Mm. This is a youngster, still black. Yes. As they get older, you know, yeah, right by the months. time they're three to four, yeah. they should be this wonderful blue, shimmering blue colour. And here comes the Staffy. Lovely Staffy. Ears on the back of the head. Folded back, true rose. And I reckon not bad for a pump tail, pump, a pump, pump handle tail. Oh, not bad right, at all. Oh, right, good to see. Mm. Yeah, I'm Very just looking for my built. Kerry Blue here. Here it oh. goes. Love the expression on this um, staffy. So the Kerry Blue was a Raya Grove tell you a little secret, owned by Nathan Morton. And now we have the Tenty, the Tenterfield Terrier. Uh, Just a quick look on the table. There's, you know, times a lot of dogs to go through today. If yes. you think in each group, there's the best in group, and they can go right around the ring in numbers, and then baby and puppy and um, and neuter so I have to keep things moving so and he's seen these dogs so yes. you know they're in his memory bank and he's I'm amazed at talking to him about you know dogs that he's seen he remembers right. back several days and can tell you the markings of the dog and all wow. sorts yeah our little staffy was Anvil Hart I made you look owned by Anvil Hart Kennels and our Tenterfield was the best of breed winner so we're coming up and the judge is walking and down the line applauding all of them. And the lovely, Tenterfield champion, really, I mean Tenter the Terrier group's in really yeah. lovely shape when I look at this. Right. Neville's getting it down on paper. I hope he puts the right name down. So do I. <laughs> I mean, we didn't have a Gordon Setter in the gun dog. No, yeah. <laughs> or, dog a, or a Briard. Mm. No, not Briard. What did he say? A bearded collie. Bearded collie, that's the Best right. puppy in the Terrier group is exhibit number 1434, the Scottish Terrier. The Scottish the Terrier. Scottish, Scottish, Scottish Terrier. The best the Jacobi Jacobi Street Fox best terrier puppy, baby. I should say. Donated I think that's an um, omen sorry, for the whiskey, Heather don't Christian you? No, I Heather think Bennett, so. Uh -huh. Definitely. Presented by Chris <laughs> Bennett. 
Do you know, I was, I was looking at the internet last night, by the, the and Marshall I know it's only September, the but they had an advent cash calendar Cash prize donated by Ma in memory oh, of was Margaret Hope whiskey Bennett. whiskey calendar. Also a product you can have a dram every day through and December. And a voucher donated Just by banana peels. It's a good way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> better than chocolate? And the, um, oh, I don't know if it's better the than chocolate. The terrier puppies are leaving the ring. <laughs> you can see the little tenter field on the screen, and there's the, there's the Scotty, the winner. Yes. And one very happy owner. Beautiful Look little Scotty. Long head, punishing jaw, yes. beady, sharp, dark eyes. Um, and you can see the... That beautiful, well set on tail it just and a big makes a good mm. outline. Yes. You can talk about big backsides in dogs, you can. but you better stop yep. there. Mm. <laughs> Okay, we're moving on. There's no rest for the wicked. Now, in our list here, Francis, I don't know if there are more coming in, but there are only two new to terriers. But mind you, here's an Australian terrier that isn't on our list. We've got an Australian terrier, a soft coat Wheaton terrier, and a Staffordshire bull terrier. Our Australian Terrier is the Neuter Dog 2701 Neuter Champion. Come along, so Roly Poly, owned by Moria Hicks. Okay, we're up to Neuter and we're the Aussie Terrier. This yes. is a red. This is a red. Yeah. We had yeah. some trouble Black explaining to reds. <laughs> explaining to the Norwegian judge that a redhead in Australia is called Bluey. Yes. He, he, he seemed <laughs> to think that was a bit illogical. Oh, that's Australian humour though, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> we have taught him to say, G'day, mate. Now there's a start. <laughs> On ya, mate. And um, what else? How you going, mate? All right? <laughs> Well, he's going home cultured from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> the soft-coated Wheaton, and we look at this dog, much oh. more um, curl in, in, in the coat. And this is the way you'll see them presented more often in Ireland. The, the best of breed was more groomed. Not that this isn't groomed. Um, it, yes. it's, it's you know It is, yeah. for its style and fashion, beautifully groomed. And you'll see um, the colour nicely in the coat. Uh, missing perhaps the darkness of the ears. And it's um, champion, Silk Trader Striker Pose, imported from New Zealand and owned by Di Swan. Yeah, really lovely to see these neuters. Um, yes. I used to be a bit sus, uh, you know, a bit worried about neuters at a, a dog show because dog shows are about, you know, the future breedings. Um, mm -hmm. But I remember judging neuters. Um, for best in show one time and um, and I, it just struck me standing there looking at them while I see this lovely Amstaff it just struck me looking at them no it's a Staffy oh, it's a Staffy <laughs> Wee. Um, that every one of the dogs in that line up was loved exactly had been kept by the owners beyond its um, show life so as to speak mm. and um you know, it's has sometimes a, a way of getting people into the show world. Yes, but it just struck me what a wonderful life those dogs had and Definitely, how worthwhile yeah. they were. So I changed my mind at that stage about um, you know what the dog what, about the value of neuter. Right, and the our the best Staffordshire. Neuter, 
in the Terrier group. Here we go. It's a soft coat of Wheaton Terrier, number 154. Oh, wow. Soft coat. That wins the Our Memorial Staffordshire Trophy. was oh. champion and new to champion, Kennel. War Stafford also Lucky Lady, owned by Leslie by Scott. But our referee. winner is the also soft coat of Wheaton. Also, donated by Sushi Hub. And as and a Bob Lott and I were discussing before, it's lovely to see some winners from rarer breeds. Uh, 1541. When I say rarer breeds, they're old Terrier. breeds, but just we don't have them in numbers here in Australia. Well, in Ireland, they're called a heritage breed. Oh, um, that's a good It's really one. considered to be part of the heritage and of that culture. That's so a, it's, it's a lovely to way to describe them, yep. actually, isn't mm. it? So 1541 was or is champion Silk, Silk Trader Striker Pose import New Zealand owned by Di Swan. And Di will be absolutely thrilled. I think so. Yeah. Well, all of the winners will be thrilled. I know that. Um, yes. I just happen to know Di a little bit. Oh, um, there you go. And um, my stake in Irish dogs, we've had Irish Terriers and Kerry Blues and um, Irish Setters and Irish Wolfhounds. We haven't got quite the full set. <laughs> but I've always watched the the um, the soft coats um, and the other breeds. Um, I always look right. for one that I would take home. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're getting. It's lovely when we see dogs, we may not see them in great numbers, but they're still here. Your celiums and your soft coated Wheatons and those sort of breeds. A lot of your terrier breeds. Only one or two exhibits, but such worthy exhibits. Yes. And, and as you say, one in a breed, it could still go best in show. Absolutely. Um, just because you've got 60 or 70 doesn't mean that the best of that lot no. is going to be. Yeah. So and we've had that before. We've had breeds like the Welsh Terrier going up um, with they only have. one in the breed. But I think, as I look at it now, um, the, the groups that have sort of been judged through, Group 3, what did we have? We had that um, lovely Labrador. We did. And Group 4, uh, sorry, Group 1, we had absolutely... Oh, memory's gone. Group 1. It's coming. Oh, the, the, the smooth coach smooth, Chihuahua, which that's is right, the smooth coach Chihuahua. back to back. I have a winner. little feeling he was best in show last year, wasn't he? Yes, I made Not mention that we of that tell before. I've been and calling then, him uh, the reigning group champion. Five, the exquisite um, <laughs> Sheltie, and Group Two. Now we've just seen Group Two, and it's the Ken. And now Group Four's coming into the ring. We're yes. looking at the Dachshund on the screen, the Mini Long. We have having and, um, breeds here that weren't judged by. Uh, who have we got we, out there? Satu judged all of the Dachshunds and right. um, uh, the Borzoi and uh, I'm not sure. The I Borzoi, the Dachshunds and the Deerhound yeah, are coming deer in hound first. The Deerhound come in, yep. All right. And I look at these little mini Dachshunds and they go along like little powerhouses. You know, li little legs pumping and you've got to... Think Although they them. shouldn't be yeah. shown and too here fast. Here comes the wire, Daxon, standard wire. Yeah. I like this dog, but then I guess coming from my breed, having a face like that yes. and a beard like mine, yeah. ah, you're going to like it, aren't you? <laughs> Look at it. Face on. Here comes the mini yeah. mini wire. It's having a gallop. And the deer hound. <laughs> yes, here comes the deer hound. So light on its feet. Yes. Far seeing gaze, ears on the back of the head, rose shaped ears. Uh, lovely steady gait on it and now the other breeds come in the ones that he's already judged here comes the Afghan it was a bitch um, just lovely lovely elegant bitch all the characteristics of the breed oh, next we've missing. got the Basset Hound no Azawax no the Azawax weren't here oh, right. um, nor were the Pharaoh Hounds very disappointing oh, right. um, but, and here comes the lovely little beagle Yes. Next, we have the Grand Basset Griffon Vendean. This is a breed I've been having my eye on for a while. Ah, uh, right. Here's the Greyhound, South Australian right. Greyhound. Elegant. Look at it, head up. Easy moving. Beautiful. This is the Harrier. Uh, Harrier. 
Oops, she's ahead of us. <laughs> Lovely Harrier. And the wolf here's the Irish wolf getting out. a bit of a clap on the way through. Yeah. He doesn't look overly happy. And here comes the petite, the PBGV, petite Bassin Griffon Vendian. Such an incredibly smart little dog. And the oh, yeah, Rhodesian oh, Ridgeback. Um, I got into trouble once for Jay saying it's a brown dog with a ridge. <laughs> oh, now, now, now. <laughs> um, but anyway, and look at how friendly it is. And here's the utterly elegant Saluki. Beautiful. Oh, get out. We're a bit blocked there. And the whippet. And the whippet. Huge entry of whippet, 72. It was. Um, so you, you're looking at breeds where there was only one, like the deerhound, to the whip it where there were 70 and everything in between just moving them up so we get a nice line up on the western side of the of the ring and you can see in the hound group they go from the very big to the very small they the do. mini Daxons and the, and the well, irish wolf hounds and the bulls hounds show. and your scent hounds mm. all in together yep in one of the issues we have with um, european judges is their groups are the same uh, sorry, are not the same. Mm. So the scent hounds like the Borzoi and the Deerhound and the Asavak and the Wolfhound and the Whippet and the Greyhound, they're all going to be in Group 10. And the... the, the um, uh, you have your scent hounds, but then you also have a Dachshund group. Yep, the mm. Group 5, I think, is the Dachshund group. And then the scent hound group, yes, with the Bassets mm. and the... Yeah, Beagles and... And we've yeah. even in the hounds got a couple of dogs, but they're not here today, that fit into the Spitz group. Hmm. Dogs like the Norwegian Elk Hound. Yes. Finnish Spitz. That's uh, right. Uh, this was a beautiful girl. Uh, now, I have to be a bit, you know, biased because um, I'm, I'm in the hound group, but lovely um, flowing um, Borzoi top line just right nice um, flat neck flat on the sides of the neck very very good head ears rose ears right to the back and the top line just right mm. top line the, the peak of the top line should be at the at the last rib and we've got that's number 317 it's grand champion Marikoff Sarsitia I think I've said that right. Rudicia. Where is it? Oh, Sasia. Sasia. Here we go. And Thank lovely you. stop there at the end. <laughs> and it's owned by Sneath, Field and Hall. Oh, um. and Munro. Nearly forgot one. Now we have the um, standard long Dachshund. Long as in long haired. Lovely black and tan. Um, we always think of the Dachshund as a sausage dog. I shouldn't say that at the Royal when no. we've got Dagwood dogs and <laughs> no. all, all sorts of things like that. But oh, but we do though, don't we? Um, <laughs> Dachshunds come in a variety of colours. Um, we can have reds. Um, and I remember doing judges training and um, we had a very famous um, Dachshund lady who was running the training, Yo Bachelor, God rest her. Yes. And... Um, um, I remember Great her mentor. saying, <laughs> I remember her saying, a, 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 a standard long dachshund is like an Irish setter without the legs. There you go. Yes. And we, here we've got Fleur Mac Braveheart, owned by A. McKinnon and C. Rabatis. And you look for um, no. things like a conical shaped head. Uh, but this is black and tan. Look at the melon Ooh. pips over the eyes and the tan on the muzzle. This is a, another black and tan mini. Yes. Um, so a series <coughs> of ovals, I always think mm. of these. And, of course, the long, low and level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and lovely and coat. I mean, there's quite a bit of preparation in these breeds too. Absolutely. Um, mm. Now, a miniature um, long coat or long head, I should say. Fleur Mac Joker City, owned by A. McKinnon and, oops, I think I've said that name wrong before because it's Rabaritz. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Love the little dackies. Yes. Oh, 
Yes. Their legs come in under them to form a crook um, to carry that lovely yes. round chest. Yes, oh, very deep chest. chest. Yeah. Oh, he's not overly happy. <sighs> I hope you're not having a wee on my floor. Oh, no. I'm afraid. Mm. Oh, I'm afraid, Francis. <laughs> Five dollar fine. Oh, dear. <laughs> I haven't collected any yet. I oh. think I'm owed a few. <laughs> mm. You could be rich. <laughs> We've got our standard smooth Dachshund and its champion, Boskahun Sunkissed Rory. Just that. Right, here we go. Standard Dachshund. So, Rory's owned by T. Watson and M. Hall. And as it comes towards you, you can see the legs coming in under the chest, framing the chest. Yes. And the big, strong back end on it. And really important in Dachshunds, they cannot have weaknesses in the back. No, no, um, they must not have weakness in the back, and they need good drive mm. with those hind legs. They have lovely hams at the back. I think that's a good description of them. So this is going to take a little while because we've got the, the six Daxon breeds and, and then uh, Our mini and smooth. then the Borzoi and the Deerhound. We've seen the yes. Borzoi, but this so is judging from scratch. She hasn't seen them. That's right. So uh, the mini smooth Daxon is champion Boar Badger, No More I Love You. Owned by Nick Gusos. This is my competition in the Hound Group. I think yes. with my big dog, I should tread on him one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, beautiful. I, I love this little dog, actually. Um, just a, a little powerhouse. Um, the, for a little dog, when I see the drive and the, the, yes. you know, the energy of it and, and the alertness of it, and the, you've got that lovely conical head on it, and look at, you know, look at the front. Paddling away like that, no, no paddling's the wrong word. Slow down. Mm. This, this dog always goes, he drives. Daxons? Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. I think it's a mistake a lot of um, exhibitors make. They do. I think, let's go. Um, okay, this is the standard wire, Daxons. Still the same standard as the other Dachshunds, but, but you know, it's a little bit like the two, the Fox Terriers, the wire, and they're different. And this is a little bit different. Um, the, um, the, uh, the wire Fox Terrier, different in the head, different in the front. So we've got and she is champion Caillou Garich. Diamond, owned by Gail Wood. Wire Dackies are absolute characters, whether they're the minis or the the the, um, the standards. So they are special we had a wire ducky and oh heck he thought he was a wolfhound um, and food hounds you cannot you cannot believe how they are with food um, you know it used to bully the wolfhounds and chase them away from the food and oh my golly gosh yes little dogs seem to have that um, capacity <laughs> i remember judge, uh, showing many years ago in broken hill and we were camping and next to us with people were da with Daxons and I heard this great wail from the tent next to us one morning. Oh no! And the um, Daxons had gotten into a whole tin of Arnott's biscuits and eaten the whole lot. Yep, that'd be and right. And the belly could not even get off the ground. <laughs> oh gosh, they are greedy little creatures. 
but our little, they're wonderful. They are. They've got such personality. Our little wire-haired miniature is champion. What's wires? I'm a keeper, owned by Linda Robinson. And here we have the, the deer hound, lovely, mystical, mythical deer hound. Scottish breed. They're described as far-seeing. And when you see them standing up there and they're not being distracted by everything around them, you can see them looking into, the, look at that, just like that, looking yes. into the distance. They, and they look into your heart, actually, some of these dogs. Oh, they're these so elegant do, hands, aren't they? But very light on their feet. Yes. And they have this very characteristic droop over the hind quarters. Um, it's not like the borzoi. The borzoi, the peak is at the last rib, but these go through and then they have the droop over the hindquarters. And it's because they course um, deer in the highlands and they're going up these um, mm. the glens, you know, up the steep glen sides and they need that big power in the back end to push them. Yes, mm. yes. And that is our Australian bred bitch and number 663 champion... Cabify Ardq, you might be able to pronounce that better than I can, Francis, but huh, and no. it's owned by K and E Aarons. Mm. And we have now the Afghan beautiful bitch. Just um, has all of the characteristics of the breed, you know, the lovely flowing coat, the tail. Not quite ringed at the end. Yes it is. Yep. I think I'll take that back. Look at the arrogance of it. Uh, aloofness, I think, is perhaps the word they would use. Strong, short back on it, um, and lovely springy gait. I'd now slow the that one down a bit too. <laughs> I would too, actually. Um, I, I think during the breed judging, he told him to slow down. Oh, really? So he obviously hasn't remembered. No. Mm. <laughs> And, and that was superior, superior, let's try, Supreme Champion, Can Do Like a Prayer. Mm -hmm. And it's owned by M. Tonks and K. Bathgate. And the what, Bassett. The Bassett, lovely Bassett. Is 105. Bassett Hound, all that loose skin and the um, long ears. They, they show with their head up, but you know, when they're running naturally, the head's down and the ears, you'll see they fold in on the head. They mm, used to funnel yes. the scent into their big, broad nostrils. Yes, and the Bassett was a bitch champion, Beau Chasseur, Motown, Mariah, and by Chris Lawrence. And South Australian, and here comes the lovely, smart little beagle, tricolour. Um, tail up, white tip on the tail so that hunters can see it um, and lovely balance. One of the, thing that you, the thing you look for, there you go, spot on, the oh, lovely head, that. the head, they mm. should have a really sweet head. There's nothing hard about a beagle. And that was number 111 champion Devmar, time traveller, AI, owned by S. Hutchison and R. Triffitt. And here's the Grand. I, this is this is where I'm thinking. Grand Basset Griffon Vendian. It's um, different in proportions, not only the length of leg, it's not only bigger, it's different in body proportions to the petite. And this is a beautiful dog, carries itself so well, moves so freely. I think this one is going to have to feature. Yes, Somewhere I in think the line. So too. 903. Oops. It's the one, last one on the page before. Oh, thank you. 903 was Tum Tum's Barber Ganoush, owned, owned by Gwen Hooks, of o Hooks and Hoven yeah. and S. And Marshall. And this is the Greyhound, South Australian owned, uh, Whirl Away Kennels. And um, so beautifully elegant. They are. Lovely they? Um, back end on it, um, broad platform for the power that comes out of those driving hindquarters. The elegance, head, head like a snake, they exactly. say, neck like a snake rather. Um, and that's what this one's got. Yes, very beautifully balanced. And it's champion, whirl away. Wish I was a punk rocker.
<laughs> my <laughs> mm. Okay. Here we have the Harrier. It's interesting. We in, in, in the Hound group we've got the Beagle, and then we've got the Harrier, and we've got the Hamilton Stavare, which isn't here today, and then we've got the Foxhound, which isn't here today, and they're all sort of like a family going up in size. They are. And this is Fell Hunters Havoc, owned by El Kassar and P. F. and R. Danaher. Another South Australian bred dog. Lovely and true coming and going. Tail erect and the white tip to the tail. Again for the hunters. This is the magnificent Irish wolfhound that we're looking at. Um, um, the one that you would. Very calm and easy. Um, Lovely to see the leg, straight column of legs all the way down to the ground, no turning out of the feet. Nicely, nicely curved back end and good low hocks. Beautiful head as it comes towards you. He's watching around, he's not getting carried away. I like a sight hound that looks around and so registers what's there. Hmm. Yeah. They are sight hounds. Mm -hmm. well, you should know and this one well. Nicely this is balanced. Sandor, yes. which is a champion owned by Dr. Scott F. Jervis. McAvoy and Mrs. A. McAvoy and Mr. S. Jervis. Lovely boy. He's young, um, so he'll go on. I'm quite pleased when I see him there. Um, I think he's in a nice... I'd like him to have a little more weight, but I think he's in a lovely state at the moment, you know, of growth, light on his feet and easy. Now we're looking at the PBGV. Look at the attitude, and this is a popular dog in the group. And just fab fabulous movement, fabulous tail carriage, fabulous head. I'm putting some bits on this one too. <laughs> there he goes. Look at him. So much spirit in him. And these are what they, these are typically such a happy little dog. Um, and that's, you expect to see that character in them. Yes. So this was an open dog, champion dance monkey V Tum Tums. Francis, help me with that one. Oh, can't help. I can't <laughs> help you with it. Fringies import the Netherlands. And here we have the, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, which is more than a brown dog with a ridge. <laughs> but the ridge is very important. And um, you're, you're looking at a dog that's used to hunt lions. It's not going to catch that's a lion, right. obviously, but it's going to um, bail it up and get the hunters in on it. Um, we may not think hunting lions is a good deal these days, but not, not in we're looking at a dog who had a historical... Um, purpose. Yes, so it's and a South so African he has to be breed. Healthy, energetic, athletic and, and that characteristic ridge which says this is me. That's right. And that was Grand Champion Ridge Retreat Don't Stop Me Now, owned by Amanda Oakes. And the utterly elegant Saluki. Beautiful sandy coloured um, sandy coloured dog and um, Lovely flowing lines right through from the neck across the back into the tail um, and move so easily and elegantly. I always think if you want an elegant dog but you don't want to have to do too much grooming, That's this right. is it. This yes. is it. They're a bit aloof in their character. Um, they're super guardians. Oh, yes. I wouldn't go into a house with one no. if I wasn't known. No. Mm. And that was champion Kat Kashan, owned by uh, V and K Janonis. And this is the be uh, beagle. This is the whippet. Uh, the winner of um, winner out of some seventy uh, in yes. the breed. Um, Wonderful and you know, entry. when we look at a whippet, we're asking for all curves. Um, That's right. What you see is what you get. So looking at it on here. You can see the flow from the neck into the shoulders, lovely over the top line into the hind quarters. And then again underneath, around the shoulders, deep into the chest and up into the loin. You can see that the underline there now and how yes. it balances the top line. And that was 1771, Supreme Champion Tejan Killer Queen, owned by Molly Rule Steel.
and I think Molly was over here judging the Whippet Show on the weekend, so she was able to double up. There's yes. the beautiful Borzoi, standard long, mini long Dachshund, standard Dachshund, all black and tans, and now we get a red, mini smooth, and the two grizzle um, uh, wire-coated uh, Dachshunds. The Deerhound, who's looking a bit awkward at the moment, um, needs to be, that's better. And the glamorous Afghan, the solid Basenji, the, the sweet little beagle, I still has to have a purpose. Got a <laughs> no, did I say Basenji? <laughs> oh, heavens, I'm just used to thinking the group through. Yes, exactly. Yeah, alphabetically. Yeah. And the Harrier. And the wolfhound. I know the harrier comes before the wolfhound because that's where I stand all the time. <laughs> yeah. And I like it that they've stopped on the wolfhound. I didn't ask them to. Yeah, there you go. Just know. shows. We'll see what he does. Here comes the Afghan. He's pulled out the Afghan. He's pulled out the... Be Basset? The beagle. The beagle. The grand oh, I've lost track petite. a little bit. The grand petite. That's, you can't say that. <laughs> So we've got a Whippet and a Saluki, a PBGV, a, a, a Greyhound, a um, GBGV, a Beagle, a Basset and an Afghan. That's the group of eight. And the rest can retire gracefully. Yes. Love the Hound group. Oh, it's my favourite group. And the, um, just watching them, the elegant Borzoi, the Dachshunds. There is a, 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 a um, trophy for best Dachshund um, yes, donated by John Rothwell, past president, uh, past yeah, president of the association, or CEO rather. So we didn't get any Dachshunds pulled out, did we? No, no Dachshunds. No, Harry. It's unusual. And he didn't call out the wolfhound either. I'm offended. No, why? <laughs> it's a very young dog. Um, okay. Plenty of time. So trying to see, it's hard to see from the front. We've got the it is there, good. the grand, the um, uh, yeah, definitely not hound. a grand petite like I called it. <laughs> uh, well, I covered G. two in one there. <laughs> You know, when you've got to just keep talking, your brain yes, goes out. You, your right. mouth goes faster than your brain sometimes. It does. Yeah. <laughs> He's reorganising them into size so that the, the big ones get there. a chance to have a, a decent run rather than cramped up behind the little mm. ones. And the Basset at the end. But believe me, Bassets can move. Oh, they can. Oh, they can. Yeah, don't be deceived. And we're going round the glorious Afghan, the elegant Greyhound, the beautiful Saluki, the, t uh, the sweet Whippet. I love that grind. And the Petite, and the Beagle, and the Basset. This is the cut. We're going all the way round. Little gap between the sight hounds who all gone yes. legged and dashed ahead yes. and the and the scent hounds. Well that's fair enough too. Now he's going to need some sorting out so he's yes. adding a down and back to these. Love the Afghan's attitude, the tail up, the head up um, and yes. nice and springy and it wasn't moved too fast then on the I down and back. I was just going to say that too because when mm. they don't move too fast that's when you can see the spring of yep. gait. I'll see what he does here. Ah, uh, look, I think he's been told. <laughs> I, th I think so. Mm. Okay, the Affy. Now the next one will be the Greyhound. Down and back. Such an elegant breed, the Greyhounds. And nice they're so and popular light on its feet. as pets with the GAP program now too. Yes. They're just in the next pavilion. Right. I love the dark brindle in yes. greyhounds. I know you don't judge for colour, but um, that's a... They're very striking. Oh, yes. Now we have the... There goes the uh, greyhound back to its place. 
And now we have the the Saluki. Here we go. I love the way it just drives off it when does. it starts. It does. Mm. And look, moves slowly, but all the reach and gait. And the lovely feathering. It's, yes. I mean, you know. You're not I mean, you can that, have them smooth. Yes, yes, yes. But the feathers do look nice. We've got a bigger audience now that as we come yes. towards the middle of the day, but they're certainly getting a good round of applause. When I say as we come towards the middle of the day, I make it one o'clock. Yes. Mm hmm. Group four. Well, that's gone quickly. <laughs> good. We're keeping up with time nicely. Oh, very Here good. comes the whippet. Oh, I think something attracted him. Lovely tight ears there. Lovely yes. tail yeah. carriage low. Um, and the great muscling in the hindquarters. Easy, easy balance yes. movement. And daisy cutting. And drive, Long yeah. and low. Try reach forward, not flicking That's the feet right. up. The ground. Got a different head to the petite as well. Mm, mm. They have. Here we go. And the longer legs, of course. Yep. And oh, look at that. Great camera work, guys. It is. <laughs> well, it is. Um, you know, it's a learning thing for us, but. Um, you know, we're looking at the dogs, we're not looking at handlers, um, yeah. and we're getting a fabulous view of the dogs. Yeah. Mm. Long, lean head, it's great. A hound head. Now we have the petite. Look at the strength in front, and the bone on yes. that little dog. Yes. And the jaunty. Yes, yes. That Me, carriage is beautiful. I'm the, I'm the boss. That's right. Just checking on it. Oh, sneeze. Just checking on everyone, making sure you're watching me. Mm. <laughs> Something's dropped on the carpet there on the on the floor. It might be a number. Can't see. Oh, oh right. Yes. Oh, it's certainly got its um oh look it. And it's bouncing around to the audience too. Yes, it's a number. The number dropped off the petite. And here we have the beagle. Lovely round bone in front. Nice steady stride. Good head planes on it. Nice, easy, happy movement. Beagles should be happy. Absolutely no way a beagle's tail should be down, carried naturally up like that that's with right. the white tip waving. Well, that's what they were spotted by mm -hmm. when they were hunting. You I've needed been the out white in the tip UK to be able to see some them. Some of these breeds, um, the um, um, fauve, for instance, right. hunting in the, um, in the in in the wheat field, oh. and you can see the ripple of the wheat in this tail sticking. Oh, out. really? Yeah. There you go. And the basset, lots of loose skin, the ears which funnel the, the scent, the big broad yes. nose, yeah. and the big broad, broad bottom. Ears. They call it an apple bum. That's right. Mm -hmm. You took the words out of my mouth again. Lovely <laughs> pouches um, of, of, of loose skin on the hocks too. Right. There's plenty of loose skin on it, that's for sure. Catching the bramble, it just catches and releases. Yeah. Yeah, just the skin gives way and the brambles drop out. Well, this is it. Judge is having a look along. We're having a look along. Look at that Saluki, the, the gaze yes. from the Saluki. That's brilliant, very, isn't it? Very, um, mm. So typical. <laughs> right, we're all waiting. We've got eight lovely dogs here. We're going to we cut have. it down to 
for Goshi still having to have a look. Get the detail, get the detail. Mm. I think that the people who have to kneel with their dogs are much happier with this floor. I think so. We had lots of um, grazers from that turf mm. before. Right, well this is it. There goes the steward and the judge is going to work it out. We move away from them so no one gets a sneaky early yeah, that's look. that's right. Can't over here. Yeah. We certainly can't. <laughs> well, actually, do you know what? Almost any of these you'd be... I know. Good, you? I would, yes. Lots of nerves going out there. Oh, I yeah. imagine so. He's done it. He's done it. He's made his decision. Okay. He's ready Pass to award on to fourth. The announcer. Is there anything here he can? Uh... Right. Take your time. Take your time. Everyone can stress a little bit more. Yes. Oh, look. <laughs> to Grand Bassett saying, "Pick me." See this one? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the ground sitting up cute. on his bottom. Judges may be yes. yes. as you can see, the multiple Lovely. lineup of um, hounds here, and he's decided on number four in the group is exhibit number 1237, the Petite Bassett Griffon Vendine. So the Petite, petite. is fourth in the group. And. Do you want so, to look? Yep, uh, the petite is number one. Number three in the group. Two, three, two. It's exhibit number 111, the beagle. The beagle is third oh. in group, number 111. Right, we'll have to work it. Petite. Number two in the group is exhibit number 11, the Afghan hound. Oh. So second or runner up in the group is the Afghan hound. You want to have a number guess on number one? 11. And the winner Brown. of the Hound Group is the Whippet, exhibit number one. And the Whippet is nine. the best in group. So the Whippet and it is, is number, number 1771, one, which is Tejan Queen, champ, Supreme Champion Tejan Killer Queen. The winner, the winner Second of the is the Afghan. The winner of the Hound Group wins the, the Hollywood Trophy donated by Third. Janine Hooper. I'll just wait on it. Also wins the prize donated by Sushi Hub, Banana Feeds Australia and Canine Online. Number two in the group wins the Hollywood Trophy donated by Neville and Barbara Hollywood. Number Supreme Champion. Also wins Can the you like a prayer? money sponsored by Lauk Third Nails, in the group. A voucher sponsored by Third Banana Feeds Australia champion. and Devma a time product traveller. by Sushi Hub. By Number three in the Tim group. Triffitt. Wins the Banana Peach Australia and Prize, which is about the group sponsored by the same company, the, the Lauka Mills Prize, also in Sushi Hub Prize. Number one, two, and number three, four two. in the group also wins Banana Peach Australia Prize, the Lauka Mills Prize, and the Refresh Prize. Which is donated by Dun Refresh. Dance Monkey, V Tum Tums, Ronji's okay. import from the Netherlands. Huh. <laughs> I, I think this is a lovely group, I know. It is. And I'm looking at the be uh, the whippet and uh, another another beauty to join the winners. Absolutely. So we'll have a terrific. Um, yeah. at, at we'll have a terrific lineup. Okay. Okay, we should have baby puppies coming in now. I'm just going to take leave of absence for a moment. You go, you go. Bring back a pen. Okay, I, I'm, I'm riding solo now. So we should have the baby puppies coming into the ring. With only one of us, we might be. I might be a bit slow on the um, who's what.
Okay, now we're going. Just one to pick out of this, the stewards are saying. Oh, we're having Best Accent, John Rothwell's trophy. Really pleased, John, after he left um, his position as chief executive, that he actually continued. John has a, a Daki himself, that he actually continued offering this trophy. Very much appreciated. So we've got the um, six Daxons out there, the standard long, the mini long, the standard smooth, the mini smooth, and the wire standard and mini. Here they go, round they come. I'm, hmm, I have a guess, but I'll keep my mouth shut this time. It's best not to stick my neck out. Best Daxon. Which one? There go the two wires, standard and mini. That standard is nice. The mini smooth is lovely. The standard long is lovely. Well, they're all lovely. Here we go. Great to see a full lineup of a breed, but we're missing the rabbit dachshunds, um, which are coming into the country. Um, smaller again. But um, I hope we'll have some of them next year. The, at the best Royal. baby pup, the best baby puppy in the Hound Group. Daxund. Oh, I've got a bit ahead of it. Uh, Six twenty-one. The standard smooth. The standard smooth is the best Daxund in best Daxund in show. In fact, black and tan dog. We've got a number. I haven't. Daxund. Standard smooth. Number 621. Which is? 621. 621. Champion Buskerhun Sunkist Rory. Owned by Watson and Hall. Now we're getting the baby puppies. And we'll have first into the ring the... the breeds that the judge hasn't um, gone over himself and that will be Dachshund and Bassett alright he's been over some of these, the Bassett, he's been over the Dax, uh, the Beagle so there might just be the one for him to see specially yep just the one So now here comes the baby petite, which is number one double two eight, and the whippet, a lovely whippet one seven o eight. Baby whippets are so cute, aren't they? Mm. Full count, one, two, three, four, five babies. First one on the table is the Daxon Smooth Head. Daxon Smooth Head number 624, which is Westerbry Luck Lily 624. The babies are all soft and loose and um, I, I always think it's really special to be judging babies. Um, they are so sweet. It's a bit of a trap sometimes though. You, can, you can't judge on cuteness. You've got to look at what's in front of you. But you also can't judge for the future unless you really are an expert in that breed. But this puppy has so many of the ca characteristics, lovely top line, a uh, very good conical head, uh, nice easy movement. So, yeah, you'd like to bet on the future, but we'll wait and see. They're so young. The Bassett Hound, um, he has seen, is number 102. Yeah, no. Bassett Hound number one zero. Sorry, I'm on my own here. One zero two. Beau Chasseur. She's got a look. 
She's got the look. Lawrence and Phil Phyllis, Chris and Amber. Yes. And that's, if I'm correct, yes, it's Amber handling. So lovely. Oh, look at the baby. And look at the ears. And you can see the way the ears fold in. And you can see the head planes and the tail carriage again, just like those low hunting dogs. And look at that big apple bottom. Mm -hmm. And here's the beagle, which is number 119. Shouldn't be far to go. 119 is Houndbrook Princess, Princess Leia, owned by Donna Flew. Oh, I always think beagles, baby beagles, look like the finished product. And, and you, you want to talk about cute, that's cute. And here we have the, the baby uh, Bassett Griffon Ventine, 1228. Oops, gone far too far there. 1228, somewhere here. 1228. Well, I'll get it while it's still running, I think. One, double, two, eight. There we go. Tara, Taraka Yves Saint, Saint Croissant. Owned by Heitman and Heitman. And the Whippet. 1708. Here we go. 1708 is Ricochet the Equaliser, known by Georgina Roberts, South Australian puppy, baby puppy, almost blue, isn't it? Um, lovely <laughs> looking up at the owner, oh, a little bit of a bounce at the end. They're babies, you don't expect them to be perfect, so it's great. There's so much out here in, in the babies, they're just really beautiful. Only one though, only one. So we've got the, the Daki, and then the Basset. The best baby puppy in the Hound group is exhibit Eagle. number 102, the Basset. And it's the Basset. The All Stars Trophy, oh, donated by Margaret Burnside. All number 102 is the Basset. So that and is, oops, too many pages. Brosha, so she's got the look. Well, she got the look today, didn't she? Owned by Lawrence and Phyllis. Chris Lawrence and Amber Phyllis. Oh, look at that. Big hug from, the, from Donna, the other competitor, one of the other competitors. There's a lot of um, great spirit amongst um, the exhibitors. It's, it's good to see them celebrate. Oh. You can see the mass it can run. All flops, but it can run. Lovely. Lovely. And now we've got the um, puppy class. Puppy class, puppy class about to come in. So we've got the boys three, Right. Should be a big puppy class. We've got the borzoi. No, maybe not. We've got a borzoi, then we should have a beagle. Still got the borzoi up. Ah, so Daxon the beagle might not be here. Daxon mini long. Isn't that cute? Lovely long and low. Now we've got the standard Daxon, um, 618. Mini smooth, 636. And the wire. Baby wire, baby wire, standard wire, 642. And now we've got the Afghan, number five. Afghan, 
Okay, here comes the Irish Wolfhound, number 971. Wow, look at her. So true coming towards you and look at the lovely head on it. Powerful back end. And here comes the um, Saluki. Now we don't have numbers on most of these, I don't know why. And here comes the Whippet, which is number 1709. Okay. Puppies so are great. So we've got all our puppies in the ring now. So this is the Borzoi. Should be number 310. Remember the Borzoi, bladed bone, uh, flat on the, the sides of the neck, um, highest point of the back at the last rib. Big strong hind quarters, broad over the broad over the hips, because they've got to have that that big broad platform for driving off. And we've got this is 310, and it's Arapani Celeste, owned by P. S. Cottrell and R. W. Moog. And he can be a bit naughty in the ring, but doing really well today with the handler. And I like the substance of the back end on him. It Big is. broad hindquarters. That's a lovely, yeah, yeah. lovely. Um, and he's looking round. He's happy. He's, yeah, well done. Little clap there. And the red suit looks beautiful behind the white dog. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now we've got six zero nine. I think it should be the Dachshund Mini Long. And we've got Fleur Mac, cream of the crop. There we go. Lovely. Um, Dachshunds can be a whole range of colours. Um, okay, and, we've got um, the cream here. This is this is this cream colour is very attractive. It's not a red. It's not. It's a it's a cream. Very attractive. Look at look how level and strong the top line is. Yes. Um, and the conical head on it, and the low, the set of the tail. A little bit of a flag on the tail too. There's the Irish head of tail. <laughs> yeah. And now we've got the um, the smooth head Dachshund, which is number 618. And we've got Boskahun, all the glitter is gold, owned by Sue Packer. And we've had another Boskahun, haven't we? I think we have, yeah. Um, again, oh, carefully down onto the ground. Strong over the top line, nice head carriage, nice neck. Look at him bold, bold and defiant. There Mr. you Daxon. go. Um, yes. Really nice. And you can see the crook on the front legs there when it stopped. And we've on the got table is the Mini Smooth, number 636, yeah, I think. It's a bit written over, but... Right, and that is rims and champagne problems. Oh my goodness! Um, owned by R and D Squires. Hmm. Okay. And these, uh, the Daxons, he didn't judge. Um, uh, the Satu Ila Manon and judged the uh, the Daxons. They come from Group Five in the European system and. That's one of the groups that she's licensed for, so, yeah. Little one skittering along, looking around at everything. Yes. Black and tan is very attractive, isn't it? That when is. It's, when it's properly marked, as that one is. Another black and tan up now. No, it's a wire. Sorry, and we've got wire, six four two wire deck eclipse at Rimzan, so also owned by R and D Squires. 
the greediest little creatures. We had a, a mini wire at one stage. <sighs> That's the it sublime. Was... Well, I wouldn't say the ridiculous, but the sublime to the ridiculous of the hound group, isn't well, it? Well, <laughs> it's surprising how many people who have a wolfhound have a, a wire haired dachshund. Um, oh, right. Well, they I, sort of. In the UK, we had. Um, similar. Particularly, in a way. if I think of it. Um, Zena Thorn Andrews, who had tracks to push her tr wolfhounds, oh, right. and, and then the um, uh, uh, the, the mini wire dachshunds, and she great winner in both breeds. Beautiful Afghan standing there, number five. This is Tarkira. You can't resist me. And it's owned by B. Ferguson and A and J Jnonis. And lovely ring in the tail, good head carriage. Coat going all over the place. Of course. You have to look puppy. hard at an <laughs> Afghan to see the movement in the go when it's coming towards you like that, the coat parts and you you watch carefully. And you can see it. <laughs> and here comes the Beagle, one zero nine. On the table. Remember, sweet expression, white tip on the tail, nice round bone in front. And it's champion, champion already, Houndbrook Buster Moon, mm. owned by Donna Flew. <laughs> lovely head. Coming along, lovely brisk action. Used to know a lady, an English lady, who was quite famous in the dog world called Thelma, Gra Thelma Gray. Yes. And I remember her saying, if you can't judge a, a beagle, give up. <laughs> I, she said, it's a sweet head on four legs. But I have to say, it's actually it's a little a bit, bit more than that. Yes. Uh, this is the Irish Wolfhound, um, number 971. For a puppy, remember this is a puppy. Puppy. That's a very and they big take puppy. A long time to mature, really, as mm -hmm. puppies, don't they? And she's really easy moving. Look at ah. her looking around. Hey, round you go. And this so is too sometimes um, trying to turn a wolfhound on the move is like trying to turn the t Titanic. Oh, absolutely. And it's Tyroan Nymeria. 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 Um, we seem to have um, a few you know, Game mm. of, of Thrones fans. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's Love the way that dog moves, so free. Miss J. Big dogs, you have, you have to, you know. Mm. Yes, they're a big dog to manoeuvre. Mm. Mm. It's lucky we've and got this lovely big the ring. Saluki. With no number. Ah, right. I'm really sorry, it's Smiths. I'll see what we can find. Saluki. Something 7-6. We're only as good as, we're probably not even as good as what we're given. That's so. Right. Sometimes when the numbers are missing, you've got to do a bit of searching. There Hang we go. On a And we've got Saluki Imre. is number 1376, and it's Imre Masera, Mas yeah. owned by Sue Braddock Smith. And then let's quickly get the lovely little whip at 1709. And that's owned by Alan Anderson. This whip, at, I think, is the one that won best in show at the specialty I think on. It is. Yes. I have a feeling he was looking no, at this. No, actually it's not, because this is a dog. This is Hydale Kiss and Tells, and I think it's the little sister that got best uh, in show at the mm -hmm. Lippert specialty. No, I think he was looking at the front of the line, but these judges are sneaky, you know. They are. They don't give too much you away. never know. One of the lovely things about Arna Foss's... Um, the way he applauds the dogs. Yes, I love he that. Really he does that every it. time. Yeah. 
looks like he's made his decision. Mm. Everyone's the waiting. Best puppy in the one. hound group is exhibit number 618, the standard smooth duckson. Standard, standard smooth, smooth. duckson. The first duckson to go up, number 618. The Dr. FJ and Mrs. AT McAvoy's trophy donated by Francis McAvoy. Also the Banana Feeds Australia Prize, the Sushi Hub Prize, a and a cash prize donated by um, Marsula Kennels in the memory of Margaret Hope Bem. And it's Boskahan. All the glitter is gold, owned by Sue Packer. Isn't that nice? Oh, lovely. Good to see one of the Dakis go up, but yeah. come on, Dakie. Yay. Okay, so that's Puppy, and the ne next class we have in will be Newta. <laughs> I just saw the stewards directing them down to the photography. It gets a bit um, tricky with judges doing subsequent groups. Um, yes. We get a bit of a line up at the photographer's thing and I was supposed to be in all those photos yes I'm still you here go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you talk the neuters in I'm okay. actually going to have something to eat good idea right so we have the neuters coming in and we have got our first one is Ducks and smooth head, and it is number 631. Oh, look, I happen to be on the page, be lucky sometimes. And it's new to champion Boskahan American Gold. It's very clever spelling, I must say. Owned by T. Watson and M. Hall. Once again, these are being judged first because they haven't been judged previously by Mr. Foss. So next we have the Beagle, followed by the Whippet, and I think that is all. No, we should have four in our group, but it looks like there's only three. No, I take that back. There's a Deer Hound as well, which will be judged next, and that is 664. We'll wait for the Daxon to get its moving assessed. Or movement, I should say. And setting up, we've got the deer hound. And it is Ardalamaku. Oh my goodness, I hope I've said that right. Skager, owned by Philip Griffiths. a lovely elegant breed the deer hounds I know this is a puppy and they're all legs when they're puppies but you can see that it's going to mature now we've got the beagle and it is number 135 and it is jewel champion supreme champion Dual Grand Champion, Tassib Champion, Houndsley, Hey Ho, Here She, here she Goes, owned by Jay Layla and P. Hissy. So she's well credentialed, little girl. And 
and our whippet is new to champion and champion Wanderak Grease Lightning owned by Sandra Pilgrim. Now, a decision has been made as Mr. Foss applauds our neutrals. Stewards are just confirming numbers. The best neuter in the Hound Group is exhibit number 136, the Beagle. And the Beagle is the, Beagle. the neutering group. That wins the Shari Memorial Trophy, donated by Iglanac Kennels, also a voucher sponsored by Banana Feeds Australia and product sponsored by Sushi Hub. Cool, and it's dual champion, lots of champions, supreme champion, Cassim champion, Houndsley, hey ho, here she goes. Owned by Julianne Layla and P. Hissey. So we're setting up here for our next group. We're moving right along. Next we've got Utility. So back into the ring comes Satu Pula Monyan Nyong. Satu Ula Mananen. Thank you, Francis. I really don't like disrespecting people by mispronouncing their name. <laughs> so, ready to come into the group, into the ring now, are our best to breed group six winners. And our first one will be in Akita. And this is the only breed that Miss Ula Monyon <laughs> Satu. This is the only breed that Satu didn't breed, um, judge herself, so she will need to go over to this. No? Maybe she did. So we've got the Akita, followed by the Alaskan Malamute. We've got the Bernese Mountain Dog. The 336 is a boxer. And that's followed by a bull mastiff, number 393. Number 413, Corso. We've got Carne Corso next, number 413. 
Whoa, what a number for the Doberman. 666. Dog de Bordeaux is next, and it's number 679. Number 733 is an Estrella Mountain Dog. We have a German Pincher next, and it's number 789. Good running number. A friend of mine has one of these as a pet. Beautiful dog. We have a Leon Burger, 119. Pyrenean Mountain Dog, 1329. I might have missed the Newfoundland there. 1154. <laughs> and the Rock Wheeler, 1346. And we have a Russian black with no number. <laughs> this is the Sammy, the Samoid. Next we come into the Schnauzers. This is the medium sized Schnauzer, we just call, call it the, the standard Schnauzer. Yeah. <laughs> here, we, here comes the giant. And and this is the miniature, the Schnauzer miniature. Coming in. The Sheba Inu. The Siberian Husky. And this is the St. Bernard. And finally in the group, the Tibetan Mastiff. Been a few of these added to the group as we go through the last few years. It's lovely to have them here at the Royal. So, <clears throat> This is the utility group. Utility implies usefulness, so you have to think when you're judging them, particularly about what their function is. The first dog will be the Akita. There are two varieties of Akita. This is, I suppose, in some places would be called the American Akita, um, as opposed to the Japanese Akita, which is finer and lighter. But they are such an impressive, powerful looking dog and very clean in their outline. They're, they're um, uh, attractive, um, uh, pricked ears and um, alert face are, is something really special. So that was number 16. It's also a puppy, so it's worth noting that. Next is the Alaskan Malamute, number 29. Heavy sled pulling dog. Should have great drive behind. Should have substance in front. It's going to wear that harness and um, a certain amount of the action is pulling. The coat, very good coat. Can't be open because in the, um, in the cold temperatures that it traditionally had to work in, an open coat would let the cold and the wet through. This is the Bernese Mountain Dog, um, no number, um, which makes it a bit of a problem, but um, this is um, pretty special because um, this is Satu's own breed, um, and um, we had a terrific entry of some 60 in the breed, so this is her choice for best of breed. Um, 
The boxer is number 336. We're going through so quickly, I, I won't give you the names. We'll get the names when we get to the cut. A lovely clean cut boxer, has all the attitude, great head, and uh, lovely round bone, good front, and typical, typical boxer movement. Tail carriage as well. Um, you get used to the tail, but it really helps if it's well set like this. We used to have tails um, docked, of course, but um, not anymore. And we have adjusted our eyes to the outline of a dog with a tail. Boxers should be full of attitude, you know. Um, they are such a standout dog. Next we have... Hmm, this is the Bull Mastiff, number 393. The Gamekeeper's Dog. Um, take them out to catch poachers. We've had a couple of um, breeders teams where they dressed up as the gamekeepers and poachers. It was really, really fun. But they should be a powerful, free-moving dog able to cover distance and um, deter poachers. And then we have the Can Corso, an Italian breed. Um, once known as a fighting breed, um, uh, used often in um, herding or rather guarding herds um, where it was necessary to have a powerful guardian. We had a, a nice entry of um, cane corsos, perhaps I should say carne. The Doberman, everybody knows the Doberman, as Annabelle said, 666, not, not a great number, is it? I love the, um, the colouring, I love the, the marks on the shoulder too, as it comes through. The, the tan on the vents, the tan on the lower parts of the legs. Tan on the muzzle. No, all glitter. Okay. Dog de Bordeaux, a French breed. We do have a, a reasonable number of these in South Australia, one of the Mastiff breeds. Lower to the ground than the Bull Mastiff. Um, perhaps a bit looser in skin, heavier in head. And you don't expect a dog like this to run around with its head up in the air. We have the Estrella Mountain Dog. Again, a herding, sheep guarding dog um, from obviously the mountain area, Spanish. And the coat to withstand nighttime temperatures. The German Pinscher, we sometimes people think of it as a miniature Doberman, it's not really, um, but um, it has the same colouring range that the, 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 the Doberman itself has. Smart little dog. We had a nice entry of them this year too. Now we have the, the the great Newfoundland. This again is a breed that Satu um, is considered to be an expert in. Big, um, heavy coated dog used in water rescues traditionally. Um, if you check between the toes, you'd find it has webbed feet. Should have the densest of coats to to. Um, survive in the freezing water temperatures of uh, Newfoundland and we have it's nice to have the Pyrenees back um, we've had them every now and then but not consistently we had a nice little entry this year so real pleasure
again um, a, a, a shepherd dog, a guardian of the flocks and it is the utility group so yep, use what's its use <coughs> and we have right here we have the Rottweiler everybody knows the Rottweiler but it has a a rather mixed reputation and um, I enjoyed taking a pair of them down to the radio station in the middle of the Royal Show and seeing what absolutely fantastic temperaments they had um, and the people who own them love them and, and swear by them they're a very powerful dog though you need to be able to manage that but you know a wonderful loyal um, strong companion this is the Russian Black Terrier. I just heard it called a Black Russian, but it's a Russian Black. The only one in the entry. And again, no number. A powerful dog, sometimes used as a police dog. Um, and here we have the Sammy, the Samoid. <clears throat> if you look into their face, you might see it when it runs back to you. It smiles. It has a, a very um, standoffish coat, double coat, uh, curled tail like a, like a Spitz. And you can almost see the smile there. Let's see. Yeah, there you go little bit of a smile. has to have this black pigment, it's very important. <coughs> now we have the schnauzer, number 1414, salt and pepper colour, um, one of the German breeds. Great um, beard and moustache there, furnishings we call it crisp coarse coat <clears throat> so the sta the standards now so now the now the uh, giant again salt and pepper I've seen a few black giants, and they're so impressive, but um, salt and pepper's a traditional schnauzer colour. <coughs> this is number 1421, the um, schnauzer miniature. Again, the three breeds have um, the same standard. So there should be different sizes of the same breed in effect. Very smart little salt and pepper dog. This is the Shiba, Shiba Inu, Japanese dog. Again, a typical Spitz with the hooded pricked ears and the curled tail. Not quite a smile in front, not like the Samoid. This is the Siberian Husky, 1519. We're looking at the best of breeds in the utility group. And we're on our way almost at the point of selecting eight and then winnowing it down to four for and, and eventually to the best in the group. <coughs> Next is a, a giant dog, the St. Bernard. I'll watch this now. Uh, the Siberian go back to its place and here's the St. Bernard, big dog, big dog.
He's getting older now. I believe he's, this will be his retirement show. I, I wouldn't swear to that, but I think that's what I heard. So I hope he goes out well. He's a grand dog. Um, he just needs his little um, thing of whiskey around his neck, doesn't he? Brandy, is it? Brandy, yes. yeah. <laughs> no, no. Saving the people in the Look, snow. <laughs> getting a dog of this size and this bone to move freely is an mm. achievement and it, it needs is. to be recognised. This dog is um, such a typical example of the breed. And finally, we have the Tibetan Mastiff just moving off now. From what I've heard overseas, particularly in China, Tibetan Mastiffs command absolutely astronomical prices. They are so prized, and they I was going breed to say them. They're virtually worshipped, aren't they? Oh yeah, and they breed them huge. Um, so mm. yeah, they're a wonderful breed there. And we're we have a small uh, number of them here in South Australia. Love the way the Sammy catches the light. Do you think yes. that's a, <laughs> a yes. bit of a ploy? <laughs> mm. <coughs> we apologise for not right, giving out the Towards the, the names. front of the line now. We should come. There's the Bernese. She's pulling out her line. She's got the Bernese in it. So what has she got? Akita. She got the Akita, the Alaskan, the Bernese, the Boxer, the, boxer, the Newfoundland, the Samoyed. Yes, the lovely Sammy, and the, the Sheba, Sheba and, and the Siberian. So that's the cut. The other dogs now leave the ring. <coughs> Maybe a bit of a clap for the big St. Bernard who's, who's, who's retiring. Isn't it good to see okay. all three varieties of the snails as being represented here? Absolutely. And we used to have a very strong snails a club here in South Australia which seems to have died a death but um, there's still a lot of support amongst the, um, the schnauzer people for each mm. other so let's have a look at the front we've got the Akita number 16 <coughs> it's interesting one of those groups where they're all big Yes, so the Akita was Shakuma Divine by Design, and that's also a puppy. Yeah. The Malamute yes. is the second in the line. And it's Southern Wolf Wild Thing, owned by Stuart Pressland. And we've got a Bernese Mountain Dog. Number 164. She's just and having a look at that now. Malacloy Walk This Way, owned by Benjamin and Holly Taylor. And the boxer is number 336. And the boxer is an open dog, Supreme Champion Mill Mac Tom Ford GTHO, owned by P and K Cook. Move the Sheba to the back for movement, and they're going round. We'll give you, we'll give you the names of the winners. There's the Bernese, the Boxer, the Newfoundland, the Samoyed, the Siberian. There's the Bernese again, and the Boxer. Wow. So the, and the Siberian and the Sheba. Newfoundland is champion. New fashion major look, owned by by Harland and G Bar. Is 1497. Missed this. <laughs> Sheba having a quiet scratch at the back there. And th that <laughs> is Harakasu Hime no Haganomu Go. 
owned by Phoebe, Phoebe Hu. And the Samoyed is number 1388. I think she's enjoyed the group. I'm looking, you can't see her, but I'm looking straight at Satu and she's got a big smile on her face. Um, this is sort of, these are dogs that she's so familiar with um, as part of her own um, breeding life. So the Samoyed is champion all those Donza cash made easy, owned by B. Lawton, A. Harrison and F. Tucker. The Siberian is 1522. <coughs> okay, and looks it like. Is Gosh, we have a, a nice gallery it's built not up actually. now. Um, um, yeah. The Siberian is American See. champion, Canadian champion, champion, Snow Miss, No Regrets, import of Canada, owned by RJ Connolly. Such an impressive um, dog, the puppy. Um, That's it. Uh, puppy. Kita. And then the, the Malamute, very big, strong, typical dog. The Bernese, her own breed of choice. The Boxer, real showman. And the Newfie, big, steady, strong dog. And the Sammy, big snow feet, snowshoes. Lovely pigment on it. And the Siberian free moving. Oh, and our Sheba was champion Junkin no Ryu go. Ryu to Go Kaiushu, Jen Kanai, Jen Junkan Kai, in Port Japan, owned by Diana Woodcock. And out of the dogs, all of them big dogs, except the Sheba, which um, is um, what I'd call what I'd call a medium dog, medium to small dog. Okay, just number a four lovely expression in the group on it. Is it exhibit number one three eight three the Samoyed? Samoyed is fourth, fourth in the group. group. One, three, eight, three. Number three the in the group is exhibit number 1519, the Siberian Husky. 1519, the Siberian Husky. We'll get to the names in a while. Number two in the group is second exhibit group. number 336, the Boxer. The Boxer is second oh, in the look group. At that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, well do you think caught. the boxer and the owner are happy? <laughs> Big jump up there. Lovely smile from the judge. I think she enjoyed seeing that. And but the what's going to be the winner? winner of the group is the judge's favourite breed, the Bernese Mountain Dog. Oh, the Bernese. Oh, ah. ah. Well, to get the group when yes. when that's the judge. I mean, you're the critical of your own group breed. To get the group is something Proby, special. And so the winner is the St. Bernard. No, no, no. Sorry, the Bernese, Bernese Mountain Dog, Dog, which is number 164. You've got to think also so. Also wins the Canine Online. Bernese Mountain Dog, 164. We'll take that on, on the internet. Also, Banana Feeds Australia voucher and product donated by Sushi Hub. Number two in the group wins the Lauki Prize. We'll get there, we'll get uh, there. Donated Bernese, by Lauki Mills. Also wins the um, Sushi Hub Prize, product donated by Sushi Nine Hub and a voucher donated by Banana Feeds Australia. Six Number three in Malik group also Malik wins the Lowry Mills Walk Prize, this way. product by donated by Sushi Holly Hub Taylor. and Banana Feeds Australia voucher. And number four Second in the group, in group wins the Lowry Mills Prize, Number three, the Sushi three, Hub six. Prize and Banana Feeds Australia Prize and refresh the prize. Number 336 is Supreme Champion Milmac Tom Ford Goes Home, owned by P. Cook. The Siberian Husky, number 1519, is American Champion, Canadian Champion and Champion Snow Mist, No Regret, owned by R. Connolly, imported from Canada. And finally, the Sammy, uh, which is 
1383. 1383 is champion Aldonza Cash Made Easy. Owned by B. Lawton, A. Harrison and F. Tucker. Well, that's something when the judge picks her own breed. Uh, you're very hard on your own breed, I think. Yes, so <coughs> she must have really liked that particular from a, specimen. From a very strong group. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. It's good to see Boonies mountain dogs becoming more popular here. They're, I remember watching a movie a long time ago, and it was all about the um, alpine regions, and it featured a whole lot of Boonies mountain dogs. <laughs> So next we've got in are our babies. Oh, before that, we've got our three varieties of schnauzers to choose the best schnauzer from. Just having a few stewarding issues here, but they've got it under control. Good to see. The uh, judge is now selecting the best schnauzer. This is a ribbon donated by um, Sandra Jamison. And we've got our a standard schnauzer, our miniature schnauzer, but we seem to have lost the giant schnauzer. Best schnauzer, the miniature schnauzer, exhibit number 1421. And the miniature schnauzer has been awarded the best schnauzer in show. Number 1421. Oh, I'm scrambling now to find the number. And it's champion Naringa the Spectacular, owned by Billy Mazilis. First baby is Bernie's Mountain Dog, 164, followed by the Boxer. No, let's try that one again because oh, we don't seem to be following our order here, but sorry. We have a Sheba in you. On four nine seven. So we'll fill you in more Number as they come around. One, that's the Bernese Mountain Dog, 172. And it is a baby puppy, nameless at this moment, owned by uh, Benjamin Holly Taylor. Next we have the Boxer, 339. Boxer, number 
And it is Kesda Kalamai World, owned by J Davis and H Keel. And a rock wheeler, 1348. Confusing me a bit here because we're missing some. I've got one, three, four, eight, and it is Solaris Frozen in Time, owned by Joanne Grundy. And the next one is the Shiba Inu, one, four, nine, seven. And it was. Harakasu Himi no Hagonomo. Ooh, we've got lots of very similar numbers there. Owned by Phoebe Hui. And the last one, 1513, I believe, is our Sho Shikoku. So that's one of our newer breeds, and it's Timson Captain Shinju, owned by C. Allen and T. Jones. Best baby puppy in the group is the Boxler, exhibit number double Boxer. three nine. This means the three, Vintage three, Trophy nine donated is by Terry and Maxine Carter. Also wins the Banana Feeds Australia Prize and product donated by Sushi Hub. Colour My World, owned by J and H Keel. Oh, start that one again. Owned by J Davis and H Keel. It's a very happy little boxer, and I think a very happy exhibitor. So next to our puppies, they'll be led out by the Akito, which was also. We've got our feedback. Akita Shakuma Divine by Design, owned by D. Klingberg, W. Osborne, and T. Thorpe. And we've got our Malamute, 21. The Malamute is Polar Hike May Your Bacon Burn. Oh dear. Owned by R. Butler and Z. Fisher Kapler. We've got the boxer. 341. Now, I'm missing the cane courser there, but we'll get that for you in a moment. 341 is. Roxbud, welcome to my dark side, shown by Roxbud Kennels. The Cane Corso, the Carne Corso is four double one. Firebright Blue Knight, owned by Susan Coombe. Oh, I'm gradually getting there. Uh, the Doberman was six six nine. Six, 
line was Batay Charlie's Tempest Moon, owned by Batay Boxes. Running a little bit behind here, but we're getting there. Dog to Bordeaux was 677. And it was Northern Star Extreme Heat, owned by Kim Lawn. The German Pincher was 787. And it was Jewel Watch Mythic Echo, owned by Jill Harding. Uh, we are up to. German puppy in show. Newfoundland. Sorry, puppy in group. I'm busy looking ahead at what's going to be in the lineup for a show. So here we see the uh, Akita puppy being moved out. Okay, we've got this the new. This was also best of breed. We've got the Newfoundland is 11:56. New fashion. Thank. Funk for that. The Alaska Malamute is now moving. Good strong dog. Lovely, powerful, compact body for a puppy. Bernese Mountain Dog. Well, one has gone up. This one's almost got the cross in front, but um, moving very quickly, I think. So she sometimes prefers them to be a little slower. The boxer, very dark boxer, a little it bit of brindling in it, but... Um, Colours fine, not a problem. We're used to seeing one colour, but it's not the colour, and we need to remember that. And sometimes colour changes the way you see a dog. Um, a dark dog can often look slighter um, mm. than uh, the others. A cane Corso, a very big puppy, a powerful puppy. And the Doberman. That um, black and tan markings on the shoulder. Six, seven, seven. Watching the handler makes it difficult, so that's better. Go straight ahead. The dog to Bordeaux. Seven, eight, seven. A really free moving puppy for this yeah, breed. So. Very typical head. Lots of loose skin, but not unnecessarily so. And here we have the German pincer. <laughs> a puppy well, wants well, to well, sniff well, the well, ground. Well, Fairly well, natural well, in a dog, isn't it? Now the Newfoundland, a puppy, big puppy, but you know, they're big dogs. This one's chocolate, we've seen black so far, but you have a variety of colors. Um, chocolate, um, then you have um, the black and white ones, which are called Lancia, and uh, the all black ones. Right, the Rottweiler is Zim Parfi. I drove all night, owned by A. Wells. And I think he looks as if he might have. His head's down. <laughs> He's a bit tired. This is the end of a long day of the and show. The Samoid is Kaimar Classic Edition, owned by Kim Wardle. Very smart moving, Sammy. And you can see the smile and the black pigment. You'll see it on the pads behind as it goes. There we go. Was a bit happy on the, on the come around, but the judges stopped looking by then. And we've got the Sheba Inu. Little Sheba. And it was 1498. Very curious little Sheba. Wants to know what's going on. And the Sheba is Nico Go Eren Hoff FCI. And imported the... Japan, owned by TF Sham and Jay Z. And the Sammy with um, those ice-like eyes. Um, you can have a variety of colours in the eyes in the 
in the Siberian. You can have different color eyes, a blue and a brown, or a, this ice color is perfectly acceptable. And the Siberian is miniature foxtrot owned by RJ Connolly. And we've got um, the judge now considering the, the lineup. She can only have one, one puppy. Group six puppy calling out the um, trophy donors. The best puppy in the group is exhibit number 1523, the Siberian Husky. The Siberian this Husky the is the Memorial Trophy donated. puppy in the group. Oh, well, this wins the Miniature Rampa Fox Breakaway Trot Trophy donated by, by the Cook Bar family. Connolly. And on behalf of the donors of the children of the Cook family are here to present the trophy. Also wins the Banana Peach Prize. So the Siberian Husky, husky was number 1523. Also, product and um, product donated by Sushi Hub and a fifty-dollar money prize donated in the memory of uh, Margaret Hope Bennett. Uh, miniature fox trot. As the puppy does its lap of honour, we're about to bring in the neuters. Have the Alaskan Malamute, the Bernese Mountain Dog, we have the Boxer, we've got a Bull Mastiff number 401. Next is a Doberman, number 675. Next is the Newfoundland, number 1167. Now we have the Samoyed, number 1403. So our neuter is about to be assessed individually. So we've got our Malamute number 36. It's champion, neuter and grand champion, mate, so survived a wild ice owned by Tori Haynes. Our boxer is Phoenix Awakening. Start again. Phoenix Awakening, owned by Maxine Carter. Our Bull Mastiff is Grand Champion, Neutral Champion, Bull Mighty Flicker the Finger, owned by Bull Mighty Kennels.
Now Doberman is champion and new to champion. Pre Shush Flick Killer Queen. Owned by Debbie Hines. Our Newfoundland is champion Amblebrook Sweets for My Sweet, owned by Lynn Vale. Our Samoid is 14.03. And it is here somewhere. Champion Snow Whisper. Ilsum Juliska, owned by B. Lawton and A. Harrison. Satu is now making her decision for best neuter in group. Decision's been made. All these dogs showing themselves off beautifully. Saying, pick me, pick me. <laughs> the best Newton in the group is exhibit number 1403, the Samoid. The Samoid is the best this Newton in the group. This is the Shari Memorial Trophy, donated by England at Kennel. Also the Banana Feeds Australia Prize and the Sushi Hub Prize. And that was champion Snow Whisper, Elsom Jaluska, owned by B. Lawton and A. Harrison. So that brings us to the end of the utility group. Only one more group to go. Setting up now for our next group, which is Group 7. Welcome back to the ring, Mr. Arnie Foss, to judge Group 7. Mr. Arnie Foss is now coming back in to group, judge Group 7. Hey, our first dog in to be judged is going to be the German Spitz Mittel. 
Then we've got the Peruvian hairless dog. Large, but again, small. Oh, maybe we haven't, but we do have a skipper key, number 1407. And followed by the Sharpay, 1456. The Jolo. Where's the bus stop? We've got the miniature first, followed by the standard. Miniature is 1796. The standard is 1800. Now we have the Australian Boz Dog. Followed by the Boston Terrier. British Bulldog is next, 366. Chow is next, 508. The Dalmatian comes next, 659. Coming now is the French Bulldog, 786. Here comes our Great Dane, 910. Kaysan, 1037 is our next exhibit. Here comes our last episode, eleven twenty-two. <laughs> Standard poodle comes now. Poodles are going to be our um, feature breed next year, so I'm hoping oh, we right. get a terrific entry. And they're certainly the showman of the of the of the they group, aren't they? Are. Now we've All got three our varieties. Miniature. One two seven zero. And the toy poodle twelve ninety three. And you have to get your head around. You've got a giant, and then a miniature, and then you go down again to a toy. Yes. Mm. Yes. Our Shih Tzu comes next, and it is number fifteen ten. So on the table we've got our German Spitz, the middle variety, and it is number 866. All right, this is champion Rye Frost Midnight Cowboy, owned by Kosov Kennels. <laughs> 
So. Right, as the German Spitz moves for the judge. Next we will have the skipper gig. On the table, we have the skipper key, champion Sandlin B. Be back soon. Imported from New Zealand, owned by Barbara Craft. It's number 1407. Next one, we have our Sharpay being judged on the ramp. And it is number, 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 number. Bear with me, 1456. And it's Relic Purple Rain, an intermediate bitch. It is the toilet paper dog. It is the toilet paper dog. Yes. With baby puppies with all those wrinkles. And you can see Mr. Foss checking it for it there. No. It's not that they're nasty or anything. No. Sometimes the better is Lots of Lots and lots. Yes. And that's owned by Monique Bourne. And now we have the, the mini Sholo. Um, we've got the three varieties of Sholo. And this is the mini. And this is champion, was it? Taha Altissimo, owned by Kerry McKay. Mm. They are great. quite sweet, aren't they? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oily. Yeah. Yes. Very attractive ones, aren't they? They are. striking. Yeah. Yes. They've sort of come into Australia and really taken off, I think. Yeah. And no coat to groom there, except and you have to the, maintain uh, the skin the quality. Uh, yeah. In front of the table now. And, uh, and that. Striking yes, this is Supreme Champion. A mourn kid, the joke's on you, owned by K and S Payne. They call him Joker and he can be a real pain in the ring. Yes. Fabulous. So, yeah, As a young dog happens. he was very, very playful. Mm. <laughs> but still managed to do a lot of winning because he was such a fine example. I want you 
Yes. Yeah. These are a very primitive breed, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Now we've got our Australian boz dog. Thank you. That one. <laughs> so that's the shoulder. Still still watching on that one. I can see the skipper key in the background. And All right, and it's Champion Summer Storm Park Gabriel, owned by Kerry Adams. The breeders have taken this. We're a bit dubious about new breeds sometimes, and it's sort of like a longer legged bulldog. It is. But, um, what they've focused on is this, so they want to uh, look right. the muzzle. Um, oh, that's interesting. Right. So this is the Boston Terrier 313, and it is Champion Arapani Ali April, this owned is, by Jeanette Lawton. This is the, the American jockey, uh, the tuxedo effect. Yes. Uh, yes. Very smart. They dog. are right a smart uh, dog. Around the neck and on the front, you mm. see the effect of a tuxedo. And yes. And the, the, the even bright blaze across the head, which separates. There's very, the eyes. very distinctive marking. It's very smart. Mm. We've got the British Bulldog on the ramp now, and it is number three six six. Snodge ball baby got back. And you see just oh. looking at it, the way the muzzle slopes backwards. Yes. Into the head, unlike the boss dog. Um, but this is a very easy moving dog. And um, yes. we worry about things like breathing, this dog is perfectly sound and um, healthy. And that's what bulldog breeders have been conscious of. Mm. Wider in front than behind. See the, yes. the difference between them. If you look from the front, you can see the back legs through the front. I was just legs. going to say that, Francis. <laughs> the neck is almost as well as about the same circumference. The head is about the same yes. circumference as the neck. <coughs> and the chow chow. Another one, it'll be interesting whether he asks, I just saw the blue tongue, whether right. he asks her to mouth it or not. Um, little button ears and maybe coat. This dog is not one that's most meant to be raced around. So no, no, not at dog. all. And it's tail curled up tightly over the body. Yes, this is Supreme Champion Charlie Touch of Class, owned by Jeanette Marufus. Awesome. You can see that you can. Right now. You can. This is a good place. It's stately. Yes. Uh, slight yeah. roll on the back end, but... Um, it's not it's not meant to be a, a really free mover like other breeds that you would expect to reach out. Yeah. That's right, and that's the pace you need to show them. Beautiful showing its blue tongue there. This is number 659. Of course. And this is Champion Pampard Fire First, owned by J and E Marshall. Beautifully spotted. Supposed to have spotting the size of a dollar coin and um, no big patches, and they should mm. run into each other, so it's really quite nice. Um, and. Um, yeah, carriage dog, meant to run. Yes. Not with, but underneath the carriage. Um, That's right. 
this dog really lovely inky mover. Carries the tail straight out like a bit. Seven, eight, six. So our French Bulldog is on the table. It's number 786. And the dowdy hoops ribbon hasn't moved. <laughs> Here's the French bulldog. The most popular dog in the country at the moment, I believe. No, oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't to doubt that. Who's interested in it will look at a properly bred one with the correct colours and not some of the fatty mm. things that are charging lots of money for it. Like your blues and your yeah. yes. But um, it is a little bright. Smart moving little dog, slightly up over the lawn. Um, lovely bat ears and a dark muzzle. Um, hmm. Yeah, they're all right. I understand why they're so cute. Oh, yes. So like them so, much. so that was 786 and its champion, Cenarable Hermosa. And now we have the great male. This is a breed that um, Mr. Foss has himself. So, Yes, there were a few entered. And this was Anador Like It Like This. This is Anador Like It Like This, owned by KNS Paint and DNA Alexander. The case on now, and this is number 1037. Grr, my microphone's been off. The case on, lovely, beautifully coated dog. You can see the markings on the eye, around the eyes, the spectacles, and then the trace yes. on the shoulder, which is a reflection of the harness. Um, right. But just the most magnificent coats on these dogs. Great rough. Yes. Um, yeah, this one looks so true. Look at it coming through. And it's Supreme Champion Rymiska Great Balls of Fire, owned by R, M and T Parker. And Gloria, thank you for letting me know my microphone was off. Okay, we have the Lhasa on the table. We've got two breeds here. You just have to make sure you know what you're doing. This is a Lhasa, Lhasa Apso, a Tibetan... Um, temple dog, beautifully coated. This I put my hands on this dog's coat, and it was finer than human hair. It was mm. absolutely extraordinary to touch. Um, and I look for, um, I look at the way this little dog moves um, with so much drive. Oh, yes. You know, it, yes. it might you see be those a, little feet kicking out behind. Yeah, it, it's no toy. You know, this is yeah. a little powerhouse. Yes. And it's Supreme Champion Amazon Shut Up and Take My Money. <laughs> owned by Amazon Kennels. Yeah. And the one that um, you've got to be careful you don't mix up. And if you know what you're doing, you don't. Yes. Is the Shih Tzu. So look at this one coming. And you see the, the beard flowing out behind it. And um, the way the yes. hair just flows with it. And you can see, even with all that hair, the reach of the dog in front. Mm. You can. And down on the knees and brushing again. Of course. <laughs> Standard poodle. Comes in, obviously, the normal range of colours. Apricot and black and white and chocolate. Um, and this one is a bitch. Magicalia, divine by design. The champion owned by D. Clark and M. Nottle Justice. These are show, po show ponies. They or the, the clipping might look a bit over the top and everything, but it's a, it is an exaggeration, but it's an exaggeration of a working cut so yes. that the pom-poms on the, on the wrists and everything were there to protect the, um, the, the joints. joints and on the hips as well, protect mm. the joints in the cold water because they were used as gun dogs. That's um, right. We think of them as, um, you know, oh, yes. I don't know what we think of them, but... Um, <laughs> 
Uh, they, they, they are incredibly intelligent. Yes, yeah, show dogs. They are incredibly intelligent. They are very good walk workers. And I'm waiting till the day I see one come into the ring in a corded coat. I've seen yes. it in Europe and yeah. it's... Ah, I love it. And our miniature, miniature poodle. This to breed is 1270, Supreme Champion Montez Beautiful Beastie, owned by Jay McKenzie, M and P Clark. And this is lovely. Um, the little dogs, their legs move so quickly and you've got to watch them carefully, but this dog really, really has it when yes. it goes, I think. Mm. And look at the attitude. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Look at it. Just um, so responsive. And this is in a clip without the pom-poms, yeah. sometimes known as a puppy clip, but it doesn't mean it has to be a puppy. Yeah. And on the table is the miniature poodle. Uh, the toy poodle. I'm sorry, we've seen the miniature. Oh, I've been sitting at the microphone too long. Yes. The toy poodle, thank you. Just as well there's two of us. I know. Oh. Mm. It's well, a team. <laughs> between us we can both get it wrong. We can. <laughs> or maybe we'll get it right. Mm. This is 1293, champion, genuine, full of joy. Oh, certainly is. Well, <laughs> and that got rid of it all. Mm. A good shake does you the world of good. They're such little show ponies, these poodles. Okay. On the table we have our Shih Tzu. As Francis was saying before, not to be confused with Olasa Apsilo. These have got more of the brassophilic face. And we have 1510. It's a bitch. And it's champion Shamara. I came, you saw, I sparkled. Owned by Barry Gardner. So the last eight will be chosen out of these. Many different types in this group, being non-sporting. It's a bit of a misnomer really because some really are sporting dogs. Well, when I say sporting dogs, they do a job. So, so far we've got the Sharpay, the British Bulldog, the Chow, the French Bulldog, the Lhasa Apso, the Standard Poodle, the Miniature Poodle and the Toy Poodle. So all the Poodles are out. So that makes our final eight. The, these last dogs will be run around the ring and applauded as they go out. From here, we've got our final four to come out. First on the table is the toy poodle. So Mr. Foss can get a closer look. Of 
because with so much coat you really need to feel under the coat to know the exact structure of these dogs. It's very important to do that because there's all sorts of things that be hidden by shaping the coat. Now he's doing, Mr. Foster's doing the same to the miniature poodle. Once again, feeling underneath that coat, just checking, just to make sure. We have the standard poodle set up ready for Mr. Foss. This is unusual for the last day because he hasn't gone over them so thoroughly after he's chosen the last eight before, but. He obviously wants to check under those coats, see what's there. You never know what you might find. <laughs> Remember to put the microphone back on this time. Um, plus. Yeah, back. I'm <laughs> just rushing around a bit trying to get the singer. Okay, now I've got the singer here. I'm going oh. out again. <laughs> well, hello, Francis. Goodbye, Francis. But now we've got the standard poodle running around our ring. Once again, he's going over the dog on the table, and this time he's got the last Arapso. He's definitely just making sure. Now we have Francis back. I was just saying, Francis, he's making sure of these dogs because when he's got down to the last eight before he hasn't gone over them again like he has with these ones okay. mind you they've got big coats so you really yeah, need to feel maker. underneath that yeah, coat you've got maker. to get through them don't you like the poodle you've got to get your hand and push up against the coat to yes, the shoulder so you've got to find all those and the last of well angles and mm. Well, we've got our singer organised now, so oh, that's we're good getting to towards hear. the end of things. Um, this is the last group, of course. Now, we have to get a few things worked out here. French Bulldog. Um, the French Bulldog is the one being examined at the moment. No coat to go under there, mind you. Being his last group, I imagine he's just making doubly sure for these last eight. Or maybe he thinks... We're running ahead of schedule, so he's filling out the time. <laughs> and now we've got the chow. Really uh, interesting choice. Um, just a top, top quality lineup, I think. 
it is a top quality lineup. And I, I look at agree. them. I look at them, and most of them are winners um, in their own right. Chow certainly won a lot. The French Bulldog has certainly won a lot. The the Lars is certainly a, a big winner. So, be interesting. And this yes. is why we have international judges, um, so that we get not only an informed opinion but an objective opinion. That's right. And that's why occasionally. We get the rare breeds coming through. Yes. They're appreciated by someone who sees more of them overseas. Yes, that's so true. Okay. That's the chow. Blue tongue and all. Whereas and the bulldog on the table. Great. Sometimes when, when judges come here, they learn lots more about our breeds, such as well, the they do. I and know that um, Satu was so excited after she judged the Australian Cattle Dog. She right. came out and said, oh, I want one of those. <laughs> yeah. That was the most in interesting reaction I had the whole, to the whole right. trip from her. Um, just immediately, she was so mm -hmm. lit up and pleased with it because in their country it would be a rare breed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this lovely, easy-moving bulldog. Got some fans yes, in there. It is. Lovely bone on it, just just, mm. just right. Very so balanced, in balance. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, that's something, Francis. We seem to be picking the same terms quite often, don't <laughs> we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are we up to? Boxes, and now uh, new to group six, fourteen, oh three. And now we have the Sharpay being gone over. This is um, the longest process, really. Um, yes, he right. hasn't done this before. No. He's made it very quick. And you do wonder whether this is a, a tip to where his thoughts are for best mm. in show, if he's really it so... It does make you wonder. Mm. Being so yes. thorough with these. Sharpay. You know, the Sharpay, I, I, I'm always conscious when I'm handling them of their coat, which is short and prickly and can be quite itchy in your hands. Yes, um, yeah. And well, I, I will usually... the toilet rolls, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's true. Oh dear, the little there's puppies a are very miniature soft poodle and the standard poodle and the Laza app. So everything falling into place, that Laza. Yes. And the French Bulldog just right in front. And look at this um, Chow and now the Bulldog and... The Sharpe. Wow. So now well, he's, certainly he's had time finally to think made about his it. decisions. And this will be our our last group winner, mm. and we'll have then our um, best in show lineup sorted out, won't we? We will. I wonder if there are any puppies in this line. We haven't had any puppies come through for best in show yet. Um, We've no, had a couple I come through. I don't think there's any puppies in this best in group lineup. Okay. And a clap for them. We've got a, a terrific um, gallery here for the for this stage of the game. Yes. A lot of general public coming and looking as well. Yeah. Neville's getting it all down on paper. No mistakes. <laughs> Every one of these dogs is in with a chance. Certainly is. And I think Anna's just making sure that there are no mistakes. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some very well-known handlers amongst this group too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Couple handling their own dogs, though. Well, yes. Here we go. So we'll start with fourth. The number four in the group is exhibit number one two seven zero, the miniature poodle. The miniature poodle is number four. Oh, lovely one two seven zero. The miniature poodle is fourth in the group. Here it comes. I like that one. I, I thought yes, she was lovely. Yes, it was lovely. a very smart little yes. one, wasn't it? Number three in group is exhibit number 706, the French Bulldog. 
The French Bulldog the is French number Bulldog three. Is number seven eight six. We'll get the numbers in a minute. Number two in group is exhibit number one two seven nine. The standard poodle. The standard, standard poodle. poodle. Yes. And Second who's in group. going to win the group? What have we got left? The Laza. And the best exhibit the Chow, in the group. The is bulldog. Exhibit number double one double two. The Laza Apso. And the Laza Apso is best in group. Wow! What a lineup this is going to be. Number 1122 wins for Hallian Trophy, donated by Neville and Barbara Hallian. Also, one, the, two, Barbara, two. the Banana Feeds Australia Prize, the Canine Online one, one, two, Prize, two. the Sushi Hub Prize, and the Lauki Mills Prize. Number two in group wins the Hallian Prize, donated by Neville and Barbara Hallian, the Lauki Mills Prize, Sushi Prize, and the Banana Feeds Prize. Number three in the group wins the Banana Feeds Australia Prize, the Lauki Mills Prize, Re Refuge Fresh Prize, Look and at that Hub Prize. Oh, good shake out all this. And sort number of four in the group wins the Banana Feeds Australia no, Prize, the Lauki Mills it down Prize, again. the Refuge yes. Fresh <laughs> Prize, and the Sushi Hub Prize. Uh. So, first in the group was the last of Apso, number 1122. Supreme Champion, Amazon, Shut Up and Take My Money, owned by Amazon Kennel. Number two in the group is the Standard Poodle. And it is 1279. And it is Champion Magicalia Divine by Design, owned by D. Clark and M. Nottle Justice. Number three in group was the uh, French Bulldog. And it is number 786. 786. 786 is on my page here somewhere. It's the last one. Champion Sonarable Hermosa. Oh, gosh. And number four in group was the Miniature Poodle. And it was... was, was, was it's is, is 1293 and Minute Poodle, Minute Poodle 1270, I should say. And it is Supreme Champion Montez Beautiful Beastie, owned by Jay McKenzie and MP Clark. So that was our final best in group to be judged. Next, we're going to have our babies come in. We should have four of those, according to my slip here. So we're expecting the chow. The Dalmatian, the French Bulldog, and the Sharpay. The Chow is number 498. Whoops, we've lost our live feed. But we do have a Chow. We've got a smooth Chow. And next we have a French Bulldog. So we're miss missing our Dalmatian. But our French Bulldog is 771. And our Sharpe is 1449. And our baby puppy Chow, who came out of a a large group of chows is touch of chow no fluff and stuff and it's owned by Jeanette Marufus and as I said before this is what we know as the smooth chow because it doesn't have the great fluffy coat of the other chow chows 
hence its name, No Fluff and Stuff. Next we have the French Bulldog, number 771. Matt Go Catch My Sass, owned by m &F and P Loads. We're missing the Dalmatian 652, but obviously didn't come back for the day. And the Sharpay on the ramp there is 1449. And it is Sharboop, straight shooting son of a gun. Owned by Jackie Wallachek. Of course, these are babies, are uh, the babies of the day. It would have won against other baby puppies that were best of their breed. As you can see, the baby puppies, more wrinkles, especially over the back. This is where you see the, ba the, yes. the wrinkles in the baby. Oh, look at that. That's really caught it well. The photographic cameras are great. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Look at it over the shoulders and look down the back and little pouches on the hocks. That's right. So, so, out of these three, we'll choose our best baby puppy in the non-sporting group. So, we've got the French Bulldog. Interesting markings. This should be dark yeah. around the eyes. Um, uh, and the French... And the, uh, and the Sharpay. The Sharpay. And mm. We've got our smooth chow. And looks as if our... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and the, I missed the um, chow. I'm looking right to left or left to right or whatever this screen the is. The best doing. baby... In the group is exhibit number 771, the French Bulldog. The French Bulldog French is bulldog. the French Bulldog wins the Banana Feed Australia the Prize and the Sushi Hub Prize. There is one happy owner. Oh, it certainly is. Ah, uh, well, that is good. That is good. And look at the head. Look at the bat ears and the, the markings around the eyes. Oh, what a sweetie. I'll just get the name of that for you again. It's called Matt Go Catch My Sass, owned by MF and, and B Loads. Such a steady little mover yeah, and it? just the right type of top line. Yes. And it's difficult in this breed to get the top line right. It is. It's quite um, so what was the distinctive 771. 771. And it is? Lucky number for some. <laughs> yeah, indeed it is. Oh, we're getting closer and closer. There will be um, a, a, a little bit of a break between the end of this group and the beginning of um, General Specials because we need to finish all of the photographs before we start the General oh, Specials. Right. And um, it's getting a bit crowded down there. So number 771 was... There we go. But Matt go catch my sass. Is that right? That's the one. So our first one in for puppy is the Skipper Key. Followed by the Sharpay. Little Skippy, the Dutch barge, barge dog. And the Sharpay. We're seeing a few Sharpays, aren't we? So these are the two breeds that um, Arnie Foss will need to go over. Here comes another chow. We had a big entry of chow. I was really, I really thrilled with that. And the French yes. Bulldogs, of course, had a big entry. As usual. So it's yeah. not surprising to find them here. That's See how right. the French Bulldog pushes its ears back, doesn't drop them, but turns them sideways when it's right. running towards you. And the Great Dane. Do and daring, dash and daring, 
and the case on. Ah. A little black glasser. Yes. We, we, you've got to change your eyes set, you don't do, you, don't when you, you, when you go to colour color. like that. And the um, poodle, standard, standard poodle, and the shih tzu. Shih tzu got the top knot, and you describe the shih tzu's movement as arrogant. It yep. is, with those little yep. feet kicking out behind. Mind yep. you, the lasa does that too, doesn't oh, it? Oh, indeed it does, and that's perhaps yes. why sometimes people get confused, but yeah. it's all in the build and the structure of the head as well. I was just going to say, look, we've done it again. <laughs> well, here's the skippy, the Dutch barge dog. That's um, the one. He'll grow a big rough, uh, the males as, as they grow. Um, they're very compact little dogs. Yes, You'd have well to be on a barge. Their, their um, little cloak, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they come in a variety of colours. It's quite a surprise when you see the first fawn coloured one. Um, but it is, isn't it? Yeah, but still um, have the characteristics of the breed. Right. And a, a little bit of a sharp standoffish coat, particularly around the neck. Yes, that very distinguished wool rough around that mm. um, head. So, Beedale, a world of our own, owned by Judith Cox, is the skipper here, puppy. Can do this. And forgive me, we're in and out, and we're trying to complete um, show um, sheets for the rest of the show. It's um, not an easy task. Mm. So on the table now, we've got the Sharpay, which is number one four five four. Would be one page back. It's great to have the ramp now for judging. Um, oh, it uh, is for those medium sized. I feel for these judges who've been doing mm. nine days and they do I have to bend over again? <laughs> so Especially this is really Especially when you good. have a big breed like yeah. Staffordshire's and they're so far to bend. <laughs> and um, you look at these Sharpays and one of the remarkable things about the breed is how free moving they are. Yes, yeah. yeah. And almost without exception, they must be very, um, I don't know whether I'm being silly saying it, but they must be, must have hereditarily good joint structures. Joints, I yes. don't know, I don't know. Someone will correct me, and I know they will. Sharp poop, baby, she's got it, was our uh, Sharpay Puppy, owned by W and J Wolacek. Next we have our Chow, another Chow feature. There were quite a few Chows entered. Oops, I'm looking Lovely the rich colour and the blue tongue poking out and the eyes. And, and one of the good things is the eyes aren't too sunken. No. So they're not going to have that the, the problems that and a very dense coat. And you see the difference in this coat to the little baby that had yeah. this much, much smoother coat. And our chow, well, I'm looking at the wrong sheet here. Let's try again. We've got our chow is number 514. And it was touch of chow, ooh la la, kiss this owned by Jeanette Marufus. And now we've got our French Bulldog and it's number 763. He's getting through this lot quickly. Yes, quickly. Um, it you, is. You don't have all of the coat um, um, conditions that you need to get into. Yeah, so we've got Matt Go Shotgun Willie, owned by Emma MFMB Loads, who are the owners of the baby puppy. And now we have the big brindled Great Dane. Lovely head, brick on brick, they say, with the muzzle like a brick and then the back, head, back, um, back skull like another brick, brick on brick. So, and it's number 904. And a fabulous level top line. 
and it is Bremerleam Legend of the Game AI, owned by S. Davies and T. Dendy. And such good bone, um, going all the way down to the feet, not tapering as it goes. So nice to see. And here's a case on. And now we've got the case on, and it is number 1033. And it is Rymiska Sign Sealed Delivered, known by R. M. and T. Parker. You can see the, the 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 markings there. You can see around the eyes the spectacles. Yes. And then a bit of a trace on the shoulders, and the spitz tail, and the spitz ears. On the table yeah. is the last Apso, 11.20. And this is Amazon Black No Sugar, owned by Amazon Kennels. And yet to get the profuse coat, but it's already there. Um, but with the less coat, you can actually see so much more clearly the structure and movement of the dog. Yeah. But it'll get its glorious coat, and as a black, yes. when it uh, is fully grown and coated, it'll look absolutely stunning. It will. So, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Big shake. Sorry, Mum, I'm going to mess up my hair, dude. Yes, yeah, now you're going to have to brush me again, Mum. Yep. Don't worry, she will. <laughs> right, oh. here we have the standard poodle. And it is number 1271, and it is Seltina Apollo at Palatial, owned by Carolyn Bewley. Yeah, she needs to get her tail up. Come on, put it up. Very, there we are. We're good, we're good. Very clean mover. Very lovely muzzle and eye on it. I don't know. No, no. And, and the, the Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> we did that in unison. We just I do like I do, I do like the bow. <laughs> I do too. But it is a traditional part <laughs> of um, presentation. Oh, it is. <laughs> a smart mover. Again, you can see the whiskers being blown back. Uh, it's interesting. The dog is not being dragged along. The dog is pushing itself along just yes. by its own propulsion. A smart little mover. This is 1508, and it's champion Dreamforce Hey Georgie Girl, owned by Barry Gardner. Yep, arrogant. It I'll is that arrogant, one. yes. Mm. I love the way you see those little pads from behind. Yes. <laughs> oh, wriggle, wriggle. It's a puppy. Yes. The Skippy, Black Skippy. Just one the of these is to be down along the line. Having stopped to have a look at the Lhasa. Stopped to have a look at the Shih Tzu. Mm, is he giving something away? <laughs> Back up towards the French Bulldog. Everyone's in play, really, aren't they? Oh, they certainly are. I'm remembering they're all puppies. They're not mature yet. Round of applause for them. Only one goes up. Everyone's hopeful. That's right. Everyone's hoping not only for their dog, but their breed. The best puppy. In the group is the Lazar Epso, number 1120. Oh, this wins the, the Wendy Baker Memorial Trophy, donated by ADSS Proprietary Limited. Also the Masala Masula Prize, donated in memory of Margaret Hope Bennett. Product donated by Sushi Hub, and a voucher donated by Banana Feeds Australia. 
So that's the last of episode number 1120. And it's Emerson Black No Sugar, owned by Emerson Kennels. So they have the double, best in group and puppy in group. And the last class to be judged before general specials is coming up, and that's Neuter in Group 7. Judges ready. Uh -huh. Right, we've got our German Spitz. German Spitz. Mittel. Next one in. Ah, we didn't Peruvian. see this before because there was only a baby, no adults. A Peruvian hairless. Yes, and it's a Peruvian hairless large. And next is a Sharpe. Next is a Caisson. And this class is neuter. Then we have a Poodle standard. So we've seen, and I think. Finally, we have a Shih Tzu. We do. I think we've seen all the clips now on poodles because the poodle clip. Oops, we can't see the poodle on the screen, but this is more known as a pet clip, except it's a very, very elegant pet clip. And if you're wondering about those <laughs> black boxes, they're the. Um, the pedestals on which the trophies are placed. In this case, there's only one pedestal in use for neutering group, and there's only one chosen. So we've got the German Spitz Mittel. We're missing a Dalmatian. This is number 871. So we've got German Spitz Mittel. And that's the larger of the, the two breeds. You have Mittel and Klein. And, <laughs> and he's very happy. Thanks. And again, I look at these neuters and think, lovely. And their owners are having a ball coming they to are. the Royal with them. They and are. many of them are actually uh, breeders who uh, have been showing in the other classes as well. Hmm. And it's it's like... You know, you, you take one of your children out and leave the other one behind. Yes. They get cranky. So bring the neuter out. Exactly. Yep. And so um, we've got neuter champion and champion. Cafe Barista, owned by Judith Cox. So that, the, that was the German Spitz. And now we've got, coming up next will be the Peruvian Hairless. Peruvian hairless dog, large, 1227. And it is Catapliso Big and Chunky AI, owned by Tanya Beavis and Amber Beavis. And I'm going to take another break because I want to fill these sheets in and I don't have enough information here and I need to just check out a few things before we get hit with the um, the big moments. Exactly, okay. yes. So Annabelle, are you okay if I leave you to I it? I am fine. And now we've got the Sharpe. It's number 14... Four, uh, 1461. Lily said the wrong one then. Never mind. We'll get there. Turning pages. And it is Relique. More than just a teddy bear. And it's owned by Monique Bourne.
that Sharpe. It's only two years old. Quite often you see in the new to classes the older dogs as they may have had a career and then been desexed and come back out reborn as a neuter to aim for a neuter champion title. Now we've got the case on and it is 1042. And it is new to champion Rimvale Katarika, owned by Marsha Luke. Being examined now is the standard poodle, and it's number 1282. And it is champion and new to champion, as I was saying, one of those. It's had a career, got a title, and now it's desexed. And it's Curada Fun in Acapulco, owned by Jackie McClay. On the table now, we've got the Shih Tzu. And it is number 1512, and I believe this is the last dog to be gone over in the groups. And it is Nuta and Grand Champion, Shamara Buttercup, owned by Marion Kidd. So Mr. Foss is now making his decisions. Only one to be chosen. And he's made up his mind and it's going to be We love the way Mr. Foss likes to applaud his dogs every time before he makes the decision. They all get a clap. So do I. The best news in the group is the case on exhibit number 1042. It's that wins the, the banana the Shari Memorial Trophy. Sponsored by Igualak Kennels. Also the Sushi Hub Prize and the Banana Feeds Australia Prize. Yes. And it is new to champion Rimvale Katarika, owned by Marsha Luke. So now we're going to have a break and we'll come back to you. And I do believe we start with best neuter in show. Is that right, Francis? Um, in the national anthem and then neuter. Are these going to be televised? Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Well, we aren't going for that much of a break then. Well, I'll look at
Then attention all exhibitors, will be a short break before we commence the best in show and runner up in show. So a short break now and then we'll be back with all the best in show fun. Is it our audio there? No, it's the venue. It's a pretty good one.
on Ghana land, we ask you to watch the screens for Welcome to Country. Right, we're back on air and we're about to have our Welcome to Country. Nyanki Namiana, Namani, Mani Nabuni, Nyaluku Yakta, Kanda Ganya, Ghana Mini Yakta. Nanyari Robert Kari Karamu Taila, Nanyari Langaraki Naranga, Ghana Miana. Mani Nyalu Tampa de Ghana. Kumanyalu Pani Yatanga in Brandy. Perkana Kumagana Mini Yala. Nayaka Nadalia, Nayung Nadalia, Nachalia. Greetings. My name is Robert Taylor. I'm a proud Naranjiri, Nangaraku, Naranga, and Ghana man. And on behalf of my Ghana elders and ancestors, past and present, we welcome you here onto Ghana country. I ask that you respect the Ghana people and their cultural beliefs and their continuing spiritual connection with their land. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ghana country. That's the start of our proceedings. We ask, ladies and gentlemen, could you please be upstanding for the singing of the Australian National Anthem by William R. Andrews. Right, now we're going to have our National Anthem sung. So our first class that will be judged this afternoon for general specials is going to be our neuters. Could we have uh, all the neuters to the ring please? All the winners of the neuter classes to the ring. They've just been called to the ring. So everyone, it all starts for the process for the best in show. This is for the best in show for the neuter. We're here today and we are celebrating all our wonderful pure breeds. So, so we now begin the process of finalising the show for the year 2023. We've had our welcome to country. We've had our national anthem. Now we're going to see 
Nuta in show as the first class. There will be two places, Nuta se second and then Nuta first. That's not always the way it happens, but we do have a trophy for Nuta second and we feel that it's entirely appropriate for a show of this prestige to award it. So we're just waiting on these dogs to come into the ring. Should be here any minute. They've been called up. We've got a, a, a nice um, group gathering. So the judge hasn't been over two of these breeds. The group five dog, the Border Collie, number 288, and the Samoyed, number 1403. The judge has not been over either one of these two dogs, so he will be going over them. They are coming in first of all. So we've got... Would you welcome Mr. Arnie Post to the ring being escorted by the president of the dog section. Mr. Arnie Foss is about to judge our neutering show. He does need to go over the dogs that he hasn't examined before. So they will be judged first. Just having the ring procedure explained to the steward. So we are taking them in order, group one. Put your hands together for group one, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So we have the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel from group one. It's new to champion Cavachon Idol. Group two, soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Number and one group five two four representative one. is the soft coat of Wheaton Terrier, champion Silk Trader tri Striker Pose. This is what we've been waiting for. This, this been waiting for. So we've got the neuters in. And in comes um, the golden cocker. Interestingly, we've had a few golden cockers, but Keep the beautiful. applause going for group four. This was new to champion Romark B. Pippa Sue. And here comes the Beagle. And we've got the Beagle, Jewel Champion, Jewel Grand Border Champion, Collie, Supreme Champion, Cassip Champion, eight. Hounsley, Hey Ho, there, here she goes. Now we have a Border Collie. Now we have the Border Collie, just like Francis Samuel, said. Sorry about that, Francis. One, four, Grand three. Champion, a new to Grand Champion, Naroff, etched in ice. And the Sammy. And group there is smiling Sammy, <laughs> and he is too. This yeah. is for champion the Snow Whisper, Kim Scova, Elsom, Juliska, and the case on. So now we have a full card, full full deck, and it's new to champion Rimvale, Katarika. So, the judge so now the judge actually look. hasn't seen the group five and six dogs, so it's he'll need to actually go over them. The so they're being the sent up to the front dog, now. The Samoid. Yep. You do that one, I'll do this one. 14. Oh, you do that one. All right, the Border Collie. Huge entry of borders, a number of neuters, so um, to come out on top of the, the breed is good, but then to go on and come out on top of the group, well done. And a lovely border. And just shows the quality, when I look so along the line, the quality that's in the neuter group. At the moment are all neutered. A lot of them are show champions, supreme champions, grand champions. And if we look at They're this dog, it's a multiple champion. Stuff, so the so it's not muted. just a dog and that's been do brought out, out of a pet home. Month. It's a dog as that has a show compete. career and continues with its show career in a, in a legitimate way. It's grand champion and neuter grand champion, Naroff etched in ice. 
That's number 288, Group 5 Dog, Border Collie. Please so we're coming now to the, the sharp end of things. Here's the Border Collie coming back to its place. Look at it. Lovely low crouching Group gait. Six dog, so alert and happy. Look at it. And that's what I mean about dogs that are truly loved. So we go back to the Sammy. Uh, the Samoid is champion Snow Spa, Kim Skova, Elsim, Juliska. And apologise if I made a mess of that, but this is also one of those awesome breeds. Um, feet to reflect um, uh, managing snow and um, coats to reflect the same. Uh, standoff coat, one, four, um, double three, coat. Group six lovely dog. pigment, dark pigment, which... Um, particularly rims the, the mouth and gives it that smiling appearance, but you can see the pads as it goes away. And standing beautifully. Put your tail hands over its for back. The Samoid. Ears pricked, alert, watching what's going on. This dog's loving it. Anyone who thinks show dogs don't like it needs to watch dogs like this. Next one's the Cavalier, new to champion Cavachon. I so doll. the judge has already um, been owned by Amy Pridham. The then the soft-coated Wheaton, champion silk trader one. striker pose. Then the Beagle, dual grand champion, supreme champion, CIB, Hounsley, hey-ho, here she comes. And the border we've seen, the Sammy we've seen. And on to the case on in a minute. New to champion. Now the case on new to champion Rimvale Katarinka. Okay, I think he's and made it his looks mind like up. The decision is made. That was very quick. It will be gone. This is it. This is the the ultimate the award for this class. For the new and the award is going to be presented by the Managing Director, Marketing Director of our major sponsor, Sushi Hub. And we so appreciate sponsorship from a number of companies, but Sushi Hub has been so good to us, and I know that people will uh, appreciate what they've received. So the first call will be um, second in the class. Still waiting. The Stewards are making sure they've got it right this time. Can't have any mistakes. Conference in the middle while all the exhibitors are stewing, sweating and hoping it's them. But it's a great thing the to have got to this stage of the show. In show number two is exhibit number two, double eight, the Border Collie. So second... In the show, second neuter in the show is the Border Collie Grand Champion, neuter Grand Champion, Narof etched in ice. Is exhibit number 135, the Beagle. And best neuter in show so is the Beagle, dual Grand Champion, Supreme Champion, CIB, Hounsley, Hey Ho, the best here she goes. The best new to win show wow. was the Masala Prize donated by How, how wonderful is that? And the other new to win group also winners are retiring, but Sushi they are wonderful and, and they're getting a good clap as they go out. So, and we'll wait and we'll give the, um, the two new to winners a good lap. Is also wins the Masala Round they go. A, a there goes the Beagle. Hey Ho, here I come. Sushi Hub Prize and the Referee Prize. She's a beautiful little Such a beagle. smart little beagle, lovely beagle. proportions, um, short one, back, three, beautiful five, head and, and expression, lovely bone, two, eight, happy eight. tail, happy character. So these are the wonderful Very well credentialed, in fact, Francis. I remember awarding that little girl a, a group. Wow, yeah. Of course she was decent. That is so good. <laughs> that is so good. Okay, news is done. The next class in will be Baby Puppy. So now we're doing the baby and in group one, the Cavalier King Charles, 
Group two, Jack Russell. Group three, Cocker Spaniel. Group four, the Basset Hound. Group five is the Cardigan Corgi. Group six, the Boxer. Group seven is the French Bulldog. Put your hands together for all of these wonderful babies as they come in. Group one, Cavalier King Charles, number 419. We have the Jack Russell. It's 10.07. Group three, the Cocker Spaniel. Blue? Oh, oh. Sorry, Group I've been talking into the nothing. Basset the Hound. Cocker Spaniel, Fallow Point, Dresden Blue. And next in is the Basset Hound, Group four, the Bosha. So she's got the, the look. Uh, she got the look in the group. Fabulous ears. Um, that are there to, to, six, to funnel the, the scent and such an agile mover. Three, three, and the Welsh Corgi cardigan, Kalura Rising of the Sun. And it's great to see a cardigan coming through. And and here's the, the boxer, Kedstar Colour My World. Seven, one. And finally, so the French Bulldog, Matt Go Catch My sass. Catch my Sass. Six months of age. And there is only the one winner. It's very serious. There are some real contenders in this lot. There are. Again, the group five and the group six. Now he's going to have to have a look at the judges. The Corgi and the Boxer, I believe. So he does need to go over. And I think them. they've taken That's the corgi down to the start five, already. The Welsh corgi cardigan, number one six two five, and the group six dog, the boxer, number three three nine. So the cardigan corgi is on the table. Lovely brindle. Very Isn't clean it brindle. beautiful coloured? Very cleanly marked. We used to be able to tell the difference between the corgis at a glance yeah, because could, the, with the Pembroke tail didn't or have no a tail. tail. Mm. But now both breeds have a tail, and um, we have to look at more we important do. things like the structure of the head. Yes. In particular, they are, they are quite different. They are, um, and. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe the cardigans have the can have the brindle colour. They don't have to. Yep. But mm -hmm. well, cardigans so can have a number of colours, but yes. Cardigan number one six two five. Cardigan is a bigger head as uh, I, I think more foxy to be honest. But anyway, let's have a look at it. Lovely little, yes. you know, this is going to be a very, very difficult class. It is going to be a difficult class because all these look at the top line on this so baby. Much potential. Six dog boxer number three, three well done. Nine. That's the working dog, and now up on the table for heaven's sake is the boxer Ked Star Color My World. It won't be used to being on the table for no, long. <laughs> not much longer. Not much longer. And this lady. So, so thrilled. She, she, she knew he, she had a beautiful little boxer, but um, to get the award, lovely. And um, a dark brindle colour, very, very attractive. Um, you don't judge on colour, and they obviously didn't. No. <sighs> He's having a bit of trouble getting himself into gear. Ah, uh, the joy of showing a baby. <laughs> yeah, and babies should be allowed to be babies in the ring. That's, That's it. He's right. got himself going there. And I think when he goes around, he'll also settle. And that's what you're, you only need a few steps to see, don't you? Mm. <laughs> and the tail that's going. There he goes. He's got a little bit. One of the judges bit made a comment. So the judge be babies has been for as long as they the can because yeah. they'll be old going for a long back time. For <laughs> Love the this cavalier. Very Charles. pretty little baby. It is a pretty little um, baby. 
lovely head and um, very clean colours again. Lustrous yes. um, colour, I think, is the yes. way it's described. Smart little spaniel. Very sound. Very sound. Mm. And it even has a lozenge. Yes. Jack Russell from Group 2. That's little cool. Jackie, carrying his own lead. Yes, yes, I'll take myself for a walk, thanks, Mum. You don't have to. <laughs> Mum, fix that. <laughs> I'm in charge here. Right. <laughs> mm. Very smart little terrier. Very alert. Here Cocker we go spaniel for the Spaniel. From group 3, 5, 2, Cocker Spaniel, eight. a blue roan in, in amongst all the Goldens. Yes. But again, colour colour doesn't come into it. This is a really lovely mover, isn't it? It is. It's moving out very nicely. That's enough. Hello, Pink Dresden Blue. Basset Hound from Basset Hound. Four, Bo has her, she's got the look. Mm. Yeah, she's going really well. I love in a baby basset, those ears look so long, but of Almost course that's dragging. what they grow into. Yeah. <laughs> and Corgi getting another run. Walsh Corgi Cardigan, oh, number basset's getting one a great big six smooch. two five. <laughs> from a Calora <laughs> Rising of the Sun. Little legs working at 100 miles a minute. I love the spelling of some of these names because Rising of the Sun, we've Group got S-O-N as in Sun. Yes. And Three, the um, Cavalier that we saw previously that was called Idol was E-Y-E-D-O-L. <laughs> and the Boxer making a better go of it going around oh, there. Oh, it is yeah. much better. And seven, the French Bulldog. Number 771 seven, French my sass. Bulldog. Still looking serious. Full of sass. <laughs> Look at it. Look, it's very arrogant, isn't it? it Looked is. around and said, huh, what are you lot doing on my territory? Yes. So have you come to watch me? only <laughs> one winner. It's lovely to have the gallery, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's quite big. <laughs> and this is the last day of the Royal Show too, so big crowds, I imagine, in this lovely weather. It is a bit of a... A job getting through anywhere else. We're lucky sitting over here in we our little are. box. Yes, our yeah. little black box. <laughs> Having a good look at these. No quick pick here. It's um, it's tough. I actually find babies one of the toughest classes they to judge. They are because they're all, um, as I said, so much potential. We've done it. We know. You saying? Here we go, Harry. This is the one. Only one choice in this class. One to be baby puppy in show. So who's it going to be? Let Neville know. This is sort of <laughs> passing the parcel, isn't it? it? Is. I hope we don't end up Chinese whispers with the wrong one. <laughs> I didn't say that, I didn't say it, I didn't say it. Ah. I tell you, Mr. Foss has really enjoyed it. He's so much laughing. In show at the Royal Adelaide 2023 is the Cardigan Corgi. Exhibit ah, the, the little Cardigan Corgi. That wins the Harold Cardigan Corgi number 1625. Oh, it just received a kiss rising the of the sun. <laughs> kiss on the head. <laughs> and lovely to hear some of the old names. Harold King Memorial Trophy. Yes, isn't it? Uh, special man. Someone who's stewarded that is a, a, for years and years and years at our royal show. And that is a baby puppy class full of class. Yes. Oh, lovely baby. And one thrilled owner. Yes. And only one baby puppy now in, in, the, in the show. It's one best in show baby puppy. All right.
right. Well, we're so headed that now. brings us up to Best Puppy. The best Puppy is coming into the ring. This is the Pomeranian Doc Lagi Dainty Dreamer. Wow. And that was our fourth in group winner. And the Scotty Haggett Colin Frissell. And the Golden Retriever Chaleur Game Set Match. Gosh, look at the attitude on that one. Yes. And, and this one too. The standard smooth Jackson, Boscohan, all that glitters is gold. Yes. And look for the Norwegian judge, the Norwegian yes. Buhan. Yes. South Spirit, a legendary tale. I wonder if there's something going to happen there. Yeah. And the Siberian Miniatura Foxtrot. And last of all, the Laza Apso, Amazon Black, no sugar. Must be sweet enough. <laughs> well, nice collection. And um, group five and six have again gone off to the um, stand so that they can be checked. Thank you. The judge has walked down the line and had a, a quick overview. We've seen them run in and now... Uh, standing there, he gets a chance to look more closely at their faces, at the heads and the eyes and the mouth and the ear set and the um, ear carriage. And now on the table, the Norwegian Buhund. Not quite the national dog of Dor Norway, but it must be jolly close. <laughs> yes. Norwegian oh, Buhund, South Spirit, a legendary tale. I know Satu thought very highly of this one. We'll see if the Scandinavian colleagues yes. can get on. Yes. <laughs> we might have an interesting dinner tonight. You could. <laughs> Smart little spitz dog. And very shown beautifully dog. on a loose lead. Round she goes. And now waiting on the, um, in front of the table, the Siberian Husky Miniatura Foxtrot. Well, he says, I'll put my head up and my bum down. Yes. Quick check over him. He hasn't gone over this dog, remember. The other dogs won't get this level of checking. I'm amazed, I said it before, I'm amazed at how much he remembers. If, if someone asked me tomorrow what I judged today, I'd be thinking, hmm, bring the dog and remind me. <laughs> the startling blue eyes. stop so beautifully these these dogs are so well trained he gets out just a little in front of the handler moving very now much the judge in will look there, at they? moving very much in unison yeah now the judge will look back along the group I'm not sure if he'll move them we'll see I have a friend in Germany who had a Pomeranian, amongst other breeds. And he, it was a yappy little dog, and I'm not sure that he really liked it. So I said, why have you got it? He said, well, I'm from Pomerania, you have to have one. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the answer. So, does that apply to a Scotty? Yes. <laughs> Always been popular over time, the Scotties. 
Golden Retriever with a big fan base. Beautiful dog, though. And the standard smooth Daki. This is Boskahan, all the, all the glitter is gold. And the Golden Retriever is Shalur game set and match. Game set match. This is the Norwegian Burhund. And it is South Spirit, a legendary tail. Happy little dog. Yes. Brisk mover. Very free little mover, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Good tail, good jacket. Very nice. Round the side goes again. Min min miniature uh, foxtrot. Blue eyes, they're so startling. They are. Mm. And the Laza. Two Lazas went up in the group. Yes, That's they pretty did. good. Mm. Of course, the other thing to think is this judge is the one who's put up five of the seven dogs in the group yes in, in yes, the lineup yes. so he, he, we know he likes five of them that's right uh, give the norwegian a go bit of hometown <laughs> only one that's right sir and we check out the paperwork. And a clap and for them all. Yours. Well, I'm watching where eyes are going. <laughs> wow. We're all waiting. We we're are. sitting we're here too. The Laza. Oh, the Laza. Wow. How fabulous is that? I love the colour of the handler's dress. Yes. I know we don't judge the handlers, but it's so a smart little dog, a smartly dressed handler. I've got That's to leave right. you. I'll be on the main microphone, but it'll come. This feed will come through here. You get to hear my speech. Oh, right. <laughs> so that's our puppy in show. Now, just before Best in Show is done, we have a speech from Francis, so you'll see it on our screen.
We've come to the pinnacle of the show, but before we do that, I'd like to introduce you to you, the chairman of the dog section of the Royal Adelaide and Horticulture Society show, Francis McAvoy. Well, this is it. We've come to the moment where, out of some 2,000 dogs, we're finally going to end up with one standing at the top of the heap. It's a, it's a brilliant moment. It's been a brilliant show. I just wanted to reflect for a moment um, on a little of my journey with the Royal Show. My first show was, um, you'll be um, a bit surprised to hear, I mean, I don't look at it, I'm sure, my first show was 1959, and I showed a Kerry Blue Terrier. It was a fermoy dog, in case um, any of you are wondering. And we came second to another fermoy dog. But what I wanted to remember was the old pavilion. It was dark. It had a low roof. It was cold. There were two rings outside, and if, you were, if the sun shone, you showed there or you were inside on the bitumen and the dogs got stones in their feet and whatever. I used to think of it as migraine paradise. And then we moved up. We got the hocker, the big tent, out um, that way. Right next to all of the um, uh, showground rides, in particular, I remember this big rocking boat that came up and down and up and down. I'm sure some of you do, because the dogs certainly did. They were watching it. So we had, we had the, um, the basketball court as our benching area and the hocker outside as our showing area. And it was underwater sometimes and it was muddy most of the time and the wind flapped the tent and um, the sideshows irritated everyone. And then we moved to have two... Um, uh, rings in the basketball area and the benching was in here in what was then I think the old handicraft pavilion. Um, it was um, uh, still impacted by the sideshows, still uh, a busy area but it was a huge improvement. And now we find ourselves in here in this which is unquestionably the best showing arena in Australia, if not, well, I want to be a bit. Yes, and I think it deserves a huge round of applause. This is brilliant. And I wanted to thank the society. Um, they have involved the dog committee at all stages of the planning of this. We were moving squares around with the architects, even right back at the start to see where the rings would fit and things like that. Um, and that was a, a huge privilege. And I don't think that too many societies would do that. They'd build the, they'd build the stadium and then fit, fit us in. But they included us, they involved us, and it was brilliant. I'd also like to thank, and please pass it on, thank Ross from Venue, because everything we have asked for has been done, done well, done quickly. Um, and you have no idea of what a complex um, operation it is getting this, getting this show on the road. So, Ross, from us, the marvellous floor, all the services we um, enjoy, thank you. Um, and I think that deserves a round of applause too. Look, it's been a wonderful week. Marvellous dogs. A constant audience, it's been great to have, have people here watching and, and it's been especially great for the active dogs, the, um, the jumping and running and turning and twisting dogs that we have often through the evenings. They found this venue and this floor absolutely perfect and we've had a great entry over the course of the show, 2,300 plus dogs. Pass the word, tell, tell everyone. This is the place to be. This is it. You can't get a better show than the Adelaide Royal Dog Show. You've got to be here. And it's had an excellent atmosphere all through the week. 
the, the, the people gathered here, the people gathered in the, in the hall, the exhibitors waiting to come in, the applause and the support for each other has been great. Thank you, everyone. I wanted to get to the point of a few thanks. The first I'd like to thank is um, Mari, where are you? And and in, with Mari, our absolutely brilliant yellow-coated stewards. Without them, the show doesn't run. Their good humour and their helpfulness is just something very special. Thanks. I'd like to thank, too, Shalene. Come on up. This is the smiling voice at the end of the phone when we all ring up with irritating questions ranging from when can I get a park to, um, well, I don't know. And I, I can't believe how positive she always is. And, Shalene, we have a small presentation for you and I'm not sure where it is. Here we come. From all of us, thank you. I'd also like to thank our sponsors, um, our major sponsors, Lauki and Sushi Hub. Without you, we're a bit hard to run. Uh, your um, support is very, very much appreciated and we hope that you will continue with us. But I'd like to thank all of our sponsors, all of them, the, the, the greater and the smaller ones, because you, you are the ones who provide the prizes that were that wonderful display here earlier in the, um, the show. I'd like to thank Carolyn, our untiring announcer through the course of the week. She's not here for us dog people as much as she is to keep the, the people coming through in touch with us so that they know what's going on. And I don't know how you've got a voice at the end. I'd like to thank a quiet person who I can't see, and it's Marilyn Cook. Is Marilyn anywhere? Oh, Marilyn. And uh, could we just sing one round of happy birthday for Marilyn? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marilyn. Happy birthday to you. Marilyn is one of those quiet people a volunteer, no pay or anything like that, who just is here every day, dawn till dusk, quietly doing all the paperwork and the thankless tasks of the show. You are much appreciated. The judges thought I'd get round to them. Thing. And you. <laughs> what a wonderful pair. In some ways, chalk and cheese. Um, one is um, ebullient and the other one is a lot quieter. But so invested in the dogs, gave every dog its due. Um, wonderful judgment, so much knowledge. You have just been such an important part of our show. Without you, of course, nothing happens. But I looked at the lineups we've had today, and what a credit to you all. So, could we have a round of applause for these two special people? Um, I'd ask, um, first of all, Mari to come out. She has something for you. These you've been giving out all week, so we thought that you should have one. You are worthy of a challenge. <laughs> you will note we haven't done a best of breed. And I would also, on behalf of the society, invite Karen to come forward.
Uh, okay, both of you, one each, Shaleen and Karen, to present a medallion from the society as a memento to each of the judges. I would also like to acknowledge Judy Oliver and um, Linda Buckley, who were our Sunday specials judges, and that was a terrific day as well, and our obedience, agility, and every other fac facet of judging. Our judges for 2024, one is from Croatia and one is from Puerto Rico. And that's all I'm able to tell you at the moment because we're waiting on ANKC approval. But well done, everyone. Congratulations, and let's finish the show off on a high note. So here we are, ready. Now is the time for best in show. They're all ready and waiting. So are we. Our first one in the ring is the Chihuahua Smooth Coat, number 469, champion Von Cronin, Diamond Desire at Skyway. Back in my seat, the Such Chai. Was this the little, little man that was best in show last year? He's the was reigning this, champ. Was this the little man that wanted to pee on my cup? Yes, yeah. no doubt. Mm. <laughs> and here comes the Ken, fabulous little dog. Uh, American champion, supreme champion, Rot Rivers, show me the money. Wow. And now, Labrador, the is Labrador champion, Driftway trademark. And the Whippet is next supreme champion, Tejan Killer Queen. Oh, and the Shelty, the Shetland Sheep Dog. Champion Haradai by Design. Bernese Mountain Dog, number 164. Bernese Mountain Dog, Mali Cloy, walk this way. Look at it, head up and happy, happy. Could we see another Laza go up? We could. Here Up we in. have Supreme Best Champion Amazon. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> so we're looking down the line. There will be two chosen. Best in show two and best in show one. Be best in show one, of course, is best in show. So what everybody's been waiting for to find out the best dog in the Royal Adelaide Show for 2023. So the, the Sheltie, beautiful little Sheltie bitch. I watched her in the group judge in the breed judging and I thought, oh yeah. Sometimes a dog just for a moment takes your breath away. It does, yes. Mm. You see them and you go, Oh my goodness. And of course this is a breed that um, Mr Foss hasn't judged yet, so he needs to go over it thoroughly. And you not only want 
the beautiful colouring and the excellent confirmation. You want a very beautiful head too. Mm. I think such an important part of a Sheltie. Come on, girlie. That's it. Look at her go. Isn't that beautiful? Just steady as a rock. It is. Mm. Looking around. I'm, I'm okay. Throwing, throwing a bait to attract her. Lovely ear carriage. Look, I love the way the hair parts in the, in the movement. Yes. Very distinctive coat, isn't it? Yeah. Shelties and collies, they've both um, got that beautiful rough. And this is the Bernese Mountain Dog Group winner, put up by the Bernese Mountain Dog Specialist. Yes. Um, he judged, uh, Anna um, Fox judged the, um, the breed show in the afternoon after the group judging, and he didn't put this dog up as best. Um, so I'm not sure whether that means you it's not know. his <laughs> best ever Gordon, well, uh, Gordon um, Bernese. We'll see. It, it, it's the you dog in the, the ring best. at the moment. Have all these dogs. And this one has such a lot of support just listening to the clapping. Mind you, Bernese are such beautiful dogs that um, yeah, people are going to warm to them. I always remember the first Bernese I ever met uh, was in Ireland and probably in the early 70s. And it was on the third floor of a pokey little bookshop. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know how old it was, but it was lying there, just enjoying being home, home I think. Yes. And here goes the Bernese around on its lap. Bernese seem to be quite popular as pets around the city, mm. I've noticed. Often see them out walking. Passing in front of the Royal Coat of Arms there. Yes. And now we're going to look at the rest of the group. Not as thorough a look, but um, this little chihuahua thinks it's a great Dane or something. Oh, it does. It's yeah. very much a big dog in a little body. Full of spunk. <laughs> Just standing there. No one needs to hold it. Look at that. Give it a little scratch. Give it a little kiss. And off we go. And that's what you call strutting your stuff. Lovely domed head, lovely tail set, and looks as if it's got the flat in the tail. Yes. Oh. And a lot of support. How can you not like this little showman? Yes, the way he just mm. struts around. Next. Next we have the Ken, and I know he loves the Ken, so this will be a battle, won't it? Mm. Ken from the borders of Scotland. Little varminty expression. This one's um, from Victoria. Um, the, bre the breeder and owner here had a very successful day. He's originally from Adelaide. And then moved yes, to Victoria. Yes, that's right. Went to Korea and then to Victoria. Mm. If, she, if, if, it, if he wins, shall we claim him? No, oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's mm. actually imported from the USA, so... <laughs> mm. Kathy um, Scotton is the owner, and she's a very big supporter of the Adelaide Royal. Um, I think I can't remember many years when, when, she, have, when, when she hasn't been here. Look at that! Just pulls into position it's not there. only um, it is not only training; it's nature. Yes. I think there are eight or nine cans here. Um, so out of that eight or nine, and a terrier group of about. Mm, 
that was the best and now the Labrador out of an entry of 70 um, 60 in something the yeah. in the breed and then the huge gun dog group which is probably yes. 380 this is the one Typical Labrador temperament, very balanced dog. A lot of pet ones that you see tend to put on the weight, but remember they're, they're bred for going out into the field. And, and look dog. at the activity in this one's m movement. That's right. And to retrieve mm. the prey. Gleaming coat, the prey lovely tail. Yep. The game. Line up on the hound. Thing. Yeah, and the elegant whippet. Our hound representative. And I'm just watching Mr. Foster's hands flow, following curves. That's right. Which is what and it's all what about. To do. And not an a exaggerated top line on the whippet. No, but you just, it has its distinct top line. It, it's unlike a lot of breeds, it doesn't have a level top line. It's, as Francis said, curves are what you're looking for. Put your hands together. Okay. Arch over the loin. Lovely, clean, brindled, elegant whippet. Uh, put up by a whippet specialist. That's put up right. by himself. That's right. Bearing in mind too, he's also a Chihuahua specialist. Yes. And there we go with the sheep dog uh, Sheltie again. Doesn't need to go over it. Uh, has been there. Beautiful colouring, beautifully presented. These coated breeds, they take yes. so much, it's, I admire it. And, and then you come to this one, when you talk about coated breeds, imagine yes. blow drying this. That's yes, right. Mm. They're talking about hours and hours just spent on a bath and a blow dry. Yep. There we go. Second last dog. Please put your hands together for the group six dog, Bernie's Mountain Dog, number 164. It goes with a fair pace, doesn't it? it I does, prefer it a little like slower it. myself, but uh, it manages it well. Mm -hmm. And here's the Lazar. The last dog to be judged. Mm. You must have thought a lot of this breed to put one puppy in show and both puppy and um, best in group. have to get your hands in to feel, feel where the root of the tail is, feel the, the stifle at the back, feel the body underneath. These are things you can't see, you need to feel. And then when you've felt them, you watch how they work together on the ground. That's right. Mmm. Oh, a big well shake. Together. He likes to make his mum work. <laughs> and around we go. Well, down to the last two it? now. It is. Mm. The Chihuahua showing its head off. 
the cairn, steady, the Labrador tail waving, the whippet, a little restless, the sheltie, no. bait, bait, <laughs> show oh. me mum. We need uh. the bait. Another check. He likes his, the, the appropriate dogs to respond when he attracts them. He puts a lot of value on head and expression. Well, quite often they're the characteristics of a breed, aren't they? So yep. that's very yep. important. Coming to the last decisions here. Second will be announced first. And Arnie Foster's signatory clap there. So he likes to present all the dogs. All the dogs still showing their little heads off, waiting, waiting. Decisions being made, the numbers are being written down. Who will it be? Plenty to choose from. Quite a discussion going on out in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm lost for words, not very often, but this has been a great, great experience. It's my 10th time in Australia. Uh, I have two favorite spots in the world, that it's Australia and Iceland, for different reasons. <laughs> Uh, first time here was in 2001 in Melbourne doing the Dalmatian National and since then I've been to Brisbane, Sydney many times, Melbourne, Adelaide for the second time. And this showground is just amazing, uh, beautiful, beautiful for the dogs and for me. I'm not tired after nine days here. Uh, a super lineup. Very happy with my breed winners in every breed for all days. Excellent hospitality, ring stewards, uh, well-mannered exhibitors, and very nice dogs and temperament. So thank you all for a great experience. We've just heard from Arnie Foss. He's saying Australia is one of his favorite places. As you well know, Apart we have come that, to the, the pinnacle decision. of the show with the best in show and second best in show. 
The second in show is the Labrador Retriever, number 1068. Labrador is the runner-up in show. Champion Driftway Trademark, owned by Guy Spagnolo, and it's number 1068. Dog's very happy, wagging his tail there. And the number one in there. show comes from the Hound Group, the Whippet, number and one double seven one. And the best in show is the Whippet. Our new supreme champion of the Royal Adelaide Show. Sadly, both interstate dogs, but we were well represented in there. The also been sponsored South by the David Australian Dogue contenders. Memorial Trust and presented by his niece Deborah Hamilton. Also, the wins the uh, Ingrid Matsky Photography Prize, the Canine Online Prize, Lalki Mills Trophy and Prize, and the Oravet Prize. Number two in show wins the ASOL Therapy Prize and the GL Cummins Memorial Trophy. And as sponsored they leave by the ring, Mrs. Betty Cummings. Also product sponsored by Cookie Hub and Still Espinar, strutting at stuff, Australia. as is the Can and the Sheltie, the Bernese Mountain Dog and the La Sarapso. So we're left in the middle with the Whippet Best in Show and the Labrador Runner Up Best in Show. Lovely to see. Oh. So they're about to do their lap of honour. The Whipper and the Labrador. Lovely action on the Whipper there. Lovely free action on the Labrador. And that finishes our transmission. So from Annabelle and Francis, we'll see you again next year.